I'm feeding my dog. All right. And uh, let me go live on the IG. You guys are making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm like, what is it now I am? <laughs> That's that. I like that. <laughs> All right. What's up, everybody? Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> what's up? We are live. What's up, everybody? Yes, we, we are live. Welcome. <laughs> Uh, to another session of the Cup Call Podcast at the Dark Session, uh, live out of San Francisco on this beautiful Saturday night. As you guys can see, uh, we have a full panel of beautiful ladies here tonight. Hey. Hey. Hi. All right, we have another great topic to discuss for you guys. Always appreciate you guys always tuning in for the live show. You guys already know if you love the content, if you appreciate the content that the shows always host for you guys, the best way to support the channel is to smash that like and subscribe button real quick. Uh, don't forget, this is a public show. A lot of you guys always ask me, how do I join the podcast? They're always trying to figure out, you do want to join, but you're not from Cali, you're not from the Bay. The best way to join the show is be uh, supportive of my locals. Uh, the link is in the description below on YouTube. So if you're watching this from Facebook, Twitch, X, and Instagram, come over to YouTube. The link is in the description on YouTube, and you'll be able to uh, sign up, become a supporting member, and you'll be able to jump on as a virtual guest on the last hour. Uh, the last hour of this podcast, okay? So I do appreciate all my local supporters. People uh, uh, support me financially on the show. Thank you so much. But that's the only way you guys can jump on virtually if you do want to jump on as a podcast, all right? Uh, but let's get that live chat popping. I appreciate you guys already. I know we started a little bit early today. I see Prudy Wilson on the live chat already. Okay. Hey, what's up, Prudy? Good to see you. Thank you so much. Hey, for hey Prudy. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining oh, me. Y'all yeah. oh. so friendly. <laughs> 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 All right, so we definitely got a great panel here for tonight. But let's get the live chat popping. Let me know what you guys think. Say hello. Uh, if you recognize hey, it. Hey, what's up, hey, Tim? Tim? Hi, Tim. How's it going? Hey, y'all. I like how she said, hey, Tim. <laughs> oh, when is Tim. The pop -up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we'll definitely get there. But uh, yeah, good to see you, team, on the live chat. Get the live chat popping. Uh, these uh, these guests are ready. We're gonna have a great show tonight already. All right, uh, but of course, all the ninja watchers out there, uh, all the, the creeps, always creeping on the channel. Say hey, something. creepos! What's up, creepers? What's happening, creepies? We appreciate y'all too. I'm one of them too. I'm one of them creepos too. I know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of ninja watching, a lot of ninja watchers. <laughs> You guys will be just need to watch it. You're not uh, commenting or uh, saying anything on the live chat. But yeah, definitely come out to the closet tonight. Oh, Will's calling him out. Wow. Right. <laughs> ah, wow. They're about to <laughs> All right. Uh, Jane, good to see you, Jane. What's up, Jane? Good to hey, see Jane. You. Hey, Jane. Jane spit fire. Yeah, she spit that fire. Hey. Uh, okay, okay. All right. But yeah, but let's get it popping on the live chat. Don't forget also, if you do want to uh, share your voice and opinions, uh, drop it through a super chat. I'll be able to put it on the screen, read it out for you guys, uh, and we can respond to any of your questions that you guys want us to respond as a panel or respond individually uh, as a panelist, okay? Um, and of course, if you, you want to donate to the channel, drop it through a super chat. I'll be able to give a shout out as well. And uh, thank you for everybody that always supports the channel, always uh, uh, helping the channel grow. Thank you so much, all right? But smash that like, subscribe button real quick, and of course, share it for everybody out there so we can definitely get the algorithm going and so that way we can reach uh, more people uh on youtube all right uh don't, i'll give a shout out to my sponsor global financial impact uh shout out to savannah and her team so if you're looking for financial services uh for your uh, for life insurance um for life insurance and funerals if you definitely need to learn how to be a family bank if you definitely need to uh how to learn how to be an entrepreneur and uh, make more money and additional income for yourself if you want to set up a college fund for your kids and uh, and if you definitely want to know, understand financial services, definitely reach out to Savannah. She has a great team behind her, and they can definitely help you out for whatever need you guys may need. So all her information is in the link in the description below uh, on YouTube. So if you're watching from the other platforms, come over to YouTube. You can definitely support her, and you can definitely sign up and uh, receive her services. So shout out to Savannah. Thank you so much for always sponsoring the show. Thank you so much. But that's pretty much uh, all my YouTube stuff. I uh, appreciate you guys. And then... Um, I just want to give a quick plug to my locals. I know there's a lot of guys that do have other podcasts I do on Wednesdays, the Wednesday Hot Topics and the Mask of Mind. I know a lot of guys reach out to me. Uh, there's a lot of young fellas asking me how do uh, you guys are struggling with your dating 
uh, dating life, you're struggling talking to women. So if you need, if you need to learn how to communicate and talk to women, definitely sign up to be a supported member of my locals. I can definitely make sure that we can plan shows and invite you to shows like introduce you to women. And also I can help you out. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do that. He said my, my matchmaker, well, baby. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to help out the fellas out there. All right. <laughs> and so I can definitely make sure that we can invite you to panels. The only way you can know, uh, learn how to talk to women is by what? Talking talk to, to women. women. You gotta do All it. Right. You gotta talk to women. You gotta talk. What are you, that's the only way you get bit. You gotta put yourself out there. You can't hide behind the screen and talk behind the live chat to women. It doesn't work like that. You have to call, come on screen or come to the studio. So I can definitely help out with that. So for, I know a lot of you guys reach out to me, ask me how to do that. So uh, become a supporter of my locals. I can definitely link you up and help you with that. Invite you to my future panels on my Wednesday shows. And also I can invite you to Cali, to Cali. If you do, if you live in the Bay area, I can invite you to come down. You can meet the panelists, the ladies that come on the show and you can have the opportunity to get real life practice. So that's the only way you can get better fellas. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the benefit. <laughs> All right. That's the benefits uh, of uh, being a supporter member of my locals. So if you the fellas out there that's struggling with their dating life and communicating and talking to women, uh, definitely sign up to be a supporter member, a member, and we have a great panel of men on there. Not only me, but there's other, other men out there. Uh, they can definitely help you out uh, with your dating life, fellas. All right. And um, yeah, thank you so much as always. And of course, the ladies, I know a lot of you guys are always asking me questions about men, men, how men think and the, uh, the male perspective. Also sign up, become a member of my locals. I can introduce you to men and we can kind of break down a lot of the things, a lot of the questions that you guys may have. So we have different shows for all your needs. So I know the, on the Saturday night show, we just talk about modern dating, but we have a show for the men on the masculine mind. And then on the Wednesdays, uh, there's an opportunity for we talk about different topics as well. So I do appreciate you guys as always. That's pretty much all my YouTube stuff. Kasim, hey, good to see you, Kasim. All right. Shout out to hey. Kasim. Hey, shout out to you. Good to, good to see you on the live chat. Uh, if you're a moderator on the live chat, get everybody popping, get everybody active on the live, on the live chat, get those likes up. But uh, that's pretty much all my YouTube stuff. And uh, special shout out one more time for everybody on the live chat and the panel. Hey. 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 <laughs> okay, we have a great show planned for you guys. But ladies, thank you for making the time to be part of the podcast. Um, Thanks for you guys having us. Yes. If you want to give yourself a quick intro for everybody out there, and then we'll go right into uh, drinking some kava, and then we'll get right into the talk. Oh, to you, my Tongans in the house. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, yeah. Hey. Shout out to my Tongan family. Hey. 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 hey what's, up, what's up, Ofalatu? Balo de ley. Balo de ley, Ofa. Oh, I can say it's like, we see that. Good to see you on the live chat, but uh, let's do some quick intros. I'll start with you. We'll go around the panel. All go right. Ahead. All right. All right. What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Lady Sneak. I'm a singer, songwriter, rapper, actor, and so much other things. I'm also an educator on my, my day to day. Um, my age, should I tell it? I don't know. Give me an <laughs> estimate. What's an estimate? <laughs> I'm uh, after the late 20s. Nope. <laughs> 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 okay, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, in a relationship, uh, what am I looking for? Hopefully to get married at some point. Okay. Good show. Good show. All right. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Kari B. Um, I am a mom, number one, a model, a stylist, um, and I have a women's boutique. Um, I am, I used to be scared to tell my age, but I, I'm hella old. I'm 37. Black don't crack. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. All the time. Okay. People be thinking I'm like okay. in my 20s. So, yeah. hey, honey, the older you get, I'll take it. I will take it. Um job oh i think i said that oh y'all would never guess my job what i do um i look like this but <laughs> i'm a pest tech technician yeah. and uh, it's not a lot of women in that industry so i do the dirty job that the guys do um my status i am in a relationship and what i see for the future is just elevation just more elevation more elevate um more love more peace more joy okay. all right thank you so much Hello, my name is Chantal on Instagram. I go by Sean Tizlers. Um, I'm originally from France, so I'm also a French ass bitch. So, to my French people, bonjour, je m'appelle Chantal. Um, and let's okay. see, okay, so that's my ethnicity, that's my name, my age. I am 31, feeling fun. 
I am single. Love it. I'm not looking for any relationship, <laughs> but I have my, you know, specifics that I kick it with when I <laughs> kick it. You know? okay. We know what that means. And, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> And um, what I what I do is I I'm a plus size model and I also am a businesswoman. So I have my own business doing my in the alcohol industry, um, doing private wine and whiskey tastings. I'm a certified spirit specialist and wine teacher. So um, yes, I I'm not the bottle girl. I'm the bottle specialist. Okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> Shout out to bottle girls. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> All right, hello everyone. My name is Mara. I am a proud Aqua Latino woman from the Bay Area. I am 46 years old. So oh, hey, hey, you hey, you me? I said it on <laughs> here. I told people I was not going to give up my secrets, but I will give that up because I'm very Amazing. proud of it. That's like, right. I have as you should uh, two point five children. I say point five because I raised my niece who's 22, daughter who's 19, and daughter who is 16. So Amazing. I was married for 15 years, coming out of a divorce. I got divorced in 26. 16. And so, you know, dating in your 40s is very different, especially being the wifey type, being the woman that wants to hold people down and elevate people. But it's finding the right person that wants to be elevated. Um, in my job, I've had many iterations of myself. So I'm a former high school teacher. I taught for high school for 10 years. Then I worked for NASA. Yes, the Space okay. Administration Yay. after that. Um, and now I work in the water industry and I help people find jobs in the water industry industry. Um, my status is I am single, but I'm dating myself. So if you can date better than I date myself, mm -hmm. then you are qualified. And I do have a long list of qualifications because I am the CEO of me. Hey! Oh! Yes. And yes. I'm looking for yes. someone yes. That, they can, yes. that can help me Love level it. up. So there you go. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Love that. That was amazing. Well, that's tough. To follow <laughs> like, okay. well, damn. Like Barbies over here. Like, that's a lot of stuff. It's amazing. I love to like see it and hear it. Um, my name is Ray Nisa. You can call me Ray. Um, I am 30 years old. I just turned 30. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the dirty 30s, girl. Yes. I'm like, oh, wow. Especially on you guys. <laughs> Okay, um, so I am married, I uh, have a toddler with my husband. Um, my job, I used to be an entertainer, so I did a lot of hula hoop dancing, uh, oh, LED nice. hooping, go go dancing, <gasps> modeling. Um, yes. But nowadays, I am just a stay at home mom. So I guess, you know, I don't work not jobs. Just, not that's just. Exactly, that's don't say just. That's a full time job. job. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a job. job. Yeah, that's, that's, a job. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's the hardest job of my mom. <laughs> what I love about this group. And um, what am I looking for? Uh, nothing relationship-wise, but I mean, I'm always open to more friendships, more girlfriends. You know, hubby wants a threesome, so you know. Oh, yeah. oh, she That's so cute. She went <laughs> here. Hi, hi, sorry, maybe I said it. <laughs> That's why she said <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, shout out to the ladies one more time. Well, 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 well. I didn't hit my head on the mic. It's too much. Well, well. Yes. Okay. But uh, thank you so much, ladies, for the great intros. Uh, thank you so much. I see a lot of new names coming on the live chat. Hey, the real uh, podcast. Hey, good to see you, Conrad, on the live chat. Good to see you. And who also I saw in the live chat? Uh, yeah, keep that live chat popping. I see the viewership going up on the different uh, platforms. Uh, definitely come out the, and uh, show some love to the ladies. If you recognize the ladies, show support. And of course, uh, get the live chat popping. We have a great show planned for you guys. All right. Uh, but ladies, right before we start, we got to get some gobble phone for everybody. Ooh. And uh, let's do it. All right. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Ooh, me too. All right. And shout out to all the gobble drinkers out there, man. Yes. Oh, sorry, I do it. Is there some kind of intention that we should be setting tonight as we're drinking the kava as well, too? Or well, what do you, what do you say that I'm is back? there some kind of intention that we should be setting as we're drinking the kava? Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll break it down. Let me okay. fill your cups for you guys. Right. I love how she was like, should we be intentional? Yes. Mm -hmm. I like, anyone else that? A, a real, like a real trip. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Like, we're we going somewhere right now. <laughs> it's very yummy. yummy. I mean, I'm no, sure you guys I, a little bit. Uh, I like how you, I like how you it's, it's, Thank uh, you. It Thank you. Taste, it's going to be a different taste. 
Uh, you, uh, Thank you. I'm gonna give you to try it out a little bit. Oh, you can just give me a hole. You already oh, know. Okay, okay. I was like, like you know, quit playing with me. Yeah. <laughs> I know All right. So uh, right before we drink, we raise our cups. Uh, so traditionally, uh, in the culture, right before we drink, we always offer some words of endearment uh, towards each other. And then once everybody has offered some words of endearment, then we drink. Okay. Um, so we're talking about elevation today. So my words of endearment is, uh, I was thinking about this. Uh, if you want to elevate to the next level, which, regardless of what aspect of your life is, eliminate what doesn't elevate you. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's my words of endearment for everybody out there. In order to become the person you need to be, you got to, um, that person, the old version of yourself has to die and has to be eliminated. So just want all my words of endearment for all you guys and everybody uh, watching this right now. I'll pass it to you. Um, I would say to grow and to elevate, um, take the time to find yourself and love yourself and um, move into your purpose. All right. Thank you. Yes. Oh, everybody. Oh, yeah. Wait. 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 Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Um, just piggybacking off of what you two said, self-love is the best love. So just remembering always to put yourself first, no matter what that looks like to anyone else, you come first, your happiness comes first. So as long as you're living in your happiness, hey, go do that. All right. Thank you. Yes. Um, I also, I'm going to say something similar that, Love yourself. Do whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter what anybody has to say about anything because it's your life. You have one life and we're here right now. So live it. Um, don't don't cut yourself short ever for anybody or for anything. If you want to do it, you do it. You go for it. That's what it is. Okay. Cheers. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to uh, just say to find the Christ consciousness in ourselves and connect to ourselves and share our truths um, unapologetically and living for your own joy and your own bliss, and that you are the person that defines that on a daily basis. Yes. All right. Thank you Love so much. You. And I'll conclude by saying that I'm happy to be involved in the panel of very diverse women. So I think Tim also said it too, as well. Um, you know, be yourselves, mm -hmm. be happy, live life to the fullest. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, yeah, no, just say, uh, Ofa. Ofa. Atu. Atu. Ofa, Atu, y'all. Ofa, Atu. <laughs> the whole thing, the whole no, thing. No, no, no. You don't have, have to. to. I didn't. But should you? I did. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You Normally, should. You should. Like, you should. should. It's a he first said you time. Should. I mean, with the mouth that I have. Well, yeah. I mean, oh, it's I, like, I think I am. <laughs> it's up to you. I think I'm gonna do it. Like, are you doing it? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Cheers, bitch. Let me get you some Yeah, I will. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need some more. Was it? Was it tasty? Like agua, like yeah, it tastes like it tastes like earthy, like yeah, almost, earthy. Um, yeah, yeah. almost like yeah. um, uh, horchata without the cinnamon oh, sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the rice. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Should we have more? No, no. I was just uh, <laughs> she's ready. She's, she's ready. ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, he said, do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh thank you so much uh yeah thank you so much ladies and of course all oh the my drinkers goodness. out there shout out to the common drinkers out there it. make sure you guys uh go home to your wives tonight don't drink out too much uh all the way to the morning so thank you so much <laughs> but we'll go right into it uh ladies the topic we're going to be discussing tonight is do modern women know how to represent and elevate their men uh to their highest level of society so this was a topic i saw that uh, went viral online on TikTok. there was a clip i'm gonna uh, play the clip real quick for all of us to uh watch and we can re uh, we get to react to it as well and of course as you're watching this clip as well if you're on the live chat definitely uh, react to it uh, let me know what you guys think uh as you're reacting to the live chat so, but get that live chat popping y'all all right so let me play the clip real quick Ooh, the tongue tingles. It does. Yeah, the mm -hmm. whole mouth. Yeah, like oh, it's happened. Yeah, I need some more. All right, so you know, tingling. Did you drink more? Mm -hmm. I did. Ooh, yes, big tolerance. I feel like it's like mine is. Mine is just a little like, bit. It's just like, like this. Like, eh, 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 eh. So this is it doesn't clip. tingle. So this is a clip from a uh, a big uh, big YouTuber. Her name is uh, Just Pearly Things. I don't know if you guys have heard of mm -hmm. her name on YouTube. So she has a show. She talks a lot about dating and relationship dynamics. And this is the clip that kind of uh, went viral uh, about this topic. 
respect the guy you're with. Like you wouldn't want to do anything that would make him look bad. And it makes a guy like like as a woman, you want to make your man look good. Like that, that's your job. So that was the clip. That's um, it? Oh. Yeah. That's I know. I was like straight to the point. Like, and then I know, right? Oh, stop right there. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So um, so that was the clip I saw, and then uh, it, it ignited a whole conversation between the men and women on mm -hmm. the comments. Uh, a lot of women were upset uh, that she said that it's it's your job mm -hmm. woman, as a wife. Mm -hmm. She was talking about a wife, uh, not girlfriend. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. um, yeah, yeah. Right. So if you are, if a man is going to commit to you, if a man is going to marry you, mm -hmm. uh, and decide to be a provider protector for you, then it is your job as his wife to uh, represent him in the best way, uh, especially to elevate him uh, to the highest level of society. What if it's uh, communal within the community? What if it's the, the church? What if it's his job? Mm -hmm. What if it's society as a general? Depending on the, his profession. Uh, uh, where he where he lies, but uh, that was a conversation. So um, a lot of women disagreed with it. Some of them, more the, tr the traditional women they agreed with it, but it started a whole conversation um, on the on the comments. And a lot of the men are saying the the criticism were a lot of the men are saying that um, most modern women today in America they don't know how to not only represent their husband, but they don't know how to elevate him. Uh, to look good to society, to his family, mm -hmm. uh, in a social setting. All right. So mm -hmm. there are a lot of uh, a lot of behaviors women do that uh, make him look bad. So th so that's the topic we want to discuss. So um, we can talk about it. Yeah, we're definitely going to discuss it. Uh, discuss it. Uh, I see Sharon on the live chat. Hey, good to mm -hmm. see you, Sharon. All right. Um, I saw Milagros on the live chat. Good to see you, Milagros. Uh, let me know what you guys think on the on the live chat. I always appreciate your feedback. What you guys? What do you agree? What do you disagree? And don't forget, this is a virtual show, so if you do want to jump on on the last hour of this pod, there is an opportunity for you to jump on virtually from anywhere in the world. Become a supporting member of my locals. The link is in the description below. Um, but yeah, let's get that live chat popping. My ladies, I'll pass it to you guys. What's your reaction to that clip? Uh, and what is your standpoint? Uh, what's your reaction? What's your uh, opening thoughts about the topic? And uh, do you agree? Do you think, uh, in, um, in general, do you think that most women that we see today uh, do they do a good job of representing their, their husband? I'm not talking about uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm not talking about sneaky links, situationships. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about uh, if a man decides to, to make your yes wife and he is your husband, do most women today, do, do, they, do they do a good job of representing him and elevating that man uh, to the highest level uh, of society? All right. I'll start with the married woman across from me. All right. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. What's your, what's your reaction to that clip? Uh, what's your thoughts on uh, what's your thoughts on the topic? And of course, uh, in general, what you see in your own personal experience from most women, uh, do, do, do they do a good job of representing and elevating their men uh, to the highest point in society? Mm, OK, it is I wouldn't even say a heavy question, but it's a little bit of a loaded one because what every every man is different. Right. Um, so what he is looking for in regards to what makes him feel represented and whole as a man is going to vary. For some men, it is within the church. For others, it's like when I bring you to a professional party with my colleagues, like I want you to look a certain way, act a certain way. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it does come down to what that man's occupation is and all those different things. So um, hmm, I guess I'll backtrack back to that clip, right? What we saw. Um, I don't I don't think she was wrong. Um, I, I think that she's right, especially with what we see today. Um, right? Relationships are kind of in the gutter, even a lot of marriages. You know, I I know of some. Um, I'm not going to sit and say that my marriage is super perfect and that we haven't wronged each other in different ways. I'm not even saying like infidelity, but just like mm -hmm. just, you know, how relationships go. So I found myself for sure like falling short of like what my husband would probably think to be like good representation. Yeah. And that for him is not even like how I dress. Like I could wear the most hookerish outfit, if you will, yeah. like for my and go out with girls and my mm -hmm. husband would not bat an eye or think anything less of it. Mm -hmm. But it's also because he's very secure in himself and our relationship. But there are other aspects of our marriage that I do know that he looks for good representation and it's for sure like how am i acting when i'm out there are you like entertaining these guys that are buying you drinks like i have the kind of guy who would much rather me say no to that guy buying me a drink and not think it's cute play into that because then that guy thinks oh even if she has a ring on i can still yes 
bypass yeah. this. And even when I was engaged, I remember people being like, oh, well, you're not married yet. You know, so people are always willing to cross those boundaries. And so um, while it is for sure in a woman's position to make sure that her man is well represented, mm -hmm. it is also up to the man to make sure that he's providing that foundation for a woman to feel safe enough to represent him in a positive way. Yeah. Because if I'm right, they always say like, you know, if it, in a traditional standpoint, right, the man would go to work, he's a provider, and he comes home and his wife has like the home as together as possible, mm -hmm. dinner, the kids, all that, yada, yada, yada. But yeah. if, you know, if he's not taking care of his part and doing his thing, then how is she going to be a good mom, be that good wife, have time for sex, um, and then as well represent him in the best way? Because I know, like, my husband takes care of things. So when we go out, it's like, right, my makeup's going to have the best makeup provided by, you know, his, <laughs> like, his wages. It's like, I'm dressed nice. I look a certain way because that's how my husband provides for us. And that's what he values. And so I value that too. And so if both people don't have those same values, you're going to have that. She's not representing me the way I want to be represented. Yeah. Yeah. And vice versa. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then uh, from that clip, uh, she mm -hmm. said that uh, part of your duty or job as, as a wife is to represent him in a good way. Do you believe you agree with that? Yeah, yes. no, I would okay. definitely agree for sure. For sure. Okay. You know, and I'm not trying to like take light away from that because I know it's based on women, but like, yes, it has to go both ways. Both it ways. has to for okay. it to be like healthy. Healthy. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thank you so much. All right. I'll pass it to you. Uh, you know, what's your reaction to that clip? What do you what's your opening thoughts about the topic? And in general, what based on what you see in modern society, uh, do most women do a great job of representing and elevating uh, their fiance or husbands? OK, well, as the divorced person on the panel, um, I would say that, yes, you know, I feel like most people, men and women go into marriage to want to represent their spouse and their partner mm -hmm. and in the best light possible. Yes. Right. Like no one goes into marriage thinking, OK, well, I'm going to give this person like 35 percent and, you know, but everyone's trying, trying their best. I think what happens sometimes in relationships is that people forget um, that it is a, a 50 50 100 100 you know um partnership okay. um and i think that for i don't want to say most women because i always talk about myself but there's something i wanted to say you know for for this um for this gathering tonight is i don't want to generalize um i, I want to be very honest and, and speak you know from from my own per perspective and points of view and i can say that from myself you know i think it was very important to be that good wife that important to be you know the person to represent my husband and his family and the best light um and then we also have cultural differences that were taking place in, in my marriage as well, too. My mother-in-law is from El Salvador, and she said, you know, most important thing is your hogar. Hogar is your home. So it's just like your, your husband, your children, you know, making sure that you're providing for him, putting food on the table. But for me, it was also important to have a master's degree. It was also important to continue my education. It was also, also important for me, for my daughters, to see their mother working hard and to be able to provide for them also. It was also important for me to be able to follow the lineage of my ancestors and be an educated woman. Mm -hmm. And so I think that for, you know, coming into these cultural differences um, um, and cult different cultural practices sometimes is like, yes, I thought that as, uh, you know, I'm showing up as a woman who is doing the best to represent her, her man. And maybe he was feeling like, oh, you know what, she's not living up to my same cultural differences or, you know, or, or, or cultural expectations that I have. And so sometimes those things can come into a clash, right? So we feel like, hey, we're doing the best that we can. Can, but someone might might look at it like, well, it's not good enough, or it's not what I'm what I'm expecting from you. So I think that in that case, then there's conversations that need to be happening. Is what is it? How can I continue to support you? What do you need? What does mm -hmm. me being a good representation for you look like? Mm -hmm. What does it yes. sound okay. like? Mm -hmm. Give me examples of that so that I can practice that, so I can mm -hmm. practice being successful in that. And so that's where the communication comes in, into play. Right. Um, and I think that that's really important as well to have in any foundation of a relationship is how are how are we sharing our visions and how are we working together for these visions because as i said people go into marriage wanting to make it work wanting to make it last right so let's share that vision what is your vision of me of being someone who's going to represent and elevate you 
how does that look? And then as a man, how does that, you know, how, how are you, what's, what's my vision of my man to do the same thing? So that way we have that shared vision and we're working towards that. And then what happens, I think, you know, I was married for 15 years, we change. Those visions change, mm -hmm. those goals change, our personal mm -hmm. goals change. That's right. So as I'm changing and as I'm elevating and for myself, right, as I'm elevating myself, then how am I bringing my mate along to elevate right along with me? And then how is my mate elevating me along with them? Because what happens if I'm elevating too much and they're not elevating enough and now I'm dragging along a, a, a weight, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm like, come on, baby, let, let's get here together. And maybe, maybe yeah. there, you know, in, in my case, maybe he was comfortable where he was, but my elevation was making him uncomfortable because I was trying to over elevate. So I think, again, it's going back to that communication and understanding what is this vision, you know, for, for our marriage? And then how do we want to elevate each other? Okay. Dang, she just spoke for me. Dang. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, give it a moment. Chantal, same thing. What's your uh, reaction to the clip? What's your opening thoughts about the topic? And uh, in general, based on what you see in modern society, do you think women do a great job of representing, elevating their men? So as someone who is happily single and not looking for any sort of relationship, um, what I, I am much more of like an alpha female. Um, a lot of people say, oh, there's no such thing as an alpha female. But to me, I am my own provider. Mm -hmm. I'm happily pro provide for myself. When I'm with someone, I like it to be equal. So I like, I like to treat you. I like you to treat me. But I don't think that it's the man who should lead. And I don't think that it's the woman who should lead. I think it should. I For me personally, it's like I like it as equal. You know what I mean? And because if something goes down, you know what I mean? With him, I'm stepping up too. Mm -hmm. it's, I'm not someone who sits back. So so when, to but when talking about elevating your man, um, so if I would want to be with somebody, of course, like, you know what I mean? I'm someone who's, I'm, I'm a lover and a fighter, but I'm a big lover. So mm -hmm. anytime you need to be brought up, if you're having a bad time or you need help or you start struggling, like I'm going to pick you up. You know what I mean? Because we're going to go through it together and, and be good. Um, but in the clip, when she says it's your job as a woman, to me, I, I don't like hearing that personally. So some women that are more traditional, I completely understand that because that's what you want. And so I find that beautiful in that sense, because if if you want it to be your your job to take care of your man and make sure that you hold yourself a certain way for him, that, that's amazing. Um, for me, it will never be my job because my job is I am who I am. And you're not going to tell me what I should or should not be because you're with me and you're, you love me for who I am. But... That being said, if we're out at a club somewhere and we are married and someone wants to buy me a drink, I'm not taking the drink because that's not what this is about. If I'm with someone, I'm with someone. Mm -hmm. And as someone who's single, I see a lot of fucking bullshit. Like mm -hmm. I, I, mm -hmm. loved, I Girl. love girls and oh, I'm not yeah. putting women yeah. down, yeah. but these bitches are tripping sometimes. But I'm just like, you're just like, you got your man at home. And you over here just except like, oh, ha, ha, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, you're staying over here. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. Like, don't even entertain that. To me, I'm like, that's like disgusting. We're not friends. So it's, I don't know. I can't be friends with people like that. I don't like that. Because if you're shy to someone you say, I Two love you friends. too, I don't trust you. You're not a friend. Right. You ain't got, right. you got no heart. You're yeah. just a flippy floppy. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. So I don't like, I don't like people like that. But I think it also comes down <laughs> with what you said. Everything is communication. So if you are communicating the entire time about what you want and like, I'm, I'm the man and I want you to act like this, then if you agree to it, that's what it is. So if you're the woman, you're like, I want you to be a certain way, then be a certain way. But if you have to be on the same page in a relationship, I'll have a little bit because my mouth is all numb and tingling. Right. The cough I'm is strong. that feeling, but I don't have yeah. that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Right. Thank it's you. Like, it's like tea. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's strong. Mm -hmm. it's, it's <laughs> but yeah, so I think um, I think that if you communicate, there wouldn't be any problems. Um, I think a big issue is that now people like to say that nowadays um, there's a lot more problems in relationships now. I don't agree with that. I think they were always there. It's just now we have social media. We have ways to see it. It's always been there. Okay. I'm from France. 
people have the names for cheaters. You know what I mean? Like it's part of the family. Like you got your wife, you got your bitch. You know what I mean? Like and then, and then you, got, you got your husband and then you, you're also with the, the guy taking care of the horses in the back, you know? So like there's words for it. It's part, you know what I mean? So it's always happened. It's always happened. But now it's because we see it on social media, it's exposed or you can, it's just, I think now, we just see it more. So that's why people are so like, Bold. it's so like, oh, now no one can date. It's like, no, it's just been a lie for a long time. Now everything is just exposed. So is it a good thing? I don't see it as a bad thing because you shouldn't have, you should be honest. It's really easy. Like for me, I'm happily single. I have all of my, all of, you know, my, my little set friends that I have, but I see like, you are not the only one, you know what I mean? I'm not just with you and there's no problem ever because it's honest, you know? So communication is key. And, um, and I think people aren't used to being exposed. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Chantal. All right. Uh, we'll pass it to you. Uh, uh, Kari. 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 Okay, Kari. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what's your uh, what is your uh, reaction to the clip? Uh, what's your thoughts about the opening topic? And of course, uh, in general, based on what you see in modern society, uh, do women do a great job of uh, representing and elevating their men to the high to the highest? Okay, obviously, this is a heavy topic here. Um, a lot of different opinions, but um, what I see here, what I hear here here is communication. So if you communicate. I, I feel like that man knows before he puts that ring on that woman's finger that she is going to represent him well. You know that before you're putting the ring on her finger. You know that because you should have had that conversation already. You, you're not just putting a ring on her finger. You know that, hey, this is the woman I love. She's representing me in the way I know she's going to represent me. She, she got my back. She's going to hold me down. All of that. Going into that marriage you're still going to have another conversation to make sure those your needs are still being met because we're, 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 we are always changing. We're always evolving. So you can't expect that same conversation that you had to still to see if he, you're still elevating him in that same way. He may have different needs then, or she may have different needs then, but going from what my sister said here, it's a 50, 50 thing. It's it's 50 50 is relationships are give and take. So um, just keeping that um, in mind. And so, yeah, I, I agree with the, the lady said I've been married the same way. That's why I was like, when you said 15 years, I was in a 15 year relationship. So with my kid's father. So, um, yeah, I can speak on that. Yeah. But. I'm short, sweet, and to the point, you guys. So, yeah, that's me. Do what we do to make it work, right? Yeah, I'm a lady with little words. So, all right, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that yeah. cobbled the listener up. <laughs> 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 all right, then I'll pass it to you, Sneak. Uh, go ahead. You know, what's your reaction to that clip? And what's your thoughts about the topic? And then, uh, in general, based on what you see, do uh, women do a good job? Uh, of elevating and representing their men. Modern women. Yes. That's the, the key piece in that the modern women are the modern women representing their, their men well. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, I don't think so at like all the time or a lot in this, in this time. And the reason I say that is because um, back in the day, I would say in a traditional setting, a lot of women, they just, I, I think this is the problem though, because they didn't, they didn't speak out. They didn't say what they really wanted to. They didn't show their real emotions to their men. They just did what the men wanted them to do. And so I think with that being said, nowadays more women are speaking out on what they want and how they want it rather than, um, rather than going with the traditional setting. Um, and that I think makes men feel like, oh, well, she's not doing what I want her to do or how I want her to be. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big part that was like playing in my head. And then I also think that um, with the clip, like, is it women's job? Um, I, I don't think that couples are having those decent, those real conversations before mm -hmm. they get married mm -hmm. um, to like really go and like in depth of like, what do you really want from this relationship? And like, how how do you see me treating you or supporting you or helping you elevate and grow? Um, and how can we move forward um, and be happy? And again, like like Kari was saying, to like bring that back up in the marriage. But I don't think that that 
conversation is happening enough mm -hmm. before to right. get married. Right. Oh, yeah. you're so totally yeah. agree. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, mm -hmm. yeah. I did not have that conversation. Same. I did, I did not either. Not have that conversation. Like the, about the checking in part. Mm -hmm. like, most times we get married yeah. and it's like you think that like, this is the person I married. Like it's the same it's person. Yeah, it's not they're not. It, if they do change, it's not going to exactly. be in that way. But it does. And yep. We evolve. We keep going. That's even right. Anticipate the changes that the person's going to be That's going right. Through, like, so they're happening, mm -hmm. and then you're watching it happen, and you're like, okay, wait, hold up. Who are who are you? you backtrack. Yep. That's right. right. Yep. Where yep. did the person like, that I married yeah. go, or, uh -huh. or I fell in love with, go, or that I met go? Right, because we're always evolving. That's right. And it goes both ways, though. Right. That's right. Your partner might look at you and be like, okay, wait, wait, hold up. What happened to you? Mm -hmm. hey, where did you go? You're like, my God, it's me. It's a new version of me. It's like myself. I love myself. <laughs> that's what I married. And it's like, well, this has always been in me. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and during that process and transformation, that's when you guys should be having those conversations. So you won't look up and it's a completely different, different yeah. person. Yeah. You're like, yeah. where's yeah. the person yeah. I married? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's why the yeah. rate is so yeah. high. And it really is a communication. Mm -hmm. That's I cannot tell you guys. It's like, I'd probably be divorced too right now. If like my husband, I'll give this so much to him. He's got more patience than I do. And the way he will be like, <laughs> we need to talk. We need to like, mm -hmm. you know, it really kind of does take that one person. Like yes. if we can't do it, one's got to yes. pick it up. We're yes. Dropping it, <laughs> pick it up. Yeah, have that yeah. conversation a couple yeah. of times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, like a relay race, right? You're passing that, bat torch, uh, that baton oh. to your next mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, run with it. But mm -hmm. when I think what happens sometimes in, you know, in, in certain cases is that the person is not there to pick up the baton. So you're just running the relay race your whole, you know, yourself. Oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> you're, <all laughs> you're, ready, you're, ready, you're ready. You're ready to elevate. Yes. Hey, mm -hmm. it's the next level. Mm -hmm. And they're and just not there to pick it, it up. Does. Man yeah. being like, baby, I've been telling you. And then like, you know. Like, yep. Yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I was going to say, but but also like in terms of the, the elevation aspect. For the for the man, he's not always communicating about mm -hmm. what he needs either in terms of elevation and how he expects or would like his lady to represent him or to help him elevate. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they communicate that all the time. I think that it's just they expect it. They expect the woman to be a certain way or to to have a certain vibe or presence when they're around, but they don't actually communicate that either. And so for a modern woman to mm -hmm. represent or elevate that man in a certain way, that man do, does need to communicate that as well. Mm -hmm. um, That's where therapy comes yeah. in. That part, <laughs> yeah. That part, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you, ladies. Uh, thank you for sharing your inputs. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm gonna go back to the live chat. Uh, PAF, hey, good to see you. I haven't seen uh, PAF on the live chat before. First time here, so shout out to you, PAF. Uh, thank you for being on uh, on on the live. <laughs> All right. Uh, what so, the fuck? Yeah, you right. You right. Can't can't be reading them, huh? Go take, yeah, getting, go take a nap. Meet me. Who are you regurgitating? Who are you regurgitating? Yo, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the sophisticated group. Good to see you, Jeff, on the live chat. Appreciate you guys as always. Uh, keep the live chat popping. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget, if you do want to jump on uh, virtually at the last hour, uh, become a supporting member member of my locals. Okay. And you'll be able to get uh, the link. All right. And of course, uh, if you do want to share your opinions, uh, drop it. Damn drop big it man. The chat <laughs> and, uh, That's why you're sitting there choking the chicken. Yeah. Bitch, cluck, cluck, cluck at home. Not and I see you, bitch. Choking the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I, I, I do want to bring up a conversation. Um, I do want to bring up a conversation. I think uh, the first thing I want to discuss, and I think this is something that we might disagree on. Um, I know, Chantal, you said that you don't believe it's uh, your job to represent uh, an elevator man, right? And I think no, no, no. I, I didn't say that. Okay. I said that I don't think that it's like that he's above me. I, we see each other as equal, not like I'm just the sole provider. Yes. In a relationship, I do agree. Yeah, I, oh, okay. I will always elevate the person I'm with. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, okay. I think we, it's a good way of defining it. When we talk about elevation, uh, we do understand that uh, it's not about... Uh, you're higher than me or I'm better than you. It's just like uh, as simple, the simple form is just, we just want to make sure that you make him look good. Mm -hmm. The same way a husband, you want to make sure that you make a woman look good. Mm -hmm. uh, you just want to make sure you represent him in a way that looks good mm -hmm. uh, to other people. 
but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm higher than you, I'm better than you. We're, we're both important, right? But I think the, the, the whole conversation was just represent them in a good way. They looks good, mm -hmm. all right? So you agree with that? Yeah. Okay, all right. So everybody agrees that uh, it's your, if you are the wife, it's your duty. I know people like to say job. I like yeah. to say duty. I like it's the a word yeah. choice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's what she said. She's like, the word job doesn't sit right with me. Yeah, it still doesn't. I don't like the word job. Yeah, yeah. still doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's respecting, respecting him in, in public. The yeah. same way he's going to respect you. So it's a respect. Yeah, he should respect you. So like, as the women were saying, like b people buying drinks and stuff like that, you declining the drinks. That's respect. Respect. Mm -hmm. respect. Yeah. So that's how you represent your man in so many different ways, but in in public. In a yeah. yeah. That's a, there's a couple that's ways, easy, but yeah. that's a, yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's gonna happen if yeah. you're an attractive woman. People are gonna try yeah. to test the limits, but it's up to you to be like, uh, no, yeah. I have my man is over there yeah. or my person's yeah. over there, and that okay. has to so do respect. with being satisfied. When you're satisfied in a relationship, you don't search for bullshit. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So uh, we all agree that uh, if you are married and you are a wife, it's, it is part of your responsibility and duty is to represent him in the best way possible. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Okay, we agree with yes. That. So uh, I do want to ask you guys, uh, uh, how do you represent? So when you are married, uh, you do happen to find your, uh, that potential man that can be a potential husband. Um, how do you personally, from, in your personal opinion and perspective, how do you elevate your man? to make sure that he looks good and also you elevate him into a highest uh, the highest level in society. Uh I'll start this way we'll go down this way. Um I think that um I think it starts one with the conversation and it also starts with knowing who you're with, knowing the person that you're with, knowing your man yeah. um and knowing what they like and actually paying attention to them so that you can um so that you can show up for them okay that's what i'm saying okay that's it to you uh <laughs> kari, kari. <laughs> yeah like uh, what are things that you do to uh represent him in a good way and elevate him um i would say just uh, going back to what i said i kind of jumped the gun here because you're asking the question but um just how i present myself in public um how i act in public you know um so when i'm with my person you know i do get hit on a lot and all of this stuff but it's just how i navigate that you know to try to show respect um if my person doesn't feel like they're respected then there's a conversation but for me it's just i'm i'm nice i'm nice and friendly so that's one thing but i'm not interested in you um, I'm going to let you say what you have to say and then let you know I'm in a relationship with someone. I'm going to decline your drink. If you're in my DM, I'm going to let my my person know. I'm going to let um, them know if it's, it's, it's their friend, it's somebody they work with. Hey, this person was in my DM. Did you know that? This is the conversation. I might send you screenshots of our conversation so you know it's real over here. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Pass it to Chantal. What do you do? What uh, you know? If you happen to find that uh, potential husband, uh, what do you do to represent him and represent and elevate him? So <clears throat> to represent, well, um, I'm also very business orientated. So they would also be business orientated because that's <laughs> what I'm attracted to. And for that, I would I would always elevate that and and also talk about that. But like if, um, but I think the way that you like the bare minimum of how you conduct yourself and how you react to what is happening like with the drinks being mm -hmm. bought or with the attention you know when a line is being crossed mm -hmm. you know when it's about to be crossed as a woman we deal with it all the time. yes mm -hmm. and yep. you know when it's all of a sudden gonna be like okay blah blah, blah. and once it feels like that it should be just stopped yes right. you know and mm -hmm. there's no i i don't let it continue on i'm gonna say nope you know what Thank you so much. It was great meeting you. Great talking to you. You know what I mean? I'm going to go call my man or go call my woman, whoever I'm with. Be like, that's just, that's just, you know what I mean? And that's it. I have nothing else to say. Um, so I think to just make sure you don't entertain because that's the worst way. You know what I mean? As, a, as, as being in a relationship as the man or the woman mm -hmm. to find out like, hey, so you know, like your man was he was really talking to somebody. You know right. what I mean? It's like, it's and, then, and then you ask yeah. him, and then you ask him, and he goes, no, but she was talking to me. But that's, but you knew what, what you should have stopped it. You knew the intention. Mm -hmm. There was no point to keep no going. Work. 
That so means. I think Same that, here. yeah, you just have to, <laughs> when you know the intention is there, you just stop it. But I think it also comes down to being satisfied with who you're with. People that are not satisfied are excited. Please ask me more about my day. Please buy me that drink, you know, because they're not getting that or it's just, you know, the relationship is just not at the right level anymore. So there's a lot that comes into play, but I think just to elevate someone is just to um, to have their back when they're not there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's really not hard. It's like so simple mm -hmm. to just be like, <laughs> it's really simple. So, so yeah, but I think the main thing, it also comes down to satisfaction. If you're not yeah. satisfied. Someone's not satisfied. That's where people start to veer yeah. off. Or that's true. That's the facts. External shit. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thanks so much, Chantal. Pass it to you. You know what? You know what do you do? What's your in your personal experience? What do you do personally for yourself uh, to elevate and represent your man? Oh, it's a, okay. So that, that's a great question. Um, I think first and foremost, it's to be the best version of myself and to show up with you know full, whole, and complete. And so what I mean by that is like um, <laughs> just continuing to grow as a person, uh, being very self-reflective and understanding that I have blind spots. I like that terminology because every car, no matter if you're in a Tesla, a beat up hoopty, it all has blind spots, right? <laughs> so it doesn't matter what, whatever elevation you are in terms of that level, every car has a blind spot. And so, so do I. And so part of my elevation of self is understanding what my blind spots are That's and my right. triggers are. So mm -hmm. when I'm with my partner or my mate, I'm no longer being triggered by, by those same things mm -hmm. that, you know, when I was in my a lower vibration energy, I was being huh. triggered by. So that's a, a form of elevation. Um, I also think that too professionally, right? So as a woman um, and as a professional woman, I want to make sure that I'm representing myself so that I can financially afford to, you know, go out with my man as well too, because I do know that some men are intimidated by women that make more money mm -hmm. and that's okay too, but that does not mean that I'm not going to go to a nice dinner. And if you want to be my, accompany me at that dinner, I'm okay with that as well too. So I will <laughs> continue to help try to elevate them in that way. Um, I recently was talking to a man who was in his late 50s and he had never gone to a museum before. So we had a museum no. date so I could <gasps> help fun. elevate That's him cute. to a museum and just, you know, some art and culture as well, too. Oh, so again, I think that being, you know, helping to elevate someone is sharing the things that excite me, the passion, the things I'm passionate about so that I can bring them into that so they can understand more about who I am. Um, um, not to say that just dating you just elevates people on, on it. Oh, <laughs> that's what you're saying, sis. That's what you're you saying. <laughs> that's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but what I am saying is is that is that dating right and elevation should be a two way street. Mm -hmm. And when you mm -hmm. consciously date somebody, you're going into learning about who they are and what they can bring and 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 teach you and yeah. who you are, what you can bring <laughs> in to teach them, and together you're elevating each other. And it's okay if it doesn't work out because you know what, my friend that I went to the museum with now knows that the, that that the, the young museum is there in beautiful Golden Gate Park, and he can go there anytime that he wants to go there. You know, um, and I know a great food truck in San Francisco too now. So, hey. you know, so it was a win-win situation for that. So I think that that when you're elevating as a woman who's trying to elevate myself, then that will also elevate the people that I'm with as well too. Come with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll pass it to you, Ray. Yeah. Um, yeah what, what do you do personally for yourself, for yourself in your marriage to elevate your man, represent him in a good way? Um... So I will first say, I'm like, man, a lot of things I was going to say, you guys kind of like really covered the bases. On it. <laughs> so I will leave it at my like last point in my head, which is just, um, and it sounds so cliche and probably so annoying to say it, but oh my God, therapy. Um, I, because personally coming from that, a lot of, I think a lot of ethnic households don't grow up being exposed to therapist or talking to somebody or actually yeah. like explaining your feelings and emotions and it being validated mm -hmm. or at least heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and God, it's like right, one of those <laughs> things where you look up and you're in late 20s or 30s and you're like, wow, I've been through a lot of trauma or I've experienced yeah. a lot of different things. And because I got married so young, like 22, um, you know, I'm not thinking about the different things that I've been through in my life and how it's affecting me as a person, or even my husband, and how that could be not in the most positive 
elevated way, mm -hmm. I guess, if that's like the word, best words to put towards it. Um, so I guess for me personally, it, it's therapy. Um, and I'm mm -hmm. actually currently in it now. And not that my marriage is in the gutter or whatever, but like, <laughs> you know, um, because we've had those conversations about having communications before and after being married in relationships, I feel like it kind of goes like hand in hand. You have to work on yourself. You have to feel like you're the MVP CEO of your own body before you can even elevate mm -hmm. someone else. Mm -hmm. So if you're not doing good internally, mentally, and still having triggers, right? Like right. you, you yeah. see your guy, why are you on your phone or why blah, 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 because you're thinking about somebody else in a past relationship that, you know, that hurt you and you're not even thinking about yeah, just how it's detrimental yeah. to your own relationship. Mm -hmm. So I would for sure say therapy's helped me. I know it's helped a lot of other people, and that's probably the best way to elevate yourself in a relationship mm -hmm. after you after you've already gotten married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. Okay. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. all right. So, all right, thank you, ladies. I appreciate everybody in the live chat. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, keep the live chat popping. Appreciate you guys as always. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think on the topic, and you know, I always appreciate your feedback. Um, I, you know, I had a chance to uh, to listen to a lot of your uh, responses, so I, I do want to have. I'm this. trying to fight these. I'm trying to fight. There's Tim over here <laughs> talking about the range is mine. No, <laughs> Tim, it's hard, I, it's hard Tim, to I've been dying to go to, to the to shooting fight. range. Actually, I yeah, feel that nice. more women nice. might be able to take out some of that aggression if Ooh, they were able to get no. that pop pop. Oh, oh, I I so elevate I me, Tim. <laughs> like I told you guys before, the live chat. I know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 you heard about that. Like, yeah, I'm going to go shoot something. Right? <laughs> right. Um, right. But I do. Oh, that's that's, that's, that, that, that might leave a, leave a bruise, though. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm delicate. <laughs> um, I do want to bring up this conversation. So um, I have. Great, thank you for your responses about the, the things that you do personally uh, as far as elevating and then representing your men. Uh, but, but I want to bring up some specific things, um, things that I've, uh, through my conversations with men, um, <laughs> these are the things, I guess, are the top things that they see <laughs> that they have a problem with that's normalized today, especially when it comes to um, modern women. But before we go down into that, I just want to make sure that we have some common ground. Uh, do we all agree on this panel, uh, on the uh, ladies, that... Um, uh, respect is important for both men and women. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Sure. Yes. Yeah, so absolutely. As a woman, you have to be able to represent and elevate your man to respect your man. And as men, we have to be able to represent our woman and respect our woman, right? It's reciprocal. Okay. Yes. Um, can we also agree on this panel that our needs uh, for men and women is a little different, right? Women have yes. needs mm -hmm. yes. that's different than women. <laughs> absolutely. Men are looking for in needs uh, in women, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Um, so I guess let me bring up the first thing I do hear from a lot of men and the, their biggest criticism of why they believe uh, a lot of modern women here today uh, don't really do a great job of representing, elevating their, their men. Um, do you guys like men with strong values? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you guys like masculine men? Mm -hmm. I say yes. Yes. Do you like men who are competent? Yes. yes. <laughs> Please God. I'm also a trick question. <laughs> it's probably like a trick question. Right? Right. Yeah. Right. Do you like men that are very ambitious and they're always trying to elevate themselves to be be as successful as they can? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, do you like family men? Of course. Very into family. Yes, yes right? <laughs> okay. He doesn't have okay. to be, he doesn't be okay. like, doesn't I love to. my family, but it's like, I actually please don't do. Have I, I, I'm, I'm looking for my modern day Brady Bunch man who has like his kids and I have mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We come together. So, yeah. Yeah, like you like men who are <laughs> you know, like, blending. Yes, we are blended. <laughs> so, you guys like men who are very family oriented. Yes. Like, not, not for me, not necessarily. No, no, not for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so. So uh, one of the things, so, so we understand that uh, respect is important in the relationship for both, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, if, if we're not getting the respect we deserve or we think we need in the relationship, that can cause the relationship to fail, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, we do understand on this panel that men and women will look for different things because we're both we're different, biologically, but we're different. And um, mm -hmm. one of the biggest things I do want to bring up in the conversation, and I do I see a lot of the live chat, you know, they brought it up as well. Uh, is the way you dress as a woman to represent your man, um, especially if you are uh, his wife. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. that's one of the things that's always uh, a big debate 
uh, in the in the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, I do understand that in modern society, uh, women are more um, when it comes to the sexuality, it's more liberating. More, it's more mm -hmm. freedom today compared to traditional times. Mm -hmm. But, thank God and thank you ooh. to all the women who struggled to get us where the fuck we are, to have yeah. the rights okay. to do that, to have the rights to walk down the street, okay. to have a credit card, to wear what I want, yes. to, to do all that. Shout out to all the women who That's did fine. that for us. No, I agree. I mean, uh, I do understand <laughs> that is the reality. But um, in, in society today, you know, women, you know, they have the, they have the right and they have the freedom to uh, uh, express their sexuality however they see fit. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're talking about the very qualities of the men that we just described, you like guys like um, family yes. men, mm -hmm. you guys like so competent men, masculine mm -hmm. men, men men with good morals, good values, um, men who are trying to elevate themselves to be very successful. So, uh, if you guys are more, if you ask most women, those are usually the qualities of the, of the type of men they want. So, if those types of men, if they're very focused on their on their success, if they're very if they're if they're rising up in society. To become the type of man that uh, people look up to, people respect. All right, become the type of man that has a family and he cares about his family. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that most of these guys uh, look for is a woman that respects his standard, especially when it comes to sexuality. Mm -hmm. And for most men, I'm not saying all men, I'm saying for most men who are in that the type of man I just described, mm -hmm. uh, we're very conservative, especially when it comes to our woman's sexuality, because it's something that we just want to be exclusive with. Yes, we don't want to share that. We've the whole world to see. Mm -hmm. So um, I just want to have to conversation with you guys because I I do understand the times are different, right? The times are different. You guys can do whatever. You guys can post whatever, but it's also what I do see with a lot of those women who are doing, who are posting and expressing their sexuality. One of the things that's going to hurt them is going to be very hard for them to attract the very man I just described mm -hmm. that's because true. that is one of the things that that is important to one man. Mm -hmm. It's just we see sexuality. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, it's something that I want to reserve for only me and my wife. Uh, we don't want that to be shown to all the other men or for the whole world to see mm -hmm. because it's something special, especially when it comes to men. That's just the way men see it. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do you guys think about that? Because I do understand that we live in a different time, mm -hmm. but as a, for me, it's all about choices. So if you want to go that route and mm -hmm. go out there and express yourself sexually, that's fine. It's a free world. You're an adult. You can live your life however you want to live, but the one of the consequences to that, you're going to attract all those good men out there who have those standards. Because one of the things you guys talked about before, you guys want good men, and one of the things I know about good men is they have self-respect to stand by their values. Mm -hmm. All right. So most men, if they have any self-respect for themselves, mm -hmm. they're not going to go against their very values and go be with the woman that mm -hmm. is expressing herself in a way that goes against what he believes in. So true. I don't blame mm -hmm. I don't blame the women who are sexually expressing themselves and the guys to pursue him pursuers or even though he has a problem with it. The thing is for you is if you see the girl just in the way you have a problem with it, then don't go with her. Right. right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. So I put that yep. account yep. of the men. Mm -hmm. uh, but usually those types of men are, are usually weak men because mm -hmm. strong men don't try to force anything mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. They just tell it how it is. This is how I am. Is it good? Is it not? That I'll, I'll keep it moving. I'm not going to try to force you. Yeah. Uh, it's not, that's what not leaders do. So uh, what's, what's your thoughts about that? Because I do hear, I do see we live in a different world. A lot of women, mm -hmm. uh, on the online posting and you know, going to different industries, mm -hmm. uh, but they're also complaining online or saying, where are all the good guys? So I was like, well, you, you have to make changes. Mm -hmm. you know, like, mm -hmm. The guys that you guys want are looking for this specific type of woman who, ex who exemplify the traits that respect him and what he believes in. And if you're not willing to do that, then that's that's up on you. Yeah. But those men are not going to come your way. And you probably have to go with a guy that is willing to accept you like that. But the thing is, I, for me as a man, we all have the same standard and most guys, even though they'll accept you, but they would like hold it. There'll be some resentment because they're not man enough to tell you up front. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you guys mentioned before. The communication is mm -hmm. oh, right. You right. With, if you have a standard, you have, you have a value, you have a, you have something that you want to express, express in the beginning, but don't try to be, uh, be passive aggressive and try to manipulate, try to mm -hmm. be toxic yeah. yep. and try yeah. to force to make it right. look bad yeah. because uh, you're not being, you're not man enough to have that, open conversation mm -hmm. with your woman but what's your thoughts about uh, the the being able to express yourself sexually and uh a lot of women think that's the that's the norm but they're also finding themselves in the, that they're not attracting the good men mm -hmm. um 
And also they're attracting the men who only go with them because of sex. Yeah. And that's yeah. also, that's also that's a true. consequence. That As true. someone sexual, I would like to start. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Start, start. <laughs> so um so for me, I am I am a very I'm a very sexual person. Um I'm still very like um no no shade towards girls who do OnlyFans at all, like get your money, do what you want to do. Uh personally, I don't do that, even though I'm offered that, I don't do that. But if I if I did, let's say I did, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It's I'm very sexual and I'm a plus size model. I do sultry. I'm French. I'm European. So that's that's part of who I am. It's part of my culture. It's part of like what I love and who I am. I don't I mean, as a woman, you attract anything. You attract every man as a woman. You attract every kind of man as a woman because um, that's just what happens. But you set your standard. So for me, as a woman who's sexual, I still attract incredible men. So I hear what you're saying where you're like, okay, like a lot of, like if you're a sleuzy sleuzy and then you're just like getting all these nasty guys, it's because they're accepting that. So if you're, if, if, if you're accepting these men because you're being very sexual and you're accepting that, you're being sexual because you're filling a void. You're taking that person in because you're filling a void. You're being sexual for attention. You're not being sexual because you enjoy it. You're not exuding that, you know what I mean? So it's very, it's very different. When you accept a Susie man, th that's your choice. For me, I'm very, I'm very sexual, but I don't, I don't settle for less <laughs> at all. Yeah. And the men that I'm with are strong men, and they know that, and they know how. If I wanted, I'm gonna, I, please try to fucking tell me what to wear. That's of not course. gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. a man I'm with would never say that shit to me. Because they respect me and they know who I am and they know what's going on. And if there was ever to be a problem, I'm completely open to talking about that because I respect that person and because I care about that person, yeah. whether we're in love or whether we're in a, um, a sexual friendship. Yeah. So I think it just has to do with, but like as far as, um, oh, women are like, um, are only attracting certain men. I disagree with that. They're accepting certain men because we attract every kind of man, but it's depending on what you accept. Like for me, um, everyone I fuck around with got a Wikipedia page, okay? And um, they are established and amazing and shout out to them. And I'm established and amazing. And so, you know what I mean? Like, but I don't accept oh. no stupid motherfuckers that are just whatever. So <laughs> I think it just comes down to having your standard, whether you're sexual or you're not sexual. Yeah. You are like, I'm a sexual, strong, independent woman, yeah. and I only accept strong, independent men that are not afraid of me, that are not, um, that are, that just have no problem with what I do. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I, that's fine. Um, my <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> my, my, my question I want to ask you, Chantel. Yeah. Um, and this is just being genuine. Yeah. Um, do you, do you want to get married? One day, one day I could. Right. If I find the person, yeah, okay. then yeah. Um, and of course, you you uh, you want monogamous relationship. Um, I'm I'm not sure if I could do polyamory. It's not like closed. I mean, out. What, what do you prefer? Um, well, if if I want, whenever I want <laughs> to start to like actually date someone, um, I I'm not sure because I I am happily single, and if the person that I'm with, if they, if I really love them and they want to be in like open relationship or maybe some sort of polyamory, <laughs> then I could maybe be open to it um, because I love that person. But personally, I I don't know if I could share. I mean, so if, let's if, say monogamy. If you had two men, uh -huh. everything was equal, but one wants to have sex with other women and be open, uh -huh. and one just wants to commit to you for the rest of your life. Which one do you prefer? Mm. Um, mm. I don't, it, it would honestly just, it would honestly just depend on where I am with that person. Yeah. Um, because I could happily be with just one person, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I, temptation is real. And I feel like once that happens, it should be something talked about. And if it's like, hey, like for some reason I love you, but I'm getting that wandering eye, then it's like, okay, cool. Let's fuck a bitch then. You know what I mean? Like, but let's, <laughs> but let's, let's do it together. You know what I mean? But like, let's yeah, talk no, about it. Say. Let's do it together. And then that's it. And, and oh, yeah, yeah, so. I, I mean, I do want, yeah. I mean, I do understand there are men like that, but I'm saying there are good men. Right? Yeah. And the, and, but the good men that feel like that, that have temptation and talk about it are also good men.
Mm-hmm. It's it's the bad men to me are the ones that do it and do, do not, not say, say anything. anything. Yeah, right. No, yeah. No, I get it. Take I get it to it. the grave. Yeah. yeah. And that's mm-hmm. not okay. No, so, okay. So, I mean, um, if you had to lean, I mean, well, I mean, have you ever been in a polyamorous relationship that worked out? Uh, no, I haven't. I've only been in a monogamous relationship, and I loved okay. it. I was in love and everything, and uh, but like it. Okay, so your yeah. history is monogamy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so you. So and you I would, to... I would, if I'm getting married, it's monogamous. Okay, so monogamous. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so you... I would say monogamous. Okay, but so... like maybe, maybe we'll go have some fun sometimes. No, you can't do that. You well, yeah, together. Fun. No, no, no. That that's not. But that's not polyamorous. That's still being monogamous. But we're having. To me, I'm monogamous. But if we're having fun together with with someone. And then it's like, all right, cool. We had fun. Bye. You know what I mean? Like, it's oh. just still us, you know? It's still just us. Yeah, it's not, it's not an open relationship where she can come back. It's just, we're just having fun. Like what I talked about. You know what I mean? Threesome. Like, yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's a threesome you're to have fun. together, yeah. but it's like, yeah. mm-hmm. but everybody's different. Well, for me, for me, yeah. just the, the definition of monogamy. Is okay, so just, yeah, for, for, you for ever just that person. Like anybody anybody yeah. you add on, that would be an open relationship. Okay, so, okay, so if we're, if we're just saying, like, I have to be with one person forever, I, I could do that. Okay. Do I, that. I could do that because if I'm getting married to one person, yeah. I, love everything about you and you satisfy every part of it. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I'm devoted to that. You know what I mean? Okay. Like even though I'm a strong alpha ass female, I'm still devoted to you because I love the shit out of you. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. And also do you believe in um do you be, do you believe in loyalty? Yes. Okay. Yes. One million percent. Okay. Yeah. And, and There's it, no really if the loyalty's gone, there ain't shit here. Okay, We're not okay. even so um so when you marry monogamous loyalty, you don't believe in cheating on your partner. Right? No. Okay. In any sense. Okay. No. Okay. So if you had to pick a man, you, you want to get married, monogamous relationship, loyalty is a big value uh, of yours. Uh, you don't believe in cheating, and you're, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you expected the man to have the same values, right? One hundred percent. Okay. So I I do understand that all women, including these beautiful ladies, you all always attract all men, mm-hmm. all right? Especially the more attractive you guys are, right? There's always gonna a weirdo out, weirdo out there's gonna shoot a shot at you guys so oh, the thing is for me is you're always going to attract men but the most important thing is you're attracting the men that you want to go into a marriage <laughs> long-term relationship uh, no <laughs> i just can't I need so, to stop so my so my so my my question to you Yo, Chantal, and it's coming from a deep place comments, it's coming from a genuine place mm-hmm. do you often attract men who want to marry you who want to be loyal to you and who don't know and are not cheaters do you often attract men who have those qualities no, I so actually so with being sexual, you would think that that you that you may only attract sleazy people, but no, you have so many people that want that just want you. They're just like, I'll do anything just to have you. Like they just idolize, you know what I mean? And um there, there's a lot of them like that. And I, I think for me, just yeah, just a, a pushback. And I've I've told this to a lot of women, just because a man gives you attention, mm-hmm. just because a man wants to have sex with you does not mean he wants to marry and come uh, right. Oh, no, that's 100%. right. A hundred percent. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. 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 That's very true. There's a couple girls in here to hear that one. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, but that's so, <laughs> and, I, and I think for me, I understand like we live in a different time. You can dress however you want to dress. You can go in any sexual industry, however you want to, you want to go is, but the thing is those industries, tend to attract men who just want to use it for sex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The men who want families, yeah. men who want long-term lo- loyalty, commitment, mm-hmm. they don't they don't go for those places to find those types of women they're looking for, especially their But those their women wife. aren't necessarily looking for men that they're finding through that. So you can still be sexual and, and enjoy like whatever you want to do, photo shoots or do whatever you yeah. want, or the girls that do only fans, whatever. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that they're the men that they're looking for are the people they attract specifically from that whenever you're doing that. And you can still go somewhere else and then like have a great meeting somewhere and then or or if you're do, as a businesswoman, you meet someone while you're doing business and then have a great time doing that. Yeah. And if that if that person meets your standard and then they can understand, okay, you know, I respect you and I like who you are this and you want to do that, you do that, yeah. okay, cool. But you can, I don't think that it's it's only a... Um, well, well my, my response to that is, because I've heard women say, I'm not looking for that type of man. But that's why I ask you, what are the qualities of the man you're looking for? Mm-hmm. And you just mentioned the very qualities of the, of the family type, mm-hmm. family type men, marriage, commitment, loyal. Usually those types of guys are not really looking for women who are very over-sexualized in themselves um, of the way they dress. So that's what that's the that's the thing for me. It, it depends on what you want. So I know you're very attractive. I know there's um, thousands of guys who would want to be with you, but if you want a guy that's uh, he wants to commit to you, wants to make you uh, his wife, he's gonna be loyal to you, 
and he's going to be that type of man that you find attractive. Usually those guys are very conservative conservative on the way of their, their wife represents them. That's what I'm saying. And I don't want someone conservative, but I want someone just as powerful as me that can understand me and my power and who yeah. I am and them and their power and who they are. Yeah. So for the, the person I would attract isn't necessarily isn't going to be conservative at all because I'm not conservative. It wouldn't work. And I don't want someone like okay. that. Okay. And I the, the people that I am involved with, if I want to be with one person, I easily could do that and find someone incredible that would accept me 100 percent for who okay. I am because. Because I wouldn't settle for someone who doesn't see me like that. No, I understand. Yeah. And um, and then about one more thing, I'll pass it back to you. And I'll pass it back. I would, I would love to hear your response between our conversation. Um, do you often find, like I said, uh, the qualities that you mentioned, loyalty, monogamous, committed, uh, good man. Do you, uh, do you often find men uh, that are approaching you or trying to talk to you, do you often find men that want to marry you? They want to, like, they'll sit down with you, hey, Chantel, and be very direct, hey, Chantel. I want to marry you. I, I want I see you long term. This is our plan for my family. This is my goals for my family. Because men who are very family oriented, very masculine, very confident, they're, they will express, they'll be very clear of their direction of where they're trying to go. And they try mm -hmm. to find a woman that aligns with them that's willing to go in the same direction. You talk about vision, right? Masculine men who, who, are, who are good leaders, they paint that vision for you. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is I, when I talk to a lot of girls, is how, how many times has a man sat you down, uh, Chantel? I want to be a committed relationship with you. I'm not fucking around. I'm looking for monogamy. I'm looking for a wife. I'm looking for, uh, this is my vision. I'm trying to be successful. I want to reach the highest level I can to be successful. I'm looking for a wife that can go around this ride. How many men have you ever uh, come across that sat you down and painted that vision for you? So not, not, not the marriage because I'm not like interested in that, but I have had the conversation where we will be, you know, involved for many years together. And then it starts to take a turn like, Hey, you know, I, I kind of just want to be, monogamous and just be together. And then I'm the one who shuts it down because out of respect, I'm not looking for that right now. But does it happen? Yes, it does. Because sometimes, you know, even though I say from the get go, hey, like, um, like the people that the people that I'm involved with, I've had them for many years. And yeah. it's a it's a beautiful, um, a, a beautiful respect of what we have. But but it does sometimes where feelings will get caught into a certain thing. And for me personally, no matter how much I'm like, ah oh, man, like, but I really enjoy you. I'm not going to lead that on further. Like if you want to be together like that, I'm not looking for that, but is it offered? It is offered. And it is. So it's not just, um, no, so, when you, so when you said that guy that offered it, he said, uh, I want to date you for multiple years. I, no, no, no. We're already like, I've known them for many years and I've been involved with them for many years sexually. And oh. take, and then and but also like sexually it's not just like uh, like bang bang go it's yeah, yeah. like we'll hang out for a whole day or like you know what I mean like yeah. it's very romantic it's beautiful mm -hmm. and it's a it's a kind of it's a sort of not relation it, it's is it is it is it, is it are you guys just friends or you're 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 his official uh, girlfriend no not official I don't want no 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 it's but it's it's we just um we we meet together to hang out it's like it's like a like a sex friend basically yeah. but it's it's deep because it's for many years and it's for a long time so like if it, it do you, do you, that person needs help. I'm going to yeah. help. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's still like an involvement, okay. but, but um, not, not, not a relationship type of thing. But so when they start to catch more feelings and then want it to be, that's where I'm like, I'm not, I, that's not what I'm looking for. That's never what this was about. And then out of respect, then you have to stop. I just have to stop seeing them just because even though if I really enjoy them, like now it's the point where now I'm leading you on where you think we will be monogamous, but I'm not looking for that. Okay. Make sense? Okay. Yeah. So you, so you with the guy, you guys are having, uh, you're spending a lot of time. You guys have sexual relations. You yes. Know, here and then. But then how many years down the line before he, he's like, uh, I have feelings for you? It depends. It sometimes it happens quick. And then sometimes, sometimes it can happen just like out of nowhere. Three years. Or I had one that we were seven years. And I'm yeah. like, I'm not, I'm still not, that's okay. not what, not what it was. But if it suddenly is someone that changes that then yeah then i'm going to be like okay okay this might That's let's fine. try it we, and just one 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 last thing before i pass it to you ladies i know a lot of the, so most of the guys that you that you have you have friends with and you and you're having sex with it's more uh you guys spend time with, with each other you guys have fun with each other and then eventually down the line he'll communicate with you if he catches feelings right if yeah okay yeah what would you prefer a man sitting you down, sitting you down very early before you guys have had before you've had sex? Do you prefer a man be up front in the very beginning? Say you go on the first day, you guys get to know each other, 
second date, third date, and maybe the third day he sits you down, Chantel. We have three dates. I definitely, I think we have some compatibility here. I think we could. I see something uh, long term for this. I'm not trying to waste my time. I see. I'm trying to get married. So I let want, me cut I you off. I, I hear what you're saying, yeah, yeah. but I'm I, before we even do anything. I'm the one that's like, listen, it ain't going. It ain't going to be. I'm not going to be yours. I won't be yours. Okay. This is not what this is. Like, like it's just you know what I mean. We can we can kick it. We can hang out. We can be amazing friends. And then we also just have fuck like animals. And then, okay. but also like, <laughs> but then also I trust okay. you sexually, as in like we show each other papers all the time. Like it's all safe. You know what I mean. Okay. And that's what I look for too. But it's just like a, a very open, beautiful sexual friendship. But well, so so right so right because I know you said in the beginning that you want marriage, right? You want eventually, love, if, eventually, yeah. If eventually. I meet someone and I'm just like, you know what? Okay, we'll try it. And if I'm at that point in my life where I'm like, okay, okay, or if you know the right person is like, okay, they just somehow, if it just happens, it'll happen. So, so you're open. So you're okay. So you open to marriage if you meet the right man, right? Yeah. If if somehow, yeah. If somehow that that'll happen, where I'm like, okay, suddenly. A switch will flip, and I'm like, I, I, I yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think I love you, man. Okay. <laughs> then, of course, yeah. So, have you ever thought about okay? Because I've, I've heard that argument from both men and women. You know, mm -hmm. if I meet the right person, then I'll get married. I'll get married, right? And I agree. But the thing is, for me, is if you if you're not attracting that right person that that, that you're looking for, mm -hmm. have you ever thought about maybe you're not exhibiting the things that that right person is looking for? Mm. Have, you, have, you, have you ever thought about that perspective? Well, but see, even even if I did, so if the people that I attract that I'm that I enjoy are like, if I'm like, could I could I in a sense like be with them? Yes, I could because yeah. that's what that they fit my standard. Um, but I'm just I I don't look for that at all. That's not what I want. Whatever I want it that part of that person is going to have to fucking fight for it. <laughs> the way that they fight for it is that's is the way that I accept it. That's how I will know. Mm. Because if I'm going to suddenly accept you wanting to be just with me, if I suddenly want to accept that from someone, yeah, we have something that for some reason I'm – I'm listening. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's not that I'm not right now at the point in my life. Maybe someone I already know could be the person that I would marry because okay. they all, they fit my standard, but okay. I just, I'm just not open to that. But because, I, yeah. And I'm also not, I don't just want to be with one person right now. Okay, I don't okay, want to check okay. in with someone if I'm, I'm very business orientated. Mm -hmm. So right now, because I'm focusing on my business, on my brand, on myself, yeah. then if I can't devote my whole self to you, I'm not ready for a relationship. Yeah. Okay, no, no, that's fine. I think no, no. For me, I'm just trying to understand it because you want a look down the line, long term, right? Eventually, you want to get married. You want to have a, a monogamous, monogamous relationship. You want to someday, be with, someday, right? Someday, someday, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It, it maybe because I don't, I don't. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But, but probably. Oh, okay. Then that, well, okay. I just, I just wanted to understand you. So if, I, if I'm with the right, really, if I'm really with know. the right person, if it, I'm with the right person, I could be with one person forever. Yes. Okay. Yes. But then if, if if you happen to meet that person tomorrow, you're not ready yet. Um, I'm not ready yet, but if they if they're the if they're the right one, then they're gonna figure it out. They're gonna figure me out. They're gonna figure me out and yeah. they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get through all the walls I have up yeah. and it's gonna work. And then because they, they fit my standard yeah. and they can figure me out, then no, okay. Well, no, well, then that's and that's how love begins. And, and no, I uh, I understand where you're coming from for for my perspective is Usually the, the 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 right person that you guys all you know everybody has a different definition of the right person right but they tend to be the most good and most attractive people in the dating market so those good those people who are considered the right person for you if you make it hard for them to get a relationship with you mm -hmm. there are other women out there that's willing to make it easier for them mm -hmm. to be in a relationship mm -hmm. for them you know because if you know your worth i'm not going to fight for you to force you to be with me yeah right so yeah so it's either yeah. you it's either you're going like, to agree with are we are we going to do this or not and if you, if you make it hard and it goes both for men and women mm -hmm. yeah right mm -hmm. They're, they're just gonna go find the next person that's willing to that's willing to make it easier for them. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not I'm not gonna 
And I completely I agree. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they should deserve that. Yeah, and yeah. they should deserve that because if that's what they're looking for, yeah. they need they deserve to have that. No. Okay. But if if that's, that's not that's not with me, that. and I'm telling you that's not with me, yeah. And then then do that. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. I'm just offering this because I generally, you know, we're having a general conversation. I think sometimes that mentality can want to be the things that that repels the very good man to be good for you. It could, yeah, I mean, yeah. not, not necessarily repel because I'm not looking for that. So yeah. I'm not, I, I'm not looking to, to take anything in. Okay. I'm the one who puts it up and says right up front, I'm not looking, I'm not looking for anything else right now. And it's not going to be that. She's saying if there it we go. comes to her, it comes to her. And, it, and, and if it's it right is. and you'll feel it. Yeah. Love is yeah, a yeah. feeling. She's Love not, is a yeah, feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Not there. And right now yet. I just, I just, and also I'm not looking for it. I'm All not right. looking for it right now. Fair enough. Respectful. Yeah. Love respectful. All right. So, <laughs> all right. I appreciate it. Uh, the conversation, Chantal, but I'm going to pass it to you guys. What do you guys think? You want to add on to the conversation? We're having? What was your original question? Yeah, had a question yeah. I forgot like, about originally, that. <laughs> you had asked no, something about clothing. No, yeah. yeah. So, about the way you yeah, dress. Yeah, about so, dressing. So, and, we were, so we were talking about uh, today in modern society, it's normal for women to sexually express themselves mm -hmm. freely. Yes. Right? Yeah. However they want to, mm -hmm. however they see fit. Um, what, what I was trying to say is, the, the men that you, uh, when you ask most women what type of men they want, you know, family-oriented men, men with good values, mm -hmm. morals, uh, they're very ambitious. They mm -hmm. want to strive to be financially successful, to take care of their family. You want mask, you want a man's man. You want a masculine man, mm -hmm. a man that can lead. You want a leader. Mm -hmm. So those qualities of men, one of the things as men, one of the, our needs and one of the things we look for to be feel respected from a woman is that we're looking for women that reserve that sexuality for our relationship. Mm -hmm. Most masculine men tend to not want to share it for the whole world. Yeah. And the thing is for me is if you choose to sexualize or be ex sexually expressive to the way we see a lot of girls do today, oftentimes you're not going, to, you're going to repel those very men mm -hmm. and you're going to find men who are going to go for you more for your sexuality and they lack all those qualities I, I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And Short term, it'd be great when you guys are having fun in the honeymoon phase, but long term, especially right. when you're building a family, mm -hmm. they don't have those strong qualities yeah. that you need for the long term relationship. And that's mm -hmm. why it tends to fail. So if you're looking for a long term family, you need strong, competent, masculine leadership. That's those mm -hmm. are the qualities that last long term uh, in a relationship. But if you're looking for guys that just gonna be with you because of uh, your sexuality, they tend to not have those qualities because men are gonna, real men are gonna stand by their values and by their standards. Agreed. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So that's my, so what, that's, that's, the, that's the conversation we're having is, we live in a world today, women can dress how you wanna dress, that's fine. I don't have a problem with women dressing how we wanna dress. Mm -hmm. I just want to let them know is, if you dress this way, just understand that you're gonna eliminate a lot of the good men out there. And you can, it's gonna make it harder for yourself. And I think sometimes women in their younger stages, they'll learn later on in life. Yeah. Right, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. absolutely. But it also makes it harder as you get older, so why not take advantage? And when you do have the opportunity, when men are approaching you right mm -hmm. now, what do you guys think about that? So is it the dressing specifically? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I think that as, you know, as a multifaceted woman, I have different creative aspects. And so part of the thing that I have, that I like to do is I'm a body paint model as well yeah, yeah. too, right? So if you go to my Instagram, La Meta Meta XOXO, you can, hey. see, uh, <laughs> you can see some of, you know, I'm a model as well too. I feel like as a woman over 40 who's had C-sections and two children hmm. and daughters, I want to make sure that my daughters are seeing a strong image of a woman yeah. Um, you know, an African-American, black, Latina, That's beautiful right. woman, yeah, yeah. you know, yes, yes, yes. Um, who is embracing her body. Um, and I don't do that as a sexuality, but more as uh, here I am. I have stretch marks. Yeah. I have C-section scars. I had cancer. I'm a cancer survivor. Yes. So I'm doing wow. this as I'm embracing my body here in my 40s and and as, as a way of rejuvenation. So not anything that's like a sexuality, yeah. but I need that my my partner, the person that I'm dating to understand that this yeah. is, a, is a part of me of myself, you know, how I represent myself. And it's not for, the, you know, I don't have only fans. I don't get the likes. I don't get the clips. My, my page is on private, yeah. but this is for me. So mm -hmm. if you want to be secure in dating me, then be secure in, in, in this other aspect. Yeah. Yes. I also dance in Carnival in San Francisco, you know, in, in May. Come check me out. I'm dancing Yay. with Flavas of, of the Yay. Caribbean this year. Yay. So shout out to Flavas. <laughs> and again, it's a way that I'm expressing myself
herself as a woman in her 40s with other women as a way to be free, as a way to embrace my ancestral heritage and dancing as well, too. So these are things that, that I am doing now post-divorce, right, yeah. to yes. represent me and to, be, like I said, to be full, whole, and complete yeah. in myself. Yeah. And I have had men that I've dated who have seen my Instagram and like, oh, my God, this is great, and be the dream girl and then get to start to dating me mm -hmm. and then realize, oh, she's even more than what she, you know, more than who I thought she was. Yes. And that's okay <laughs> too, you know, and I'm okay with that also. But I guess I'm saying this to say that, that there is a way to carry yourself in these certain situations as well too. You know, as I said, I, I have daughters, so I'm not trying to be a thirst trap on Instagram or anything like that. But I do want them to see that it, it doesn't matter what age you are, as if, if you're representing yourself in the right way, yeah. right? That there's a way mm -hmm. to market yourself and, and, and not sleaze yourself out. Mm -hmm. um, there's a way to carry yourself in the yes. boardroom, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And in the club, That's right? Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. to, 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 to not always attract that attention. That's right. And when you're a woman who just shines like these women on the panel that you have and, and the former women that you've had on your panel, you just shine from something in, intrinsically, right? Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's our God-given mm -hmm. divinity That's, right. That's divinity attracting people. Yeah. So you have to have the discernment to know who's sliding in my DMs for the hookup uh -huh. and who's sliding in my DMs because they actually want to get to know that's who right. I am as a person, as a woman, mm -hmm. and as a human being. So yeah. I think that the, the sermon is also important. I just, I just want to say one thing before I pass it to you, because um, I've seen your Instagram, right? I don't consider it, uh, the pictures I see with you um, sexualization because it's cultural. Thank you. Right, because you come from that, uh, from the lot of, what's the perfect word? Latino? Yeah, Afro Latina. <laughs> yeah. 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 So for me, yeah. for me, for me, uh, there are cultural traditions. I think Western society tends to sexualize it. Mm -hmm. I don't see a sexualization. I'm Polynesian. A lot of our girls that do the hula mm -hmm. dances, mm -hmm. yeah. they, show their, they wear mm -hmm. coconut mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know Western society will sexualize it. I don't see it as sexualization because I, I know that's part of my culture and heritage. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I mean, I don't have a, yeah, you. You, you, I don't have a problem with that. But I think sometimes, I do see a lot of guys who tend to, oh, that's all sexualization. No, no, you don't understand it. That you don't understand the culture. Like you're yeah, lying. exactly. You know? yeah. But I know modern Western society will sexualize anything. Anything, mm -hmm. yes. yeah. But so there's a there's a different level mm -hmm. when it comes to cult like cultures have different customs, different dances for the women. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, for the men who know the culture, like I don't when I see a, a beautiful Polynesian girl hula dancing, I, it's I don't look at it as oh that's a sexualization. Mm -hmm. I just I just appreciate. The art, uh, the yeah. art right, <laughs> right. But there are, but I do, I do understand a lot of guys who don't understand the culture. Mm -hmm. They will tend to sexualize it. They will tend to say, "Oh, you're just a woman that's uh, who lacks sexual discipline." But I disagree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think because, those guys are projecting. Sorry yeah. to interrupt you. Yeah, but like yeah. those yeah. men that like believe go like go hard in the whole. What does she bring to the table? And the she just like this and that. Like yeah. it's just a lot of like odd projection. I feel yeah, because yeah. sorry. I guess I'll that's get good. into my answer for the question. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that the way that a woman dresses um, should affect her relationship or even how her man feels about her. Um, but of course, there's boundaries, there's lines, and it is up to the couple to discuss how far right. to go with that. That's right. <laughs> but That's on another right. note, if you happen to have met your, you know, since we're on the topic of marriage, like right, your, your fiance or wife in a club atmosphere, at a party or a gathering or anything like that, and she's dressed a certain way, you know, short skirt or short dress, whatever. And then you somehow expect her to just never look like that with or without you and her presence mm -hmm. again is mm -hmm. like, you're out to lunch, as my husband would say, like you're out right. to lunch. Right. Like, <laughs> like, visual creatures, right? So it's mm -hmm. like you most likely were attracted to this woman wherever you saw her at, even exactly. not a church, right? Mm -hmm. She could be in a modest dress. And if her body is bodying, you're going <laughs> to see it, right? Like even no matter what she's wearing. And That's so... Right. <laughs> A relationship is not defined off of what a woman is wearing. Yep. If a man is secure mm -hmm. enough, it shouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. But because of modern times and social media and OnlyFans and all this crazy <laughs> <I know. laughs> shit that women have now, you know, put themselves in for jobs, that's just how men are seeing it now. Yeah. You know, and like it's it's, it's a little sad because like, you know, some of those women, it is it's a way of life. It's work. Mm -hmm. It's sex work or how we want to classify it. Mm -hmm. um, but doesn't mean doesn't mean that they're any less better than the woman who's doing a nine to five in an office. You know, mm -hmm. some people, it's just different circumstances. And so in my opinion, if a man is secure within himself, even if you're conservative, because my man is conservative or 
pretty religious. We go to church almost every other Sunday, Melkite. Yes. Um, yes. And, yes. you know, we met in a club like environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I go out to clubs with or without him, most times with him, because I'd rather be with my man. Mm -hmm. But he never will, he might make a comment like, oh, he looked really good, you know? And it's like, <laughs> I know he's like, oh, you know, like, dang. But at the same time, it's like, he also knows that I'm not the kind of woman who's going to go in and entertain every freaking Tom, Dick, and Harry right. that comes yeah. in my face. That part. Yeah. 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 So it is about <laughs> a, a sense of like his self worth. How does he feel yeah. about himself? Yeah. Like, right? Does does he feel like he's in shape? Does he dress nice? Does he care about his appearance? Because most times those men who don't are the ones that have like the craziest problems. And they will get with that really pretty girl who's shining a lot yeah. and merry hair. And, and then all of a sudden taller. it's, you're not conservative enough. And you yeah. see that mm -hmm. sometimes. The like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not yeah. okay. Like if you, and it's not saying you got to accept her, but like if you saw her just a certain way, like you cannot just be like, oh, make a 180. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me just read some super chats uh, real quick. All right, uh, <laughs> Milagros with the super chat. Um, mute the cows, Mike. All right. Thank you so much. Y'all uh, so rude. Hey, Y'all yeah. so rude. Thank you so much, uh, Milagros. You probably a cow, sorry. Kind All right. Uh, All right. Just saying. Uh, uh, shout that's out to you. It's also very attractive. So, like, <laughs> so exactly. yeah. All right. So shout out to you, uh, sophisticated jerk. Oh, get the big fifty dollars super chat showing support. Hey, thank you so much. Man. Yes, I, I seen uh, that. I was like, ooh. All right, uh, the up? real podcast ten dollars super chat. Manic genius was right. Checkmate. Okay, and then the manic genius uh, nineteen dollars super chat. Manic in the motherfucking chat. Hey. Excellent panel. <laughs> Just one comment. Sometimes women know all they can get from the man they want is sex, so they set the that, so they set that relationship dynamic to feel a false sense of control, the fallacy versus reality. Ooh. All right. Mm. Can we talk about that actually? Yeah, we can respond to that real, that real quick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your What's your comment in response to that? So, so my response to that is yes. Sometimes I am looking for a touch partner, and that is someone who is going to be in my life for that reason. Um, and but that is also someone who's been vetted, and that's vet vetted by myself, you yeah. know. Um, and I'm very honest with that. In fact, I had a a younger uh, dalliance. I'll, I'll use my SAT <laughs> words there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, I I, I, th I think. She is. Thank I love you. it. I think that if you're honest about what you're looking for as you're going into to that um, relationship, um, I think having a you know for me a touch partner was very important because that was that person's role in my life. That was the person I was sexually uh, and you know uh, attracted to, yeah. active with, and this this was a two year dalliance, um, and it was wonderful because we were able to learn and grow from one another. And it wasn't anything like I wasn't looking for a husband, even though they were a great father. I wasn't looking for a provider, even though they had an excellent career. I wasn't looking for you know a long long-term companion, even though it turned out to be a two-year thing during the pandemic. So all of those things. Not the pandemic. Right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so again, it's during a time, you know, they're like, separate, separate, separate. And we're like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, like, let's start touching. Mm -hmm. No, you no. Know? <laughs> But again, it's it, but it was very honest about what it was and and the time frame that it was and what we were what our intentions were with each other. I think it's very uh, important to be intentional with your words and your physical activities with people. Um, that 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 could be a whole other podcast that we yeah. have. <laughs> it's just about you know uh, being together sexually with somebody and what that means, right? In terms of that energy exchange. And so as you're exchanging energies with someone, I think it is important. So manic, I just want to say yes, it is important for women to know if that's all they want in that relationship, but it can still be dynamic and beautiful and you can still have a conscious connection with someone yeah. and learn, you know, from them learn as well something. too, yeah. um, I, in that experience. I, I think what Manic is trying to, uh, I think what he's trying to say is, I think oftentimes there's a lot of women based on how they move mm -hmm. and, and their behaviors of the way they present themselves uh, in, in real life. Oftentimes they struggle to attract men who want marriage and to commit to them, right? Because mm -hmm. they understand that it's hard for them to get those types of men, then they'll tell the world, but you know what? I don't need marriage. I just want guys to have sex with. Mm -hmm. But deep down, uh, okay. they do want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like yeah, yeah. Th that, that's something that we're telling ourselves. I, I think for me, I was like, no, I just want a touch partner. You yeah. know, like, like again, that this person on paper had all of the qualities and all of the things yeah. that Ooh, I, I did want that in too. a long-term relationship, <laughs> yeah. but that wasn't what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just. 
looking. It's like the the women I see online. I don't need a man. That's the the very woman that want the men. Yeah, want. no, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. That's facts. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, I don't even like roses, and it's like, but you want it. But you want it. Yeah. 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 No. Like, no. no. Like, oh, we see, we can read between the lines. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. You know? Women who say they don't want the men, the one who crave them the most. It's like you, yeah. But they. They, but they understand that they, it's hard for them to attract the ones that they really, really want. Mm -hmm. But that comes to them to start reflecting and improve to make the mm -hmm. change they need to get the man that they want. If, yeah. Well, they need rejection. to. They, I think they, I mean, the, the, real they need to love themselves. You need to yeah. love yourself, or else you will not attract what what you need. Because you're you're yeah. these these girls. A lot of a lot of women that either um, that are put into like over sexualized <laughs> categories <bit>. right. um, <laughs> that are like searching for things or projecting wrong and getting all these bad people and then complain if you if if you're not satisfied with yourself and you really don't like truly love yourself and you're not proud of who you are you are a lot of these girls will fill voids with men and mm -hmm. fill voids with like um like i just i like i don't feel empowered with myself so i need someone to i need this man to like tell me what to do to feel this way to do this to do that but it's not if you feel <laughs> they get molded yeah yeah and if you, older men say feeling, older, older yeah and it's, i don't think it's good to go into a relationship where you're trying to fill a void if you're not mm -hmm. okay good with yourself you know i just want to expand on that that, that self-love that love like because yes I that's yeah a term I, it sounds yes. so cliche yeah, it's a, right? it's a term oh, like, yourself, self but it's love. so true it's yeah. a, it's yeah. a, it's a buzzword i hear a lot and because we're talking about we're talking about relationships i think i, I just want to be very genuine for the women who are listening to this right now it really really depends i do understand the self-love concept right you, you have to be able to love yourself right but mm -hmm. the thing for me is uh, loving yourself also is to accept yourself but also, you're willing to do the, the to, to do the things that's within your best interest. Yes, yes. Even the things that's hard and difficult. Yes. And a lot of times, people who are unwilling to change and unwilling to make uh, improvements, they use the self love as a justification mm -hmm. that they don't want to change. That's right. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that's not. That's it's not. It's the other way around, though, because you can see right through that, right? Yeah. Like, oh, I love myself, but are you elevating yourself? Exactly. Like, yeah. Actually, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 so then are you complacent you are. where you are, yeah. then? Because a lot you can of people love yourself are. on the couch for for exactly. twenty years, mm -hmm. right? you know, and and not be in in a more elevated space than you yeah. were, and that's fine too, because you're going to attract those people at that level. Yes. But don't be loving yourself on the couch and then. And then come try to love on me yeah. when I'm up here, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. and then be mad because I say that my self love and my boundaries are keeping me from being with you because yeah. you're on the couch. But then the, mm -hmm. yeah. you want Michelin star, and he's talking about McDonald's, exactly. girl. <laughs> exactly. And I'll take you the to standard. one. I'll take you to one meal, but because <laughs> <laughs> I'll elevate you. I'll take you to that Michelin yeah, star. I'm a little bit of age, but I'm not yes. going to continue to be your benefactor. I mean, for me, if you, if you truly love yourself, you're gonna. Do the things that's within your best interest, even if it's difficult. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Especially, yeah. Especially, yeah. especially if it's difficult. Yeah. Or when someone yeah. else tells you, especially I feel if like it's difficult. It's constructive criticism. You have to. Yeah. yeah you still. You still grow. I also, like, exactly. I also I, think to 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 Manic's point, right? He's saying that like there's some there there's women that will get with a man knowing that all he wants from her is sex, but then he she'll continue to give that to him, thinking yeah. that's gonna turn into something mm -hmm. else. He's he's gonna yeah. Turn into something. yeah. Yeah. But he's not. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. she settles. She settles for that. But I think that's a part of it. Not loving yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't love yourself enough. You're gonna settle for something that you really don't want. And yep. Yeah. Eventually, you start to have that conversation with him, mm -hmm. and he's not. He don't want to have that conversation because he's already shown you what he wants. Mm -hmm. And then you, you, you gave him more. It's a reality. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. reality. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, I think one of the, uh, the the biggest issues I see uh, in modern society, especially when it comes to dating. People are no longer to work with their relationship. Mm -hmm. The thing is, yeah. if like if you're always attracting men who just want to use it for sex, you have to understand that number one, that's not the men that you want. But if you want a different type of man, understand mm -hmm. you have to work for that. You have to be a different right. type of woman. Yeah, that's that's right. right. Different type yeah. of woman. Right. Yeah. Right. You, you can't do. be that same woman attracting men who want sex and attract the man that's looking for a mm -hmm. family, looking for marriage, right? Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of times. Uh, both men and women they're not we live in a time where people are not willing to work yeah, yeah. you, you really have to be that person that you are seeking mm -hmm. so write down okay what it, what are those qualities what are those values that you want from that man now are you that exactly. person yeah exactly. if you're not that yeah. person then baby you got some work to do you got some work to do yeah but, so yeah Mm -hmm. It's also that low hanging fruit kind of mentality too, though. I think that you can be a, a, a high value fruit, right? 
But if they got the low hanging fruit, you know, people are like, well, this is cool. This is, yeah, mm -hmm. this is closer, mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. easier. So, yeah. so, so to go back to what you were saying, well, it, it is about doing the work, right? Yeah. You're right. Because, you know, I mean, the whole topic is about elevation, elevation right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then what are we doing for ourselves to give ourselves those own ladders to elevate ourselves, to find people that are at that level, yeah. you know, because we're talking a lot about dating, maybe men or women that might be at different levels than us, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then how are we mm -hmm. like building these ladders to scaff scaffold for ourselves to climb up and down these ladders? Mm -hmm. And if we're climbing down the ladder, then we're saying, okay, you know what? We already know that you may not have all the qualities that we are looking for, but it's okay because you're you're a tasty fruit. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. you're a tasty yeah. fruit. Smart goals, you gotta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. right. So, yeah. so, so again, so how are we giving ourselves yeah. our own ladders of elevation to find people at those levels that we're looking for, so that we're not looking down someplace. I don't want to say lower because you know, but we're not looking <laughs> at different elevations and wanting someone to to have the ability to build their own ladder to get to where we are okay. mm -hmm. and then let be me, mad that they didn't. Let me just read this uh, super chat by Phil. Shout out to you, Phil. Thank you so much. Five dollars super chat. Uh, ladies, you can express yourself. That is fine. Men, please make sure you allow them to express themselves alone. Please don't waste your prayers. Thank you. Well, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay. All right. Appreciate you, Phil. Oh, Manic just dropped another super chat. Uh, thank you so much, Manic. I wasn't referring to you. You have excellent perspective. You are human and have physical desire. Reference, physical women desire. sleeping around with touch partners. Oh, thanks, Manic. I really appreciate your feedback. And, you know, like I said, it, I think it's all about just having uh, that, that's a knowledge of self, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and who I am and what I'm looking for going into these relationships, having been very, very, like I said, that conscious connection, that Christ connection with myself, um, knowing that I'm a, you know, of divinity. So I'm not going to be out here just throwing away the coochie. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 yeah. that we don't discount that coochie, mm -hmm. putting it on the, on, okay. on the discount no, shelf. No. Okay. <laughs> Snowball, like, we're all flawed, right? And so it's like everybody's got work to do, everybody's got the accountability that needs to happen. And so I think what? for that elevation to even occur, even within oneself, if somebody's telling you, no matter how high value of a person you are or not, that like, hey. I've noticed this in you that mm -hmm. you could possibly change. Have you noticed this pattern in yourself that you could possibly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. switch yeah. up? Yeah. And I think we've all yeah. been yeah. told. Yeah. I've been mm -hmm. told. I've, I've told other people. Yep. And it's fine when you're dishing it out. But when somebody tells you something yep. that you almost probably don't even really believe mm -hmm. or you didn't really even see, it's yeah. hard to take that accountability. Yeah. yeah. To elevate mm -hmm. yourself to do yeah. that work. So, yeah, it kind of goes like hand in hand. Yeah. Self reflection, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. The right. accountability. And if you, if you can take that constructive criticism, mm -hmm. apply it you'll be a better person and then you can right. give more to your partner. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I just want to pass it to uh, Kar Kari. Kari. <laughs> I apologize. Kari. It's okay. <laughs> but, uh, but, I well, yeah. Cardi. I was like, Cardi. Right? Cardi. <laughs> Cardi. <laughs> Cardi. Uh, yeah, but what's your input? I know, I know we got an input from them, um, especially when it comes to the, uh, if, if women are looking for marriage, looking for something, mm -hmm. uh, commitment, long-term, good men, monog men who are loyal, uh, what's your thoughts about uh, women today who uh, will express themselves online based on what I see today. What's your thoughts on that? Oh, goodness. That's heavy. Um, so I know you mentioned earlier about like clothing. For me, I switch it up. So sometimes I could wear something sexy. I could be conservative. I know how to switch it up. Where are we going? Are we going to the club? I'm going to dress different. I'm going to be sexy. Where are we going to church? Okay, I'm conservative. I, I need to meet your mom, your grandparents. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be conservative. So um, I think it's all about um, the woman, how she carries herself, because I carry myself like a lady no matter what I'm wearing. And guys can see that. It's mm -hmm. my vibe. It's my aura. So they know, like, yeah. she's still a high quality woman, even if she's dressed like that. So me and the same woman can walk in the club mm -hmm. with the same dress yep. and she's trashy, but mm -hmm. oh, she's classy yeah, right there. Though. It's yeah. the way yeah. that I carry yeah. myself. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. So. That that's my thoughts. It's how you carry yourself, women. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Men can they still know? 
Yeah. And I attract those high quality men. I do attract the other ones that try, mm-hmm. but uh uh-uh, uh, honey, not over here. Yeah. And they know that they, they move along. Yep. Or they could just stare, stare yeah, at me from afar. Because yeah, they too they yeah. you know, they like I can't approach her. She's she ain't on my, I'm not on her level. So mm-hmm. you know, and it's because men are such visual creatures that they like, are this is even like a topic of discussion. Mm-hmm. It's just like Biological. the women were just like, yeah. What? Like, <laughs> like, I mean, like I am still like mature and so high value, but like for men, they're like, but you dress like a hoe. Like, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I have like this high tech paying job. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there's, there's a whole science behind it. Uh, I'm a psychology like nerd. Psychology. Yeah. Psychology nerd. <laughs> but uh, when men see women um, who are very uh, sexually expressive, it only it, it activates the, the part of our brain which just pursue and have sex. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. When yeah. we see women that we respect, it doesn't activate that part of the brain. Mm-hmm. It activates the part of the brain pursue a relationship mm-hmm. so that's why you got to come correct with that yeah, type yeah, of yeah. woman yeah. So there's, yeah. there's a there's a biological there's a biological mm-hmm. impulse for us to when we see something very attractive mm-hmm. to to look because that's how we procreate right? yeah. 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 But, uh, but if men are looking for relationships they're mm-hmm. looking for something long term mm-hmm. it's not the sexuality that's going to activate the brain it's your the way you carry yourself yes mm-hmm. absolutely absolutely brain, it's impression that's yes that's yeah the, it's the first impression something meaningful and yeah yeah, treat you differently. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 almost like they can envision it differently right yeah. you know so, yeah so sexual brain you're like oh i'm gonna hit this yeah yeah long term <laughs> brain you're like okay this yeah. is about to be my wife exactly. yes yeah. can see yeah. future with her yeah. yes. so they can almost see two, two so different things yeah. as they look mm-hmm. at you right yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay well then a question yeah. for you will yeah. how many women have you dated who've gone from that sexual brain <laughs> to the long-term brain and can that be the same person and can it switch could you yes mean, I, yeah. I want to fuck her but then later on it's like oh my god that, that <laughs> she's my so wife. much more because yeah. i know my husband was like that when he met no. me and it's like when right? I- <laughs> I mean, uh, when I was when I was younger and I was in college, you know, I I wasn't looking for something long term. Mm-hmm. I was just, you know, primal with my instinct. I just saw something pretty. I pursued it. But uh, when I got uh, my late twenties, mm-hmm. that's when I started to realize like I wanted to do something long term and meaningful. So the sexual prodigium and I, I doesn't even phase me anymore. If I see something mm-hmm. pretty, it's like doesn't matter because I'm so, I'm looking for long term. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, but I mean, attraction is still important. Mm-hmm. I want I want somebody to be attractive. But for me, is the way this my the way I see women now is I'm looking for the woman that's going to represent me in the best way, but right. also going to be a great example for my daughter, for my future. Daughter. Right, yeah. right. Oh, yeah. I yes. like, yeah. I know. Yeah. I was like, yeah. 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 so cute. Yeah. Yeah. His daughter instead of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. I mean, all men, all men, really, you know, there's going to be impossible when you see something attractive. I mean, I see pretty girls all the time. Mm-hmm. I look at it, but then uh, it ends there. Oh, that's nice, but. Um, but the my the things I'm looking for long term, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. that she doesn't mm-hmm. fit that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll still look, but mm-hmm. it's not gonna. But I don't. But it's not gonna overcome my my decision making. Right. Yeah. A lot right. of guys yes. are not right. disciplined. So yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They don't have a plan. <laughs> That's true. So when you see something pretty, they just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Right. So they don't have yeah. they don't have a plan. They don't have intention. They don't have mm-hmm. they, never, they don't know what they want. So they they see something pretty. They have to discipline to you know mm-hmm. what that's great and all. But that's not what I'm looking for long term. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna keep it moving. And yeah. Some yeah. girls don't understand that they're the pretty girl. Yeah. yeah. So they're trying to be the wife, yeah, right? Yeah. And they're like, "Oh my gosh, like th- this is the one." And you're like, "No, you're just gonna be the pretty girl in my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna be my wife. Mm-hmm. As pretty as you are, mm-hmm. you know, and as as amazing as you are, you're just not. You're not my long term person. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I brought up in the early in the beginning of the podcast. I asked. I told you guys. And then this is for all the women out there. Just because guys are giving you all the attention, oh. just because guys are saying all the good things mm-hmm. to you, does not necessarily mean he wants to commit to you. That's true. Just That's true. Get, guys will say whatever. I've seen it. something. Oh, what was it on yeah. Instagram? Yeah. That they'll even drop a little money here and there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they like the well, idea of us. He's looking into something, and he's like, "I'm just trying to keep this going for as long as we keep it going." Yeah, mm-hmm. they like the I'm idea of being with out. us, but they don't want to be um, the commitment. Yeah, yeah. they don't want to be I, with us. That's why I told you guys before, and I brought up Chantel. Mm-hmm. Men who know what they want and looking for something long term, they absolutely they give you that clarity. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. straight up. Yeah, yeah. Not, they're very intense. Very intense. Mm-hmm. Very intense. <laughs> <laughs> very intense with the like yeah. you can kind of tell them. I'm think. trying to take you off the market. Yeah, right. yes. I don't want you to be. Yeah, yes. can't talk to nobody. When you choose to say okay, yes, or you say that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're talking about about yeah, modern part. women and then elevation. And I think that as an educator, for me, it's really important to define, right, as we say in a modern woman. So so can I ask a question? Oh, yeah, so, so, my so my definition of yeah, modern Yeah, thank women, you. Right? Yeah. So for me, traditional women was the, the, the way women were uh, back in the day when they dated was traditionally back in the day, women would um, get married. Uh, get married for the purpose of sex and kids, mm -hmm. right? Um, Stability. Yeah, so, you know, if you wanted to have sex back in the day, if you wanted to have children, you get married first, then have sex, mm -hmm. yeah. then have mm -hmm. children, right? Okay. That was mm -hmm. the standard of traditional. Modern Modern. Modern for me is you, you no longer need to get married to have sex and have kids. Okay. That's yeah. The, that's yeah. The, which is the modern way we do things now. People no longer want to have to get, uh, want to get married first. Mm -hmm. You try to have sex, have kids, and then for, figure out the marriage later. Got it. Yeah, so that's that, that's the definition of modern woman. But you guys may have a different definition. But that's the easiest definition yeah. I can have. Mm -hmm. I was know. told you go to you go to college to find a husband, and then that's what I did. So you know, to me, that's that's <laughs> like the the traditional <laughs> woman there. You know, because they're going to be educated and help provide for you. Um, yeah. No, so. I've heard men say that. It's, it's weird. To me. <laughs> I, right? No, more people like they date somebody through their college career, and then they like graduate, and it's like. Eh. Like then they're done. Yeah, yeah. They go to the next person. Exactly. Like, I mean, I met my, my ex husband like when I was eighteen, though, so it was a little different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my goodness, yeah. me it's too. Like the yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so mm -hmm. funny. So, so I would say I was. Ooh, go funny. I am a traditional Got a woman come. in a modern dating world now. Yeah, you yeah. know, um, so. All right, so, man, we're having a great show right now. Shout out to the panel one more time. Hey. 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 <laughs> All right. So let me see. Um, I want. I want to. I want to bring this. Uh, uh, I want to bring up another thing that uh, a lot of men criticize a lot of modern women today. Basically, mm -hmm. they don't represent them and elevate them the right way. So, uh, one of the things that uh, we see online, because we understand that women are very are more expressive not only sexually but verbally today, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, one of the biggest things that the men are saying that modern women today would often verbally disrespect their men in public, right? Yep, no. yep, yep, yep. No, Luna, and this is my mm -hmm. example. How, this, is my, this is my example yeah. why I think it's uh, it's more normalized today. There's, you, you don't know how many times have you gone on a social media post by a, a woman that would openly talk shit about their men. I've seen oh, it. Okay. I've yeah. seen yeah. it. Smacking them, smacking them and everything. Yeah, right? or yeah. Or yeah. So for yeah. a lot of women, they would say, no, that's my freedom to express how I feel about a man. Mm -hmm. But they don't understand from a man's perspective, it looks bad on him. That you're talking mm -hmm. bad and talking shit about your man uh, mm -hmm. openly to the public for the whole world to see. And I think for me, one of my general rules when I go in a relationship is uh, we always handle things uh, uh, we don't do. We don't have. We don't have that conversation in public. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. you yeah, no. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, 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 no. All right. Yep. So, um, there's. I mean, there's a lot of. I'm sure you see a lot of videos of women. You know, like they're arguing in front of the men in public. They're pointing at their men. They're yelling at their men. Um, yeah. So a lot of. So if men were to say, you know, that's if men would just have a problem with that, a lot of times, uh, they would feel, oh, you're trying to control what I say. And no, 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 no. It's just. We don't. We shouldn't put our, our dirty laundry out there. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right. All right. So, what what's your thoughts mm -hmm. about that? Then, when it comes to a relationship, if you're trying to elevate and, re and represent your man in the best way possible, mm -hmm. and elevate him above all other men, then you shouldn't be. Able, you shouldn't talk bad about him. You shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't uh, emotionally. Uh, Emasculate him. Emasculate him. Yes. Uh, disrespect yes. him. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you shouldn't post mm -hmm. your issues on social media, which yes. a lot of women do today. Yes. All right. So, what's your thoughts mm -hmm. about that? I, you know, I have four brothers um, and I definitely feel that you keep your issues to yourself. I don't say to yourselves, right? Because oh, 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 right before you post, I have to ask this question. Have you guys ever done that before? Ha ha post it. Post it online. I've done the subliminal, like mm -hmm. posted a meme, like not with my husband, but an ex, like, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, like stupid yeah. shit or whatever. But it was never like geared towards me. It should be like one of those inspirational quotes, but it's like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I did one of those one time. You know, but I've never been like the whole you. like keyboard you warrior. Right. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you post yeah, that story. She posts, uh, if a man really wanted to change, he would change. Like, right. Yeah. 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 Stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Yes, I've done that. Yeah. Subliminals. And I'd be like, oh, somebody's a yeah. man. Right. Well, I would say, you know, again, as a mother, I, it, for me, it's very important to make sure that my that my ex-husband and my children's father is always seen in the best light for them. Okay. So I would never, I and I have never talked about the, you know, what happened, our indiscretions for our marriage outside, you know, publicly. Like my homegirls know, and believe me, they know, no, right? <laughs> right? But everybody else, it doesn't matter, you know, at, all they see is that me and my daughters moved on, I'm successful, and that's all that they need to know. Um, I think that, you know, and like, as I said, I have four brothers, and so I would hope that the women that they're dating, that, that they're married to, and that they are having children with will also treat them with that same respect as well, too. Because I do believe when you start to include other people into the opinions of your relationships, that when shit gets messy, yeah, you know, it absolutely. gets really murky because, yeah. because A, not everyone was raised in families of love, right? Mm -hmm. And cultures of love, yeah. too. So they're going to bring their toxic, negative opinions into your relationship. Mm -hmm. And if you're a weak-minded person, you're going to think that, you know, like, like treat yeah. that as gospel, Right. <laughs> yeah. um, and so, so yes, I think it's really important, you know, and as I tell, you know, my daughter is a teenager and her and her boyfriend broke up and she had a little, this little messy post the other day. And I said, you know what, take that down. I said, I said, we're too classy for that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And she said, you know, mom, thank you so much. But someone did take a screenshot and send it to her uh, ex of course, and all of that. Of because, course. You know, but I said, you know what, be classier than that. Don't air your dirty laundry. Don't, don't disrespect him in a way that's going to make you look bad later on. You always mm -hmm. want to hold your head high, keep your crown on and yes. don't talk about things that don't involve anyone else in your relationship you know I, there's your family obviously god is super important yep. well, number so one he will let you That's know number one you'll ask you ask mm -hmm. for an answer and you, 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 you will receive you shall receive uh -huh. the answer. Be, ready. be ready for the answer yeah <laughs> i know be for ready real. for the answer yes yes and yes. then your trusted trusted confidants because yeah. you never mm -hmm. want your relationship to be some gossip or some fodder yes. you know what i'm saying yes. for someone else's i really relationships as well yeah, so. yeah okay All right. mm -hmm. thank you i'll pass it to Chantel. what's your thoughts mm -hmm. about that uh you know posting your business online disrespecting a woman or your men in public emotionally oh, okay. verbally <laughs> so um i think it's so wrong um oh. i think that if you are at the point where you want to disrespect someone like that you should just no longer be with that person oh. um i would um when i'm involved with someone like even as someone who doesn't want a relationship even the people that i have my 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 type of relationships with i would never do that to someone that i have respect for because that makes that's just that makes no sense to me i would um if when i care for someone um i would never want to hurt them in that sense <laughs> so um Hmm. Can can we talk about something? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Are you talking about somebody? Somebody uh, about to get it? No, no. Scroll up. Another. There was another one. Keep going. No, no, no. You're going the wrong way. Which one? Yeah. This one. Um. Yeah. That one. Okay. Uh, we'll finish your point and then we'll come okay. back to we'll come back okay. and we get to respond. Okay. So um. <clears throat> so well, I don't um. <laughs> I would never disrespect someone that I care for, that I love, that I that I fuck with, that anything like that. Because if if I fuck with you, you fuck with me. Like I, even though I'm not in a relationship with you, you're not mine, I'm not yours, but there is a huge loyalty. I you know what I mean? Like there is a loyalty. When I when even though I'm a very I'm a so when I say I, I want to reiterate something, I'm a sexual person, but I'm not I'm not some hoe bag that fucks everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not out here. I'm not out here showing pussy. I'm not out here showing titties. I'm not out here showing everything. You know what I mean? And even some girls do that. And I'm not putting shade on those girls. I'm just saying my situation. I'm I'm sexual because that's who I am. I'm okay. a very sexual being and um and I enjoy that, but I'm I'm that I'm that way for for myself. I'm more like it's it's more of a I I enjoy I enjoy sexuality. Yeah. Um but it's not so it's people see that and when you say that they put you on this downgrade. You yeah. know what I mean? Can I, can I uh, ask you a genuine question? Yeah. I don't like I don't have a problem with you being uh, sexual, right? But uh, do you but do you, do you also have the understanding how people perceive you? 
Uh, yeah, 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 no, one hundred, one hundred percent, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and that's that just that comes with it because yeah, yeah, you think yeah, yeah. you think because also it goes down to you know thinking of <laughs> hoes, thinking of prostitutes, thinking of being yeah, used, yeah, think yeah. of being used and abused, and you're just you know, we just use you to fuck you and throw you in the garbage. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But for me, my sexuality, like I'm very proud of who I am. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I I am a strong businesswoman. I am also a, I'm also a model. Yeah. I'm proud of my sexuality and who I am. Yeah, yeah. And I have nothing to hide about any of that. Yeah. And for me, like I am my own provider. I have my own apartment. I do everything myself. Yeah. I don't want a sugar daddy. I don't want anyone to take care of me. Yeah. So when I'm with someone, it's about, it's about loyalty and it's about um, ex equal exchange of everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and for that, and for that, I love that. So even if I'm with someone who, you know, we just have our whatever, I would, I would never disrespect them in public. And ever, because okay. if, if I care about you, I would, I would never do that. And it doesn't, doesn't, I don't have to be in a relationship with you to be just yours to do that. If I have a loyalty to you, I, mm. I, I wouldn't like, okay. I just, um, if I'm at the point where I feel like that has to happen, we can no longer be around each other Okay. because that just, um, I'm not going to put my energy into that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Can we Thank talk about that comment? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go a little more on the panel and then I'll come back. It's okay, Roger. Uh, I got you. I got you. Okay. All right. So I'll pass it to you, uh, Kari. Kari. <laughs> he gonna get it before this night is over, y'all. Kari, <laughs> Kari but yeah, when, uh, when, you know, we we see a lot of women online, when not only on social media, but also mm -hmm. in life. You know, they're openly talking back to their men, mm -hmm. uh, emotionally disrespecting their men, mm -hmm. masculinizing their men. Some women are fighting their men, or punching their men. Yeah. Right. So uh, I've seen that. It's uh, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. So uh, what's what's your thoughts about that? Uh, and and for a lot of women, you know, they uh, they do that, but they you know, if a man responds back, you know, a lot of times they try to put push it back on the guy. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, but what do you think about he that? He's gonna be the one to go to jail. Is that a type of behavior yeah. that <laughs> elevates and represents your man in a good way? No, not at all. Um, I think some women think that's okay today because they are. I don't want to say I, sometimes they're making more money than that man. So they feel like now that they are the woman of the house. So I could tell you what to do. You're not a man. I'm making more money than you. So they'd be smacking them, doing whatever they want to do to this man, just like they're a man, you know? Um, but no, take your shit. Uh, and do that shit in, in uh, private. <laughs> don't do that shit in public. Like if y'all got issues, don't be posting shit online for everybody to see. Cause then that leaves the door open for people to have opinions on your relationship. And they don't know what's happening behind closed doors. They're just seeing like the surface level. They don't know deep down, like your day to day with this person. So it was like, no, don't, don't let those people into yeah. your, what you got going on. Keep those people out. Talk about your shit together behind closed doors. We don't need to involve other people. That's when, like you were saying, that's when stuff gets messy. Yeah. So. And also just to add on to uh, what you just said, and this is for all the women out there and the men as well. Don't post your dirty laundry online because yes. there are men and women just waiting for your vulnerability. That's, that's what I would that too. The and sliding your person's DM and too. The screenshot. They, 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 they waiting and they they're ready. Sliding, they're sliding. Oh, you they're ain't happy? Yeah. What, yeah. What's yeah. happening? You want to yeah. need somebody to talk to? Oh, so don't I mean, do that. Y'all separated yeah. now? What's happening? I'll, I'll, I'll listen okay. to you. <laughs> yeah, I'll listen to you. And then that creates some emotional connection with somebody else because you're letting somebody else into your relationship. So don't do that shit. Right. That, but people yeah, posting do that, it. they're looking for a response. They post that because they're looking for attention. Mm -hmm. And if you say oh, that you're so not looking for attention when you post some bullshit like that, of course you're looking for attention. Yeah, you're yeah. Yeah. you're not yeah. posting it just to post it. You're you're posting yeah. it to get a reaction from somebody. sympathy. Sometimes people yeah, sympathy. it's just well, it's, sometimes it's super people do use their socials as their therapy outlet. You yeah. know. Like yeah, they, yeah, they do. That's, that's true. true. But as true. you were saying, yeah, therapy like, is so important. Not having and, like and, and family or friends. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Some people, it's people like are using that. Where they that's, that's true. Yeah, that's okay. true. And it's, I also got to be careful with that. that. It, yes. it could be yeah. generational trauma that people are acting out, right? Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. saw your parent or a grandparent or an aunt and uh, uncle having these violent fights, relationship yes. statuses, right, that are very public mm -hmm. at family mm -hmm. functions and, you know, someone is emasculating or belittling you know each mm -hmm. other then of course you're going to think that's normal that's healthy and that and that's what you're supposed to do so you're going to emulate that right mm -hmm. yeah. so it again it's having that blind spot it's being like okay let me check myself let me make sure i'm showing up as the best version of myself in this relationship and is blasting this man on social media going to be the best version of me 
Probably not. So let me not. Right. Right. Or let me do it on my green circle. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Yeah. Or there. Right? So I still get that emotional trigger done out. Right. Again, I need to heal a blind okay. spot. Yeah. Okay. But not, yeah. it's in a closed circle. Right? That's right. right. That's right. It's in a closed loop. Right? Yes. Or, you know, it's also showing your friends that the, the DMs are the chats that these dudes will have to. Yes, so ma'am. I think it's at that public. Mm -hmm. uh, drop it. Drop it. <laughs> Snake, uh, what do you think about the um, uh, you know men, uh, women out there who are openly disrespecting their men in public, talking back to them, yelling at them, fighting them, opposing their nickname, uh, their dirty lines. <laughs> what yeah. do you think? Yeah, so I funny. agree with I agree with um, all of these ladies. I, I think you know it's disrespectful. They shouldn't be doing that. Um, definitely shouldn't be posting certain things on social media but like these two said like like it's therapy sometimes like it they use it as an outlet mm -hmm. and not just for like a, a certain type of attention but for maybe someone to reach out and say hey mm -hmm. do you do you need support do you need prayer do you like how can you know how can i help you get through this but not in not in a, a sexual romantic way or for someone to try to like get at them but just just to feel like they have an ear yeah. to be heard mm -hmm. and so like like they all said as well like sometimes it's a trigger sometimes they're you know maybe their guy has triggered them in a way and they're not able to fully communicate that in in the way that they should in that moment and so she's acting out it's not okay there's no there's no excuse for like you know a woman to beat mm -hmm. up or to you know, go off on their men in public and, and belittle them and make them feel less than just because they're triggered or just because they're upset. Um, and so for them, that's where they need to go seek a different um, avenue. They mm -hmm, actually mm -hmm. do need to go seek therapy yeah. but for themselves and not just on social media mm -hmm. to blast their 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 person out mm -hmm. there. You're right. Um, but yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Can I say one thing about women hitting men? Yes, go ahead. Um, if... I don't think it's like domestic violence in any sense is not okay. Yeah. Like in any, it doesn't matter who starts what, it's just, it's not okay. And it's super toxic. It's bad. If you're involved in that, please just get out of it. But um, if you, if you are a woman and you are hitting, hitting your man and hitting him or hitting a man in general, and you don't think he has the right to punch you in the fucking but face, you're fucking tripping, bitch. Yeah. Because if yeah. you throw <laughs> hits, you better up. take a hit. You better like, be I, it's not okay. It's, <laughs> yes. it's not like... Like, like yeah, don't do it. I don't I don't so, understand that. What if it, they'll, they'll be hitting you, somebody and then no, they're like, no, ah, you hit me? Yeah. I'm yeah. like, you, you were know. just beating his ass. Of course he hit you. And a lot of times it's still mm -hmm. risk, uh, not all the time, but a uh, lot of times when you have these crazy bitches in the street screaming at their man, <laughs> punching and hitting him, and then all of a sudden the guy did one one real good pop, yeah, yeah. and then she's like, Oh my god, calls the cops and everything. Like, and I'm girl, just like, he hit you once. To get you away, and you already knew, and now you're acting like your life is over. Yeah. Like, bitch, you shouldn't. Have been, don't, 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 don't be swinging on somebody if you can't take a fucking hit. Like, 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 yeah, if you can't take a hit, don't go around hitting men like it's a real man. Real masculine man, he's not gonna hit that woman, bro. I know, but he's still not. I'm just saying, he got a real man to do it. A real man not not finna just beat up on a woman. No, no, I'm not saying beat up. I'm saying you hit. Somebody you why is not getting hit? I understand. Yeah. Like, yeah. In, like, just like a he, he should like have just, enough strength to just like withhold her, right? Just restrain her. Yeah. Her, yeah. Or, like, but like, away. Like, but I'm saying but it's really like, really really dark. Dark. You're yeah. a, I've seen it too. Like, girls yeah. like, clubs just don't like, that lady. Don't off do of it. a dude. You thank you. Know. Thank you, Snake. Sort of dating. It's like, you have no idea what his traumas are. You have no idea how easy he can snap. So it's just, there's some truth to it. Like, right? While no one should be putting hands on anybody. No, yeah. I really do hate that. Like, like you said, like when women just be, uh, uh, uh. It's not okay. God, like. If you get hit back, take it then. Like, don't be calling the cops then. Like, yeah, at that, that point, I don't, I don't right. understand that. He, he called, you called the police when you started the whole thing, and then he punches you once to get you away. Not even the starting it part, but just the like, hitting. Nobody should I hit just, me. I just find it. I just, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's a slippery slope. No, of the top. Would, it is. Yeah. It is. I would just say this. I would, I would just say this. I have good hit. I don't be hit. That's always. I think number one, nobody should hit anybody. Yes. Yes. No, I agree. And I agree. Yeah. And the thing also number two is for men, and I'm I'm speaking from the perspective of men. Um, when those situations happen, just walk away. 
Yeah. Right, right. Walk away because society, the perception of you hitting a woman is always going to look bad in society. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when it comes to the criminal uh, prosecution. But I also, the thing, I, but here's the thing my problem is for as a man, you, if you're the, the leader, when I see women hit men, I already know that that's happened before. Right. Yeah. Yep. So exactly. Other that's so right. Yeah. You tolerate that's that right. In the first, yeah. in the first mm -hmm. place because. Yep. Who men who don't tolerate that, they'll leave you, drop you immediately. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yep. Mm -hmm. so when I men you, that don't tolerate that will never even give you the energy the that energy. they will yeah. tolerate that, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 You know, if you try to hit yeah. me, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 There is no conversation. That's right. You, you, yeah. can't, you, you, yeah, you just you disrespected me right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah. But the thing is for me is I'm, I'm trying to put the accountability on, on the men as well because I know it looks bad on the woman as well. The woman should have hit the man. But as a man, you got to stand for yourself. Yeah. When that happens, you have to set your boundaries, walk away, or leave that woman. But sometimes, if I've seen it happen the first time, I know it's happened before. Yeah. And he's tolerating that very woman mm -hmm. being, still mm -hmm. being with her. Mm -hmm. And most right. times they're so. both domestic towards each other. That, uh, yeah. That's Talk true. Yeah. Yep. It's just a toxic yeah. situation, yeah. right? Wow. Yeah. You don't go to from to from like, oh my gosh, I'm arguing with you, I'm slapping you in a club now. Yeah. Like, yeah. like that's a progression. Yeah. So, so they have gone through yeah. multiple right. iterations exactly. of the yeah. relationship. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Uh, draw that line like this can never happen again. Yeah. Or I'm gonna leave. Mm -hmm. right? it People be so traumatized. How good the coochie is? Really. You gotta go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't discount hey, the coochie. I'm, 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 I'm saying it though. No, right? Right? Like, don't be in these in these toxic relationships mm -hmm. with these women who are who are beautiful yeah. on the outside, yeah. but, but in the inside, the ugly. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, let me just read some uh, super chats real quick. Um, yeah, let's go to the let's go up to the. <laughs> she she, she got it out for somebody. To so. Uh, Phil Jr. Uh, and shout out to everybody that's super chatting. Uh, everybody in the live, man, you guys are going crazy in the live right now. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, crazy in there. The entire show from all the platforms. <laughs> if you're watching from a different platform, Facebook, but fuck some IG, of y'all. Some of y'all got us fucked up. And Twitch, definitely come over to YouTube. That's where everybody's uh, participating on the it's live chat. Here. And uh, <laughs> I'll start with you, Phil. And shout out to you, Phil. Thank you so hey, much. Phil. All right. Uh, Phil said, my bad, MTS. Uh, didn't waste her time. Our moms, grants, aunts never showed cleavage, and they taught us men that's a red flag. Hashtag modesty, elegance, classy. What's your response? To that? Yes. So my response is that um, if I have cleavage, even if I put it even lower, I'm still modest. I'm still elegant, and I'm still classy. I am still. I hold myself to my own standard, and you. Showing cleavage and showing your body and being proud of your body has nothing to do with how, like, who you are as a person. It does not make me trashy. It does not make me anything any lower than than what I am. Um, and I am in the comments. First of all, I'm a plus size woman, right? So I've already been called a cow on here. That's something that I deal with because that's society, right? Yeah. I I have big tits. Whether I cover them all the way up. Or whether I have them showing just a little bit. You see how there's you barely a difference here? Mm -hmm. Like this, this is two, this is not even two inches. Yeah. Here, I'm modest, but now I'm a whore. I'm yeah. modest, now I'm a mm -hmm. whore. Th have I changed? No, I'm the same strong, independent fucking woman that walked in here. So this comment does it makes it does it make sense to me, but also it's it's I don't I don't like that a lot of women have to deal with this because it could really hurt feelings. But so I want to say to women out there that are plus size, don't let people affect you when they talk down to you, when they say, ah, too big, cow, whatever, because that does not matter. And then when people want to talk about cleavage, that also doesn't change you as a person. It doesn't make you less of a person. And if I want to show my cleavage, I still will. And I don't care what anybody has to say because I am strong in myself. I show what I want because I want to, because I enjoy it for me, not for anybody else. It is not for attention because I am body positive. I'm a plus size fucking woman. I'm a heavyweight champion. And fuck you, Dr. Phil Jr. I hope oh, you're a oh, oh, you oh, or something oh, while he's oh, oh, so, oh, so, so you know what I noticed? You know what I noticed? So, so like a lot of men, you know, go to the gym. They go pump up. They pump their iron. They walk around, no shirt, nothing like that or whatever. And they, they can be all buff and everything. And nobody say anything mm -hmm. about that. There's no stipulation of, uh, for a man to be you know, 
Hits out a shirt, out. or he could be, you know, whatever. Yeah. And then a, a woman to wear cleavage out a little bit, then she got it. She's not classy. She's not all of these things. Yeah, yeah. Like, Ooh, wow, that's, that's very good. That, mm-hmm. it's, it's a great yeah. point. That, that, that is. is, that that is. is. Why yeah. nobody yeah. talks yeah. about yeah. that? Yeah. That's that is very, very, that is very good. Yeah. Double yeah. standards. Yeah. I hate that shit. Right? Yeah. You probably got it. She 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 got it. Like, yeah, he probably like, like, body positivity could go both ways. Oh, yes. Mary, can, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I offer a different perspective? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to offer this perspective if, because from my perspective, I don't really have a problem with what Phil said. And I'm, I'm, let, me, uh-huh. let me explain to you why. I understand that, uh, you know, you, you live your own life, you do what you do. But the thing is, you know, everybody has a different perspective of how to perceive things, right? Yes. So just because there's a lot of people who are very conservative. Uh-huh. There's a lot of people who are very traditional, mm-hmm. right? So for you, that's the way you present yourself, and in, in, in your perspective, it's it's okay and it's powerful, it's it's empowering for you. But the, for the people who are more traditional, for the people who are more conservative, uh, they tend to see it that way. So for me, is he's just sharing his perspective from his point of view, mm-hmm. which sounds like he's more traditional, more conservative. Well, there's a, no, there's so, a way of saying it, but um, this 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 is said to be rude. So I can yeah, understand yeah. an opinion, yeah, yeah. but this is said to be rude. Everyone has the, everyone's entitled to their opinion yeah, the yeah. same way that I am. Yeah. But I, I'm not being rude. This is a rude comment. So that's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. What, what is being said, the way that it's being said, I understand what he's saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the way it's being said was being rude. Okay. 100% this okay. is to be rude. This was not just saying, Hey, you know, like this, this, this is a rude comment. And for that, everyone, you have the right to your own opinion. That's yeah, totally yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to I'm going to express myself the way that I did, saying that I do things because how I do them, because of who I am. Yeah, yeah. And this this doesn't change who I am as yeah, an yeah. independent person. Yeah, yeah. And, but this comment was said to be rude. So that's why I'm oh, responding okay. the way that no, I am. No, no, well, no. Everyone has a right Was it opinion. towards just you no, or no. cleavage in general? No, so, I'm pretty sure. Like, no, some no, all, like no, in my house, so, so, just cleavage? one person. No, because I was like, her cleavage is out, hers is out. And I was like, who is that? No, what? Thanks for calling me out over here. Okay, I'm wearing a Chanel jacket. No, the reason why I brought it up. No, the the reason why I brought it up because I do understand that we live in a we live in a different time in society. So we, there's a we have a very modern society, but then we also have a very people who are still traditional and uh, conservative. Mm-hmm. The, the the reason why I have this conversation, oftentimes when we have a different opinion, especially today, modern society, mm-hmm. oftentimes people always assume that it's rude, right? So yeah. for me, is mm-hmm. just because somebody has a different perspective. Like for me, I may disagree with a lot of things you do, but I'm still gonna mm-hmm. respect you as a human being. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. But I think sometimes today, because we all live in our own bubble and our own perspective. Mm-hmm. And we hear an uh, opinion that we're not used to. Oftentimes, we may mistake it as being rude. So, for me, when I look at that uh, that perspective, it does, I don't think he's being rude. He's expressing his very direct mm-hmm. opinion that he thinks that for for conservative men, many looking for traditional women, if you see a woman that shows cleavage, that's a red flag. And for me, that he's just showing the very conservative, very direct yeah. traditional opinion. But you know, but like I said, you have your, your, your interpretation of it. But I think sometimes it would, mm-hmm. just because people, especially when it comes to dating relationships, just because a man sees things differently, just because a woman sees it differently, mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily mean that they're disrespecting you or disagree with you mm-hmm. or they're rude mm-hmm. with you. Yeah, it's just, just we, not the man. we have right. yeah, yeah. That's his yeah. opinion. Yeah. That's how he grew up, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think he asked it in like a rude way yeah. either. He I don't think just, he said it. That's how he was like, raised. You know, the whole my mommy, my grand. Right, like, exactly. And that's how I know it's from. Okay. Yeah, how well, he grew if up. Was, if it wasn't meant to be rude, then it's not meant to be rude. Mm-hmm. I also think that you know, in terms of like social comments and comments, anyways, right? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna talk about my education here, right? So libel, slander, time, place, and manner, right? Those are the big, um, I can sue someone for a libel, that, which is like time, place, or matter, slander for me, whether it be print, media, or, or online, right? And so if I'm representing myself in a way that is is um, quote unquote by someone else inappropriate, is it the time that I'm inappropriate? Is the mm. place that I'm, I'm inappropriate, or is it the manner that I'm inappropriate? Yeah. Those are the things that we're going to be focusing yeah, on here. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. here we are yeah. at a yep. podcast, and all women, right? So this is a very comfortable exactly. place. Mm-hmm. So the place where we are is comfort, and this is all women. So it's very, um, you know, um, 
supportive. So the right. place and the manner in which she is dressed is 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 appropriate for the time yeah. that we yeah. are at. Yeah. As Absolutely. Well too. So I think that all women that are intelligent mm -hmm. um, and that that you know are body positive think about those things before they go out and they leave the house. We all have Before, to. Mm -hmm. We know the cat calling. Yes. We know the oh girl, you hella fine. Uh -huh. We know the dudes that come up and try to, you know, touch mm -hmm. the booty at the mm -hmm. club. So we are very mm -hmm. aware of how we dress. And and the more the more provocative we dress, the more attention that we get. Mm -hmm. But we're also very mature in the ways that we do it. So we're not just gonna be dressing like this to run to the to Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. In time, place, and manner. And I think that is something that needs to just be honored. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, I, I love think, it. I think a lot of people, they get offended or they, they have these opinions based on what they do and don't want to see. So yeah. I don't want to see that. So, like, you should Or on like, you. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't want to see that on you. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Someone else can wear it. Yeah. yeah. On you, yeah. I don't want to see that uh -huh. because now I'm offended. Mm -hmm. But, you know, mm -hmm. so again, time, place. Yeah. On my time, mm -hmm. please cleave it out, baby. Yeah. Right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh let's keep this tradition, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. if, it, if it were something else, mm -hmm. it's yeah, also easy to sit forever. behind a keyboard. Yeah, mm -hmm. so let's uh, so we'll keep uh, like we'll keep the reading of the the, <laughs> the the next super chest. Uh, Dusty Jack, a simp and fencer who gets no cheeks. All right, no oh, hey, All right, no cheeks. All right, uh, <laughs> Uh, no women, uh, no women don't know. No, uh, no women don't know how to represent. They are taught to live for themselves and be about women, women's sexual liberation. They don't care how their past will affect the man stupid enough to trust them. Hashtag dust. Ooh, baby, who Damn. hurt you? Ooh. Oh, wait. What are you talking about? Yeah. That really? Oh, <laughs> Baby, because oh, you hurt sorry. it. Sorry. You know what, though? Okay, okay, wait. Before, uh, just, before. Just to break it down. Yeah, right. no. Let's be real. Like, it's just, that was very specific. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Talking, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I kind of agree with this. Okay. And, and I will say this as, as a mother raising young daughters, I think it's very important for them to understand how what they're currently doing could affect their future. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I need them to represent themselves in the light of their ancestors, mm -hmm. of their grandmothers, of their mothers and, and carry themselves in the best representation of themselves. Because again, anything could be screenshotted, taken a picture yes. of, and yes. I would hate for them to, you know, in 10 years from I'm now to be at Miami spring break and, you know, on a TikTok reel, and then oops, now they're not going to get a, a job or something like that because mm -hmm. of their past representation at that moment. So yep. I do mm -hmm. think it is important for for everyone to carry themselves in a way that is respectable, so that they can think about their future, um, mm -hmm. and not just women, but that goes for for everybody. Yeah. Right. And in terms of sexual liberation, I think that people should be able to express themselves freely mm -hmm. in ways, but also that you know, sexual liberation should be taken place in private amongst people that you care about yes. and are comfortable with. And it's not something that mm -hmm. needs to be for the gram or for TikTok in the first place, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. My, I mean, my only response to uh, uh, Dusty Jack Simpin, um, look, at the end of the day, we live in a free world. Everybody is an adult here. You're free to make your own choices. And if, you, if you're single, the only person that you have to worry about is yourself. Is yourself, and yeah. God. And God. And God. Right. Number one. Number and, and one. The law, and the law. Yes. And the law, right? Yeah. The thing is, for me, is this is the type of thing I have to explain to people. You're free to live however you want to live mm -hmm. if you're single. But when it comes to a relationship, it's no longer about you anymore. Oh, yeah. Right. So yeah. A lot of times, what I find a lot of people, you want a relationship, but you still want to live the same single life. Mm -hmm. yeah. The thing mm -hmm. is, Yep. If, if you want to attract a marriage, if you want to attract a good partner, mm -hmm. then you have to act in the way that aligns with what those people are looking for. So you That's can't true. say, I want to I want to be single. I want to do whatever I want to yeah. do. I don't want no man or I don't want my partner to tell me what to do. Then be single. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you mm -hmm. want a relationship, it's a we. It's not. Me. Right. Right. So you yeah. have to be able to put the concern and the needs of the other person because that's what love is. That's what relationships is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Uh, I think that's what he's trying to do is like, look, uh, oftentimes, and I'm seeing, I see this for both men and women, and we live in a very materialistic society. Mm -hmm. A very sometimes the capitalist societies tend to be very selfish. Everybody mm -hmm. just cares about their own concern, mm -hmm. yeah. which yeah. I, I understand. 
But the thing is, you can't be selfish in a relationship. No. Mm -hmm. that's, that's true. That time, yeah. that, a lot of people who live uh, by themselves for a long period of time, mm -hmm. it's hard for them to adjust for somebody else's needs. Yes. You've been living for yourself for your whole life. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think that's why he's trying to, uh, uh, in a lot of women, they live in a way which is fine. Mm -hmm. But if you are looking for something long term, yeah. you do have to take in consideration what the partner that you want mm -hmm. is looking for. Right. So that's that's kind of, yeah, I say you got to teach an old drug new, new tricks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got some. So I would like to say on here is that um so um like you were saying like just know that if something's screenshot or anything you know it could be brought back up so anything that you do just know that it's out there the moment it's on the internet yeah. it's forever so yeah. that's that's what it is but i don't think that um I think sexual liberation is fine, um, no matter what you do, if you want to show it all or if you want to show none of it, uh, because the partner that you want to be with, who you attract, it, it will, will hit your standard and yeah. they will love that about you. They will say, I don't, I, you know what I mean? Like the same way with me, yeah. for me, even though, even though I don't show everything. Yeah. But I am a sultry model. And so with what I'm doing, my partner is going to understand mm -hmm. that and mm -hmm. love that about who I am. Right. Because what yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing with intention. Any yes. Anything I do, I do with intention because I want to. It. So it's not, I have nothing to hide about that. I think the issue when people like Dusty Jack who get hurt hmm. is because people hide things. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you, but when, no, it's not the same. That is the same. That is the same. But when you hide, when you hide something from your partner, that's yeah. when things get hurt. Yeah, yeah. So if you yes, come to the yes. table, if I'm, I would never come to the that's table right. and say, I never did it. I'm just like, no, I'm a plus size model. I go to Folsom Street Fair. I go to Pride every year. I do, you know what I mean? But this is, who I am, that's but right. if you hide something about yourself and they find out, that's not okay to me right. because that causes pain. That yeah. part, and that's yeah. partially that's partially yeah. betrayal because you are mm -hmm. lying to someone who you're claiming you love, you know, and that that's not okay. So just be honest. Just, just do be what honest. You, do, it's is easy. It, do what you want and be fucking honest. A really easy way to live. That's how I live, yeah. and it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just add one, one, one thing on that little comment too? Is okay too. I, yeah, I feel like you know it's just it's all in what you're okay with mm -hmm. and if you are okay with what you're going to reflect and if you're okay with what's coming back to you. Yep. So if you want to be sexually liberated, then do that. But also know that you're mm -hmm. still, you know, you're a ref your reflection is going to come back to you. Yeah. Exactly. And, yeah. and whatever okay. you're putting out, you're going to get back. Yeah. So if that's the harvest you reap, you got to be okay with it. That part. Go yeah. on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. with the, before we move on to the next one, the sexual liberation, I know you guys have uh, your opinion about sexual liberation. I know a lot of times in modern society, because it's very empowering, we like to talk about sexual liberation and we like to talk about the positives of sexual liberation. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times people don't want to talk about the negatives oh, girl. of mm -hmm. sexual liberation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the reason for me, the reason why I am anti-sexual liberation, because I know there's a lot of negatives when you when you choose to sexually liberate yourself. Yeah. You choose to attract men, the wrong type of men. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. going to sexualize you and just use you for your body. Mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes, if you're very sexual liberating, um, you oftentimes going to be in the relationships where sex is involved before the commitment. Mm -hmm. Right, there's, right. There's a lot of risk yeah. of getting pregnant, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, being with a guy that doesn't want that responsibility, having children out of wedlock. So those are all the consequences That's with true. sexual liberation. So for me, is whatever you decide, you have to set both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, accept mm -hmm. the yeah. positive. Yep. Yeah. Look at both yeah. angles. You're right. right. You yeah. Also have to accept the negatives of That's sexual right. liberation. Yeah. That's right. And that's why for me, I'm anti-sexual liberation because mm -hmm. if I have a daughter, I don't want her to face all those consequences yes. of sexual liberation. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want her to find a good man, yeah. have a mm -hmm. good relationship, and live a good life. But for me, the, my problem with the women who say sexual liberation, when the negatives come. Mm -hmm. They, uh, they, they, uh, they want to blame it. They didn't want to blame it on the sexual liberation that they decided to partake in. They didn't want to. They want to blame it on the man. I was like, no, you. The very things you attracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what you do. Yeah. 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 Well, sexual liberation for me is like you know uh, what we see. That's normal today, right? But that's that was not traditionally how women sexually liberate uh express themselves back in the day so well back in the day they couldn't at all okay so, there, there, was, so, there was so 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 was it that like i like sex and it feels good and i can tell my friends about that as a liberation or is it like i like sex it feels good and now i'm like letting everybody know on my social media channels and everything about that oh, right because yeah. Yeah, i think yeah, that th th those are two those different are two types different. of liberation mm -hmm. right that's right yeah. right so so me saying oh my gosh Renee saying, you know what? i just got this new my rabbit yeah, is amazing Totally. Hey, right, yeah, right, yeah. and that's liberating, but that, but that's keeping it here, you know, versus me 
on a video, you know, using my rabbit. Showing for everybody, yeah, you know, for everybody. everybody. getting okay, money so for it. Talk about sex, right? Yeah. So the thing is, if you private conversation between you and a friend, mm -hmm. I mean, that for me, I don't, uh, it's not about liberation. That's just having conversations between you. Right, between right, right. But for me, the, my, the way I see liberation, liberation for me is when you share it. With everybody. With, everybody. with everyone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, so, so what are you saying? What do you say? Even like, like, like a, you give back. Like, we're looking you gotta at like, 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 out in a bar, taking a picture and posting it on social media. It's like, is that a part of like, like the point you're trying to make as no, well? So, or is it more like, like the only fans look, I mean, and like stuff like that? Like, yeah, perfect. Or is it, yeah. is it like a, you know, picture? No, for me, as I'll share an example. Like for me, like we all like, we, everybody loves sex. Like, you know, we want, we want sex. You guys want sex. But for me is, uh, I'm not gonna tell the whole world out there. Oh, I like to sex. I like to do this. I like to do this. I like to do that. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. people yeah. do put number that on the gram. Yeah. But okay. Well, the, also number one is. I'll tell anyone what I like. Oh, and that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> the thing is, the type of woman I'm trying to attract that has traditional values. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna look for men who say things openly like yes. that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So for, yes. That's, because yeah. because <laughs> I want that woman, I'm gonna align myself <laughs> in that way. Right. So that's the thing is don't for me is. Sense. That's not it. Like, you can be sexually liberated. It, but it really depends on the type of relationship, type of partner you want. So mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. understand that the way you sexually liberate yourself is going to mm -hmm. go against the uh, the very partner that you want, it's going to make it harder for them to attract yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just accept it. But yeah. don't try to blame it. Uh, it had nothing to do with my sexual liberation. You just have to do that person can't accept me. No, no. Like it's a, yeah. that comes with the territory. Yeah. 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 It's it's not, not, I, I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. If, yeah. You I agree with what you're saying because it's not, it's not okay to blame. Yeah, it's yeah. not okay to blame and i hear what you're saying for that but again i but again it comes down to a lot of these a lot of the women that are doing some of these sexual liberations that are not fully like you know doing it for themselves they're still filling these voids with it they are still accepting these shitty men that are coming their way but so i think it still comes to when you have a standard for yourself you accept you can still accept powerful incredible men who have all of these values and i know that because those are the people that i am with and they are they are incredible and they have values in that because i don't settle for trashy whatevers at all yeah, yeah. because i i only want to have around me what also I reflect. So it's, I, I don't settle, yeah. I don't settle for less. So I think that there are, I hear what you're saying yeah, yeah. and I do yeah. agree with the, with the anti-sexual liberation. I understand what you're saying yeah, completely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but that is a category of it. That is a category of some women mm -hmm. that are blaming, that are accepting these crappy men and that are saying that it's the world and it's society. And then there's, women who do things because they're strong because they want to and then it's like okay i'm sexually liberated for myself because i enjoy this and you are also have strong values as a man and you understand that about me and we like each other and we vibe and we are a fucking powerful fucking couple yeah and you know what i mean yeah and that, that definitely takes me back to when we were talking about what, <clears throat> what a woman wears so if you meet this woman at, at a club or whatever and she's mm -hmm. dressed in like real like sexy <laughs> right ah, and then not the rabbit you have a, you have a conversation <laughs> with her yeah. and then you like oh she's actually a little bit different than what i thought like you, now you now you know her mind a little bit mm -hmm. you're not on the same page of like okay i thought she was just somebody i wanted i just want yeah. to yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. now you're like actually she had a intellectual conversation with me that mm -hmm. that changed my mindset yeah. mm -hmm. so yes she could look like this on the outer but mm -hmm. then if you get to actually talk to her and understand her a little better then you know that she's not just about this sex or the sexual yeah. liberation bingo that's yeah. not, that's yeah. not what yeah. 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 place it matters she's at the club trying to look cute mm -hmm. right it doesn't mean that she doesn't have a brain yeah. in her yeah. head exactly yeah. but then, yeah. but then yeah. she could but if the other side is that woman that does have that mindset you'll know right away yep. she has the she has the clothes yeah, on yeah, she, yeah. she has that attitude but the minute you said I'm down I'm down yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, uh, and before we move on to the next uh, super chat, um, the reason why I'm, I'm um, number one, I'm big on family. I believe men and women are better mm -hmm. together. I believe children are better, live better quality lives when there's yes. a two parent household, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The reason yeah. why I'm very big on that because I think the foundation of every good society is the family. Yes. When uh, the when the families are together, society tends to be better. Mm -hmm. yeah. When mm -hmm. there's a breakdown of family, breakdown of the nuclear family, kids having problems, that's the society is going to tend to be a lot worse. Mm -hmm. So the the last part I want to share is 
if you look at the statistics, I know I'm a data nerd, right? <laughs> when you look at the statistics, ever since the sexual revolution, I think in the 60s, 70s, 80s, when birth control was induced, uh, introduced for women to go out and have more sex. Mm -hmm. If you look at the, the rise in statistics when it comes to divorces, mm -hmm. when it comes to children out of wedlock, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the rise of single parent uh, parenthood, uh, single parent households, mm -hmm. it all started when we started to be more sexually liberated. So the more sexually liberated we are as a society, yeah. the more we have a breakdown of family. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. why for me is that's why my guess yeah. that, that, that's yeah. why my guess is sexual yeah. liberation because the, the thing is when the families are strong. Life seems to be better for the for the relationship, mm -hmm. for the partners, yeah. for the children, and for everybody in general. When the families tend to break down, that's why we see all these issues that we have with our kids. And that's I do true. believe it just starts it starts at home. Everything, like you said, it does saying, right? definitely a hundred percent. I home. agree. Yeah. But if you look yeah. at statistically, home started to break down and start to increase the moment we started to be more promiscuous, where we didn't no longer need to get married in mm -hmm. order to have kids and have sex. And, you know, yeah. Some might, well, I some also, call it, hold on one minute. I was like, I told us this one sentence because some people might call what you're saying like a conspiracy. Like because, what is, what is that's, that's in a sense, because it's like our, like our government in a sense is trying to break down like the traditional household yeah, yeah. and they, yeah. they I agree I agree things there's yeah Practice. anyways but yeah. I was we'll also go gonna say there's home. other there was <laughs> other there's other statistical uh yeah. you know um outliers yeah. that are affecting that that breakdown of the nuclear family yeah, during yeah. the 60s and the sexual revolution as well too right. in terms of yes in terms of introducing uh, certain drugs into yeah, yeah. the demographic drugs, areas yeah. vaccines. as well too <laughs> right yeah. yes <laughs> right and and Make so them. yes <laughs> <laughs> I, th I, I think there are a, a lot of that factor. So, and, and also I feel that at that time of the sexual revolution, it was also a time where more women were going to get educations and pursuing educations as well too. So there could be a correlation between the education of a woman, her, her wanting to be a mother and, and what, what her career choices are. Yep. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then like saying, okay, well, I don't need to have a man in order to be, to be financially stable. Right. right. So that I can right. can be a bit more liberated in my partner choices, yeah. mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and I think that that kind of all goes hand in yeah, hand as well too. So yeah. and that's what and it brought about. Plenty, there are plenty of men that feel like, oh, yeah. I'm a mm -hmm. I'm a protective provider. Mm -hmm. Like I don't I don't need a woman that has all these degrees or that has this this mm -hmm. great job in this way. He just wants her to be a certain way, mm -hmm. how he wants her to be. And if she's presenting something that he's not used to or what he thinks a woman should be, then he he flees. Yeah. And then that again, that, that changes the trajectory of how a household should be. Because okay. he doesn't want to be there. That's true. With yeah. that woman. Right. Yeah. I want to say one thing about the birth control is that um I like, yes, like the, the data, like let's say that's like just simply looking at that, right? Yeah. But um, do I think that a healthy household is important? I do. Like that's yeah. that's human nature, you know yeah. what I mean? And um, but introducing birth control and then seeing that families are breaking down, like is families breaking down negative? Yes. But allowing women to also be sexually expressive, the one that the way that men always have is to me um it's it's beautiful to allow women to be able to have sex the way men have sex you know what i mean men men can use condoms or they can do whatever but women suddenly have birth control and we're more promiscuous but i feel like talking about birth control in a negative way is saying that it, women were finally be able to fucking live the way that men did you know what i mean like finally like men can go out and they're just like <laughs> spreading their seed everywhere right yeah. but then women finally can also go out and have sex and enjoy themselves without having to get pregnant all the time yeah. i think that when you talk about birth anyone talking about birth control being negative i can understand the facts breaking households is is yeah. not good like yeah. humanly i understand yeah. but it also shows that women were able to not just be these pets that you stay at home you get pregnant you have my baby you know what I mean? Giving a woman birth control is or the woman being allowed to take birth control is I can I don't have to be this pet. You know what I mean? It's to me, yeah. it's just talking about birth control being negative yeah. is such a double standard mm -hmm. when men have been able to go around and have sex all the time. But finally, women can go around and have sex and it's it's bad. You know what I mean? But I hear what you're saying about breaking families and it happened all of a sudden when birth control came out. But it's like, to me, I'm just like, I think it's beautiful that you don't have to be a fucking household pet anymore. 
Okay. I think oh, it's men, men feel wow. like no, no, no. men feel like I think what we're seeing today is that, and that's why we see the men are like this, and you got guys like women, all oh, women are like that. Like his comment, it's like right. it's not all, it's some, right? It's not it's all, some. but it's some. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. on top of that, it's like yeah, what you said was kind of it's it's very truthful. It's like right. Men were able to kind of just spread, see, br- 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 no, and like no, women just had to, like, <laughs> I had to carefully choose who I'm going to sleep with because I could get pregnant. And yeah, so there yeah. is that positive to so, it, but I mean, it does. Yeah. Can I can yeah. I ask you guys a question? Um, Man, still cheating, can we all agree on this panel? Exactly. Yeah, the whole time. And that's why they the feel like I'm sorry, everywhere. Men want to feel needed and like they can provide, right? So I think what we're seeing today is that women are no longer giving them that full power to be like the provider and feel really needed. So they're just kind of setting up like my job really isn't doing much. Like I'm so the whole what do you bring to the table? It's like, well, these women are literally working jobs and doing XYZ. And it like goes back to what you said, it's like it's 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 kind of bad in its own way too because yeah. we have all these different inventions that have yes made I mean, that line. Mm-hmm. I just want to address what you said. So I, I maybe the, the women I think I think I think there's a I think back in the day there was a lot of women who were in relationships they didn't want to be in. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. maybe oh, yeah. maybe I can uh, kind of <laughs> I can kind of understand yeah. why they mm-hmm. feel like like pets. Mm-hmm. But I also understand there's a lot of women who are who are happy with the relationship. And they wanted to have kids with the man that they were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but also, with, the, with uh, your, your standpoint, with uh, um, traditionally in the past, there was a lot of men out there just, you know, having sex with all these women, just uh, spraying their seed with any woman yes. that moves. Yeah. Right? Can we all agree that's not a good man? That's not good. Hell behavior. no. Yeah. 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 We don't want it's that. Not, it's but, not a good man. But, but your typical family it? man back then, that was oh, yeah, most yeah. of it. They were that having like second family. Yeah. 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 yeah, a lot of them. That's what our brand is They weren't that happy. Exactly. I also think it's culturally because if you come from from if you come from a culture where where a man has multiple wives, then you are a good man if you have three wives. Yeah, that's number two or three. So again. So I, again, I, I, I want to say about a cultural where it's perspective. Monog- mon- monogamous. No, I, a lot of people were cheating no, back but, in the day. No, so yeah. And the I, perfect family I mean, was not. I agree. Perfect. There were. Mm-hmm. I agree. There was infidelity. And you, when you talk about multiple wives. Mm-hmm. That was just more the more the men who had the higher socioeconomic yeah, status right. can but, elevate their woman, yeah, exactly. right? right? By getting married, mm-hmm. by but being wife. If number you're three. talking about the average, <laughs> average family, <laughs> if you're talking about the average family, like right? That. If you're talking about the average family. Most guys weren't stepping out. No. Most guys weren't having multiple wives. So mm. there was that that uh, that privilege to have multiple wives, and the guys who had the ability to go out there and to have sleep with multiple women, it was just a small minority of men at yeah. the top. Mm-hmm. But the average Joe, right? The the average Joe, mm-hmm. he wasn't cheating and he wasn't going out there. I'm sorry, but you sex. can't say that. And the reason I say that is because there is no actual statistic that you can see for that. Now we can because that because things are so exposed. But back then, everything was hidden behind yeah, the white picket that's fence. True. So yeah. there's no way that anyone can say, "Oh, these men weren't—they weren't—they weren't cheating." When there was a lot of shit, all, every all these big businessmen that would go out, like there's but a lot of other women, right? No, I'm mean, just saying, like it, in general, like I just chose yeah, yeah. businessmen, right? But like, so to just say that. I just there there was a lot going on that well, no one that defends your definition with a lot because for me is a lot of times when women say a lot you you're saying that's the majority of men but if you if you if you, look, you said the guys who were out there sleeping with multiple women and the guys who had multiple wives that those were the, like the guys who were very, who were very attractive and those were the guys who had the status not mm-hmm. necessarily but the right. average I'm talking about the average the average the average man. The average man. The average yeah, man yeah. can Wasn't still go get that. a rub and tug down the street for twenty bucks. The average man can tell. still go get his nut off anywhere so, he wants. So, 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 but there, but there's no, no but there, but there, there's I'm, no statistic you can find on that. Is what no, I'm saying. I, I know, but the thing hidden. is, but you're but you're also saying, but the man can do that. But you but you're saying it. Every guy was doing that. I'm not saying every guy. But that's why you're presenting. Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm saying because you said that the, uh, most people, blah, 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 but you, but you can't say that they weren't doing that because it, yeah. it was happening. It was happening. I'm not. I'm I not, can't say no, how I'm, much it was. But that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you that it wasn't happening. I agree it was happening, but the thing is, you're you're uh, <laughs> you're conflating that it was the majority. I think maybe not majority, but I think a lot. But, well, I really yeah, think I a lot more than most people would even think. Yeah, I think it because it happens a lot. No, it still happens. Yeah, but, but a lot doesn't mean the majority. That's what I'm saying is 
when women say a lot, you, you tend to uh, put all men on, under the umbrella. So you got to say some. So yeah. 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 Okay. The word choice is very some. important. Yeah. Some. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, it, it could have been the majority or it could have been some, but you, but you don't know. What I'm saying is that you don't know. You can't say that because everything was so hidden back then. No, it's no. more than it is now. No, I, no, 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 I do. No, there, there is, uh, like, uh, like I told you guys, but I'm, a, I'm a psychology nerd. Statistics. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole side. There's a whole side to that. But <laughs> the men who have the who have the ability to sleep with multiple women, they tend to be the men who are the most attractive to women. Yeah, or, 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 or the most handsome, or they have the most charisma, society, right? Yeah, so, yeah. So, Which I, and I can't really hear. I can't really hear what you're saying. For so that, the yeah. thing is, that's not the average man. No, yeah. no, the average man. <laughs> the guys are not doing that. That's what. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well then, I'll I'll change my word to some, but I'm just okay, saying yeah, that. Yeah. But but some, but a lot of some. <laughs> Wait, a lot of some. <laughs> Maybe okay, a, a lot handful. of some. A handful. More a handful. than a handful. Two but, handfuls. But to get back to my, but to but to get back to um. <laughs> you. I'm sorry. These people was cheating <laughs> behind that white picket fence. No, that's, <laughs> no, that's the, the reason. The, the, no, the reason why I'm I'm. I'm uh, I want you to be very selective when your word is because uh, uh, people are watching because yeah. Oftentimes when I hear women say all men cheat. In the younger generation of girls would say have that perception. Yeah, yeah. You don't want yeah. That's, the thing is, that's why I'm very selective. My words mm -hmm. look. I understand men and women cheat. Yeah. But yeah. for all the men and women out there trying to find good men and good women, mm -hmm. good relationships, there are some men that cheat, but not all of them. Not all yeah. of them. Yeah. That's yeah. true. I, I completely that's true. agree with yeah, that yeah. one thousand yeah, yeah. percent. There are incredible men. I'm saying back then in the times with birth control and yours and all these. You know what I mean? Back when it was yeah. just everything was this fake fucking life saying that everything is perfect. I think that it's not just the attractive people that were American cheating and fucking American. around and spreading seed. I think it's also the <laughs> average Joe was getting his nut off down the street with a no, $20 yeah. rubber No, cut. I totally agree. So, so that's, okay, good. So then no, we're on the same page. No, no, no. What, what I'm saying is it's not the majority. It's so, some. Okay, some. Yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. of yeah. some. So, yeah. I mean, psychology yeah. will say that. Yeah. I mean, I did yeah, read but, but I, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. I said 99% okay. yeah, yeah. of men, Ooh. like, yeah. commit infidelity in a relationship. But I do also yeah, want to say go. that there are I like that is true. women women that say now that all the good men are gone are full of fucking shit and they're just like I don't know where they're looking. There are incredible men yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible yeah. men. Exactly. Yeah. And you are just you're, you're accepting the bullshit that's coming to you. Yeah. But there are so many incredible fucking men out there that are just that are absolutely awesome. Yeah, okay. So I don't I don't at all want to put the good men down because there's a lot of good men yeah, if go, i can't find go. the good go. men there are so many good men out there yeah i am not a man hater i i love men i love women <laughs> i you know what i mean like it's yeah no no there's a lot of good fucking need, men like, out a there yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 also uh, she's gonna have a little of her real that's why i just say, like, <laughs> I, I, I agree like i, I agree that's the cheating involved it's always there's always been since the beginning of time yeah, yeah. cheating uh, men out there sleeping with multiple women, not caring about the consequences. Okay. I'm just saying is that's a, a percentage, a small percentage of, of mm -hmm. men and women. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most people who are average just trying to find a partner, just want to have kids. Yeah. They're not doing yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, also just the one thing I want to add on to that with the uh, the birth control thing. So we understand that men who are sleeping around and not caring about the consequences of how they have sex with women, we understand both on this panel, those are not good men, right? Right. You wouldn't oh, consider yeah. good men. Okay. No, no, no. So, high value men. How much it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. High value men. You wouldn't, you wouldn't consider yeah. those guys who are just mm -hmm. sleeping around, not caring for their women, mm -hmm. not, not taking responsibility of who they have sex with. That's not good. Uh, that's not good men. No. So, the problem with the, uh, what the issue I have with women saying, well, men were doing it. I'm going to do it. But it, well, we all know that's a bad behavior. Why would you do the same, same so bad it's behavior? Not, that not in that sense. It's just that it's it's a, that it's allowed. It's just now like it's now I have the right option. and I have I'm no, able to. No, you know? I, get, no I get that. It, you have the right. But I'm saying is, why would you do the exact same behavior that you despise in men and do it for yourself and go out to do the exact same thing? It doesn't for me. That doesn't. Well, make that sense. don't make sense. I completely agree yeah. with you. But I'm just saying, <laughs> it's, it's to have birth control and not have to be this pet at home, and and you can actually like go around and say, you know, like I I will 
safely have sex, but now I'm going to be able to take a pill where I don't, you know what I mean? If something yeah, yeah. happens, like I have the right oh, to yeah. not get yeah. pregnant and have a baby with this person. Yeah. I can also have fun with someone, yeah. but that does not mean like if you're sloozy, you're sloozy. Yeah. 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 You can. Yeah, exactly. But it's just nice <laughs> just to, to have the right to be able <laughs> to have sex with one of one person or, yeah. or two people or, or it doesn't even matter. Like, you know, just the, the right <laughs> to have sex without needing to procreate because you're able to take this beautiful pill with, you know what I mean? But, like, here's, but here's my pushback to you. You can have sex because there's women and men will say this. I want to have sex because I don't want, I'm just having sex, without, I, but I don't want to have kids. But the very action of sex is for procreation. Is, con the consequence is a kid. Yeah, eventually. it's for procreation. So the thing is, if you have sex multiple times just to have fun, uh -huh. eventually you're gonna get pregnant. You might get pregnant. Yeah. And what do you what yes. do you do then? Right. What do yeah. you do then? Listen, if, so if you're if right? you're if you are smart about that sex, part, yeah. you can yeah, you same can same. you can be smart about sex and not have and not get pregnant. But there are sometimes there are accidents, but that you are it's when accident, you are having accident, it's <laughs> yeah. okay. you know it's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying if you if you accident happens, if you let and having unprotected sex or sex okay. is planning it's to have sex. Yeah. Exactly. What you I'm know saying. the risk of what could yeah. happen. Okay. Yes, of course. But no, I'm not talking about unprotected oh, okay. sex. I'm talking about protected sex. No, you and you're you talking about like even protected sex. Like, like every time accident. you have sex, you have no, to go into knowing like I'm you could get pregnant. It's not a possibility. You actively chose to like No, what I'm saying is, I'm saying an accident that can happen like when you're not trying to get pregnant, when you're having sex, you're using condoms, and you're on birth control, and then you have sex, and then something happens and somehow you get pregnant when you did all those things but that's a risk oh, that's yeah. a risk yeah. and i completely agree yes, with that yes. i completely agree with that but so yeah i'm just but, i'm but, saying yeah. but if something happens that you didn't want it to happen it's called a fucking well, accident because well, now we're going into like abortion and yeah, like yeah. Plan B, and like, i'm not saying that word because i don't even want to get is. on top of it yeah, yeah. i don't i don't want to talk about that either yeah. accident well i'm not talking about getting rid of any that's not i'm not going that way i'm just saying that if you your hat you're it birth control is nice because it gave the women the right to to have sex and enjoy sex without being like I'm going to get I'm having sex to get pregnant. You know what I mean? Yeah. It gave you the the right to be able to to have sex without the sole purpose of yeah, but, procreating. Yeah, you no, know, I, I totally agree. But uh, what I'm saying is, but birth control is not a uh, hundred percent. No, right? I, and I agree. Right. And I agree, which so is why my, you still should use condoms. Also, and neither are dirty. condoms. Yes, yeah. and I agree. Yeah. And, that, and that, and that again, is, more than anything. yes, and that's part. Oh, that's part of the risk of sex. having sex, though. That's what it is. But, but, I think but, I get what you mean. I think I think it's more about just having the option. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about having the option. I'm talking about having the option. There was no option for. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what yeah. if, if you choose to, if you choose to have unprotected sex and birth control, even though there's still a risk, my issue is what is the solution for those women who do that and end up and end up being with men who don't want to be with them. So, yeah. so that, that's, that's a whole other that? topic. Are, I'm, I'm not going to talk about separate. abortion on this podcast, but, um, well, no, but what I'm what I'm saying is that's why I'm, that's why I'm anti uh, sexual liberation when it comes to having promiscuity. Mm -hmm. I believe in just finding a good man that wants to be with you, that wants to be a parent, that wants to take mm -hmm. care of your children. Mm -hmm. and, that. and, that's, and, that's, and that's beautiful yes. too. But if but you want to have sex to, to have fun and to to live and to experience, yeah. and if that's not where you are at the yeah. moment, yeah. I know, but, 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 I, but you shouldn't yeah. have. But for the record, you should not have unprotected sex ever unless you are with one person, because you should not trust. You should not trust people. You should be very, very careful yeah. because there, there's a lot more. A than, lot yeah, there's on. a lot going yeah. on. So you be on birth control and have protected sex. So you can still be smart and like, you know, enjoy to, to have multiple partners is what I'm saying. Mm, well, okay. Well, hey, 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 hey. The, the <laughs> yeah. 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 Should you is a different thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. Yeah. Can, but I'm just saying you can. You can write that. Yeah. Down. That's, yeah. A, that's no, a good topic. All I'm saying is if you can if you can provide me a solution for all the women who decided to be promiscuous and they end up being a single mom and they end up having to raise their kids alone and the man abandoned them. What my my question to people who believe in that promiscuity, what is their solution to that? And in their mind it's like, well. Well, I just wanted to have fun, but the thing is, what's your solution if, if the consequence happens? You don't have no solution. That's a consequence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, you yeah. Have, so you have to understand that there's a risk. Yeah. Yes. But the thing is, what's better for society in general? What's better for our future girls? What's better for our daughters? Yeah. That's where I'm coming from. So what's better long term for society? It's better not to be promiscuous and to engage in sexual liberation, mm -hmm. teach our women to vet. 
Teach our women to play a date with purpose and attract good men who want to be committed to you and want to do something long term. That will solve all the issues that we face today. But the thing is, if you believe in promiscuity, offer me a solution to take care of those women because every single day there's a girl right now that's being abandoned and has to raise a child on her own because yeah, she participated. Mm -hmm. I want to say then, also, but then teach but your the sons the, the same thing that you're bad. telling yes. your and daughter and as well. Right. I, I have two sons, so yes. Yeah. 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 I disagree with you. Okay. Okay. That's not that. Right. That's, the, the can, okay, teach your sons the same things that we're telling no. our daughters. Right. Yes. Yes. So she has two sons. I have two sons and daughters. We're hoping that our messages at our homes are matching up, right? Exactly. So that her sons aren't out there just, you know, Wild and yeah, yeah. Right. No. Right. 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 right, right. So you know, no way. Positions because of people my doing daughters that how to everything. how to respect their bodies and mm -hmm. be with their partners, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm mm -hmm. hoping that Kari's going to say yes. at, at her house, yes. right? Yeah. So sixteen so year old. At home. I have a sixteen so, year old. So I, I think that that's kind of like the next level, right? Mm -hmm. In in our relationships, right? And is. How are we, I, mean, we, 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 I talked about it a little bit earlier, generations, right? Yeah, yeah. So how are we helping to affect the next generation? So if I know that my, one of my values is from my daughters, hey, if you're going to be on birth control, but I don't want you to be out there, you know, sleeping around, but I want to do this because I know society, but this is not your free for all to be a hoochie in the street. Right. Yes. And then she's right. saying to her son, hey, right. every time you sleep with the girl, make mm -hmm. sure that, that you're protected. Mm -hmm. Here's Ooh, your condom. thank God he ain't doing Here's that right now. Thing, right? <laughs> so, so, but that way we're having the same conversation. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go put my 16 year old on birth control as, 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 a, as a preemptive method because to me that's telling her green that, that, that it's that, okay that's, flag, that's right, right. Mm -hmm. that's a green flag for her so i'm not going so so, right. I, so as a mother that's my choice right yeah. mm -hmm. and i'm also hoping that hoping that, that, that she's also not sexually active but yeah. again that's my yeah. you know but i'm hoping that that the people that that she is with when she is older are getting these good messages yes. from their households as well too absolutely so that is, it's a two-way street that's right, right. that's the right the topic was elevating each other so that way my daughter is with someone who's elevated exactly. and her son mm -hmm. or with someone who's elevated mm -hmm. as well. just, absolutely just love that. absolutely clear yeah i'm against men being promiscuous yeah mm -hmm. okay so sometimes i see in this space a lot of guys like oh they're cool with men being promiscuous but they're against women being promiscuous double I'm not standards that. i believe yes. in both i don't think it's yes. good for both men and women so yeah. Like, I'm gonna I'm teach the exact same mm -hmm. thing uh -huh. to my sons. I, I yes, agree. If yes. you're going Love to that. be with a woman, yes. you take responsibility with her. Love them. it. Yeah. Love so it. The thing is, for me, is yeah, I, I, I'm I'm against both. Okay. Both yeah. men and women. So okay. I just want to make sure that's clear. Yes. 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 Also, Love that. Yeah. 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 That my mother was a sex ed teacher, so oh. I feel like the more education that you give people at an earlier age, you're, yeah. you're allowing them to make informed decisions. That's all I'm going to say yeah. about that. Because we can talk about that on because another side. Right? Because <laughs> I was doing that. Because 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 I was doing <laughs> because oh, wow. the, 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 uh, <laughs> because the, the breakdown of the family it's not a it's not a female problem it's not a male problem it's a both um, yep yep yeah 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 all right so uh mm -hmm. we got a lot of super chats to respond to so uh let's keep it oh, let's try to respond this uh to them uh breakdown uh, before we conclude all right uh dusty jack a sip and fence uh, who gets no cheeks? Ten dollars super chat. Uh, thank you so much for all you guys super chatting right now. Um, I want women to know I have no intention of being emotionally available or to give any of them good D. <laughs> I've had too many female <laughs> friends. Wink, wink. <gasps> letting women know you have uh, empathy backfires. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, woman versus psychology. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, what, sir? What? what? I'm like, no, I'm like, no, 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 I see you, right? You're right. Like, good. wait, hold on. Wait, Desi, I have a question. Are you, are you out there? Are you out there giving bad D to people on purpose? Right. On purpose? Oh, see, you ain't never gonna be out there. What, sir? 
like, what's happening here? Right? This, this is a lot to unpack. Yeah. It is, right? Dusty. Dusty, I'm going to need those girls' names. Because yeah. I don't know. Like, we want to go into it being no, the best version of ourselves, Dusty. <laughs> so we hope that D is going to be the best. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty, you better get on your knees and pray, man. Right. Dusty, just a good D, okay? Right? All right, so we'll keep it moving. Uh, right. Shout out to you, Phil. Thank hard you so much for the chat. I learned hard way. Got, Got uh, Virtuous Woman PRV31. All right. Shout yes, out to you. yes, and part of that being a PRV thirty one woman is being an asset to your man. So what does that mean? What, what is that? PRV um, that Proverbs, Proverbs thirty one oh. woman. Yes, a woman of virtue, Shout a woman of you, substance, man. a All woman right. of also asset and business as well too. And I think that that's the part that a lot of men forget yeah. is not just being your eye candy, but it's also being your business partner, your mm -hmm. helpmate, man. Yes, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. which means that we have opinions. Help each other. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dusty Jack, A7 Fenso, getting those cheeks, said, I read the chats. I'm not in the chats. I say what I say, and I participate in the live shows when I can. I don't hold grudges, and I'm open to different opinions. To the women on the panel, raw or no? No, no, no. You have to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Don't be wrap safe. It up. Like for any, it. Unless you're with the one partner, and even when you trust your partner, you like... Shoot, people be lying too. They people do. Are, they yeah, do. you can. You Tell can. Them. Like, you, you have, have to paper, be safe. Man. Get the you have now. to be safe. Yeah. You have to be safe. Marriage, yes. Yeah. Dating, no. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. Yeah. Yep. You yeah. have to be mm -hmm. safe. Raw, no. Hell no. No, no. <laughs> raw, no. Hell no. I'll pass. Um, well, I'm married. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so raw. Okay. Yeah. 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 That'd be so sad. I know, right? Keep it to Connor. <laughs> There's a time, a place, and a manner for everything. Right? <laughs> all right, the manic genius. Hey, shout out to you, manic. Uh, he's speaking to perception of men. Uh, that's all. Okay. All right, thank you, uh, manic. Shout out to you, uh, Phil. Uh, five dollars super chat. Shout out to you. I respectfully, my love. Most of all, my family are a lot bigger than you. No hate. I don't even let my son, twelve, uh, take his shirt off to play basketball. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the real uh, podcast. Uh, Phil, don't call her love. She's not yours. Hashtag <laughs> ego. Starting a fight. Dang. Okay. Okay. Because it right. could almost be like right condescending. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, Phil Jr. said, uh, Thank you, Will. I cannot have said it better. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Phil. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, the Lao, David. Oh, wait, wait, what's up, David? That's my boy. Goes way hey, back. I'm giving him a shout out. Hey, hey, David. Hey, hey. Hey. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> hey. He said, Not that one cent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, David say, Shout out to you, man. We played football back in uh, City College. So. Okay. Oh, oh the City nice. College. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what's up, Doko? I don't have a question for the ladies. Just wanted to say you came a long way, bro, since our city days. Oh. Hey, <laughs> you just said that. Hey, that's yeah, I definitely came a long way. <laughs> uh, I, uh, when I was in, well, I was more introverted in uh, in city when I was back in. Okay, uh, yeah. So now to see me like talking, like how the hell? Did oh you yeah. Right. See, people right. that do podcasts oftentimes are like yeah. really introverted, what? and I always I barely, I barely talked when I was in in city college. Oh, that's Mo motivation. A lot of it came because I came to this country, so I wasn't really confident mm -hmm. in speaking mm -hmm. English, the language, but uh, okay. I don't know. Hey, hey. that's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, shout out to you, Dave, man. Good to see you, man. If you're ever in the Bay, Dave, definitely uh, hit me up, man, so we can uh, link and uh, maybe have you come on the pod with the ladies. Yes, uh, come on, David. Uh, Dusty A. Simp and Fenso, again, body count matters. No woman who values or respects herself health or her reputation would willingly and openly sleep with a bunch of strangers unless something has gone terribly wrong with her. Oh God, don't and sleep with strangers. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree with yeah, that. I agree, I agree with that. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Strangers, though, is an interesting term. Yeah. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Like a stranger, stranger. Somebody you met at a club and then like the one night stands. I mean, you could be dating yeah. someone yeah. for that six months and they could still be a stranger because you don't know who they That's are. That's true. Because yeah. they're hiding things from yeah. you. Yeah. To me, it said yeah. it's a stranger yeah. in my house. It could be somebody you would for a minute. Yeah. But yeah, body count is important because yeah. again we don't discount it. Yeah. 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 all right uh all right thank you so much uh <laughs> dusty fencel again uh with the, super yeah, the woman's say. orgasm isn't a top priority when hooking up those are benefits that should be only be reserved for the woman you're committed to 
and should not be given freely to a woman who hasn't earned it. <laughs> oh, oh that's dang. Dang. Okay, you know, it's not good. It's not good. Wow. It's not good. care about uh, yeah. well don't so orgasming is a two-way but you want to come right yeah, yeah. 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 hello <laughs> Like, you thought she was coming? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I'm sorry. You sound dumb. Extra hurt. Like, oh yeah, my God. Let, me, let me try to oh defend. Uh, I, I get that. Thing. But no, I mean, I get what he's I saying. What it's what like, saying. not to like any random woman, but like, it's, it's the ending that <laughs> hasn't earned it. It's that part that sits. Like, oh, earn yeah. what? Yeah. We're having sex. Yeah. Like, yeah. did you yeah. earn your orgasm? Like, yeah. that's exactly. weird to me. No, that's no, no. Again, yeah. and that's, that's the person who's only about themselves. Yeah. And, and I'm not going to say why. Yeah. You don't want to do it. Jason said when you argue with fools, you don't know who's who. Yeah, that's not going to be it. You're not even going to be here. Yeah, yeah. Can I come to a quick more balance? It's kind of like a. Yeah, I think I say that. Can I ask you guys a question? Yes. This is also backed by data and science, but. Do you believe that the sex gets better when in a long-term relationship with somebody you really love and respect compared to having a one-night stand with somebody that you just don't know, you don't have a relationship with? Hell yeah. yes. Oh, Hell yeah. yes. A yeah. yeah. hundred yeah. times yeah. over, yes. Yeah. If you say no, yes. then you're in the wrong Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, sex is also a big part is the sexual exchange. It's an energy exchange. It's yeah. an energy yeah. exchange. Like, that's right. Someone in, you're... But also the intimacy. Yes. 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 All of it. And that's yeah. so yeah. important. That is important. That's an intimacy you're like, a little different. Right? Yes, top tier. Hand, That's top tier. Just having sex and doing it. Don't intimate. make it so intimate. I, can, yeah, I, have to, exactly. I understand the comment and what he's saying. It's just the whole... <laughs> It's weird. No, what I'm saying like, is, yeah. like, men who are promiscuous, like they're just trying to get theirs. They don't care. Yeah, about yours. they don't care yeah. about yeah. yours. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's no saying. intimacy. Yeah. There's that's no nothing. Thing. That's part I get. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, no, of course. I've been with plenty of guys in my past where it's just like, oh, what, you had sex. It's just like I didn't get anything out of yeah, that. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So, yeah. That means he's. Fun. That's the difference. I call that you just get. You just got fucked. That's it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's exactly. it. It is what it is. That's a different topic too. It's a different topic. You just got fucked. <laughs> when you're committed to somebody in a long term relationship, you do care about how they feel about oh, you. Yeah, yeah. 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 When you're just hooking up, you don't care. I'm going to get mine, I'm out. That, yeah. Yep. yeah. That's yeah. called getting fucked. All right. So. <laughs> it is. Yeah. That's true. Uh, Dusty with the super chat. Big, uh, big super chat. Shout out. Hey, Dusty. Thanks, All right. girl. Uh, big super chat. I agree. Uh, Fit Doll super chat said uh, Bet your girl, she must have a firm grip on reality. She can't be delusional. She must know and be able to explain and assert her personal boundaries and her personal standards and her core principles and be open to being held accountable mm -hmm. to them. That's the yeah. best thing okay. Dusty. Yeah. Okay, oh, Dusty. Yes, yes. Come, yeah. yeah. Just come yeah. through one time, yes. Dusty. Yes. 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 But it goes both ways, Dusty. It goes both ways. Yep. Bet your man. Bet right? your man. Make sure that he is not delusional. Yep. Make sure that he also can be competent as well, mm -hmm. too. And make sure that he's making sure that you're having an orgasm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that part. That part. Thanks. That's important. Orgasm. Yeah. Orgasm. Very, very right. important. So All right. <laughs> if, he's, if he's a gentleman, you're going to go for it. Shout out to you, Dustin. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Phil with what? the super chats. Uh, as natural and spiritual okay. teacher, do what makes you feel happy. Respectfully, can you all explain the difference between a child and adult with this mentality? Well, it has nothing to do with children. But if you're talking about immaturity, what? immaturity is immaturity. What? No, no. The saying is, uh, you know, uh, this is, um, this is a. Uh, if you go online, there's a lot of there's a this is a big uh, so uh, social media push as uh, do what makes you happy, mm -hmm. right? You hear that all mm -hmm. the time, content yes, creators, all the time, right? But uh, but the uh, the thing is for me is what he's saying is a lot of times when you when you do what makes you happy, you don't really think about the consequences yeah. how it affects yeah. other people. Yeah. All you care about is what you what mm -hmm. happens to mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the thing is uh, the difference between uh, should you uh, a child. Uh, What's the difference between telling a child do what makes you happy compared to an adult to tell them do what makes you happy? Adults have to be more intentional about what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it makes consequences. That's a, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's Took the yeah, words yeah. out of my mouth. Yeah. There's consequences to your actions. Yeah. Like kids is little to no consequence. Mm -hmm. You're still a child. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have to the, they're figuring out what they're yeah. happy. And also relationships as you become an adult, like play yeah. into that as well, right? You still have to put yourself 
first to an extent, like, right, even mm -hmm. though I'm married now, it's like most times I find myself waking up turning to like his needs and mm -hmm. so I'm burnt out and most mm -hmm. I haven't been doing for myself. Like mm -hmm. I, won't, I won't shower for like two days or whatever. Yep. And it's That's just, important. So yeah, you still have, have time for yourself. Like, yeah, you could lose yourself. yourself in a marriage too. So mm -hmm. you always got to find some time for yourself. I've been there. Mm -hmm. Well, the way mm -hmm. the things the way I see it is the thing is for for a, uh, for a child, you still need the guidance uh, of your parents, right? Because yes, a, uh, a yes. kid might say, "I want to be happy. I just want to eat sweets all day." No, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. Your parents step in like you can't have sweets all day. It's gonna be bad for you. Mm -hmm. right? So you she need the guidance of your parents <laughs> to tell your kid uh, what makes you happy. But the thing is, when you're an adult. Uh, there's no more guidance no more. So that's whatever, right. So whatever that's consequences right. of the decision you make, you're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to live with those consequences. So, yeah. Yep. Your yeah. parents won't be yep. there to save you. Exactly. So as a kid, yeah. if you mess up, your parents can come and save you. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that's why the the mentality to do what makes you happy mm -hmm. as an yeah. adult it's more dangerous comparing it to to a child because your parents yeah. can save you. As Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I that's agree. Awesome. Yep. Uh, do what makes you happy. as you <laughs> go out there and to have unprotected sex. Okay. Uh, the, the, the consequences. Non, yeah, it's a baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> but is it that <laughs> as we get older, the things that make us happy become less innocent? So yeah, as yeah. a child, do what makes you happy, right? You want to go uh, yeah, eat sweets, sweets all day? Yeah, that's sweets. kind of an innocent right. thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to go to Robin 7-Eleven to get the sweets, right? Because yeah, yeah, that's right. like, you know, yeah, so, yeah. so again, it's, it's it's like more of an innocent thing as yeah. a child to do what makes you happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, hey, great question, uh, Phil. Shout out to you, man. Dropping the yeah, right. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. All right. What is happening? I'm just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, Dusty Jack. Uh, Dang. Uh, with the twenty dollars super chat, so blowing said, us uh, up, Dusty, huh? When women talk about being equal to men, it's weird when they always compare themselves to either the wealthy men or the sexually deviant men. They want to protect and the worst of men's sexual behaviors. Most women catch STDs. <laughs> What? Damn, what? No, no, that's why uh, I think it was responding to, responding to when I said this. If we all despise the men being promiscuous, mm -hmm. why do you uh, uh, why do you uh, replicate that same behavior as women? Mm -hmm. so that, that's, that's why it's responding to. Yeah, like, so okay. that yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Promiscuous is promiscuous. You know what I mean, like sleazy is sleazy. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and yeah, when so it, I, I agree with sleazy is sleazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when yeah. it comes to STDs, it's like men are oftentimes the ones who aren't getting tested, especially when uh -huh. they're single and fucking around. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's that's simple, a problem. Right? Uh -huh. You see that oftentimes, like girls will have papers and guys would be like, yeah. "Oh, I haven't felt right. anything." I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. And my single days from mm -hmm. men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just that last part, Phil, it's like, <sighs> yeah. like men and women both have STDs. Yeah. Um, but who has more over the other? We don't know. A lot of times, men will be carriers and show no symptoms, and mm -hmm. women. Yeah. 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 And it's like, yep. oh, by the way. I got yeah, chlamydia yeah. or yeah, gonorrhea, yeah. and the guy's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and probably sort of gets. Oh, yeah. I know somebody that happened. So that's crazy. You know, that's, that's a different conversation, though. Yes, too. So a different like, conversation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think that's his response. Like we all know, it's bad. Uh, bad. Uh, it's not good for men to do that. Then, mm -hmm. then don't try to do that same thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ask their yeah. cheater. It, but if Derek someone, and if someone, <laughs> if someone can't <laughs> show you their papers, <laughs> and then they're also not willing to go get tested to have sex with you, then you're not worthy of being in me. That's also what well, it is. You know what I mean? Like that. Like why? Like but the, but you have you have to. If you're if you are going to have sex, you should just be very smart. Yeah, yeah. I can understand heat of the moment and things like that, but just please, 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 people need to be smart. But, no, the thing is, <laughs> so I know you said, be like, whoa, stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like, what? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, if you want it, we can just come back I know, once I know, everything's on. I know, you said, <laughs> I know you said papers, but for me, it's like, can't they fake those papers? They can. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's true. Dang, that's I know crazy. You can check that shit on like a dad. Nah, you can right? fake. Like I mean, who's going to check no? and double you check if it's a fraud? You can You can fake the ass. Yeah. You can fake the ass. You can fake the ass. Yep. You got that. I got the KP.org app. Can't fake that. You can't fake that. You cannot fake that. And if you're an adult, it has the dates and it has health care. You have to have paperwork that. Baby, stop having sex. You I mean, gotta no. fake it. Yeah. I'm saying right? is, yeah. when you're when you're when you're in the moment of about to have sex, right? Who who here is gonna take the time? Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Well, no, that but that's, 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 that's what you got. That's the choice. choice. I was like, yeah, no, that's the choice. Huh? You do yeah, that before y'all get yeah. to that point yeah. when y'all already know the sexual tension is building. Then you do it. Then not. 
yeah. when y'all about to be in the act, you do that before. Yeah, you, I mean, you see the paper. Oh, it's good to me. Oh, good to go. Some guys would be like, "Oh, you look clean. No, it's you look clean. It looks squeaky. It looks squeaky clean." We're already in here. Like magical here. I know, right? <laughs> all right so, oh man! All right, thank you so much, uh, Dusty. Uh, Dusty with another super chat, uh, Fencil. Uh, women can only get pregnant six days out of the month. Oh. They know their Next. bodies no, and wait, when they are ovulating. A, this is a good one, actually. It's women are way. fully in control of their pregnancy. <laughs> no, so, so, oh, so Lordy. I know no, that's, like, I'm with you. I'm why, just why like, why is this <laughs> really I'm, like, like, I'm not answering this. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not entertaining that. Okay, so, 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 Dusty, I am, like, like I said before, my mother is a sex ed educator, and some women can feel themselves ovulating but that's not everyone right mm -hmm. and so yes you can only get pregnant for six days out of the year but sperm live inside you for 10 days so you maximize that there you go ladies that's a little fun fact for you that my mom told me when i was 16 years old talk about birth control methods right there 10 days okay yep. so yes not all women can feel themselves ovulating not all women are out here trying trying to trap men i think western society has have disconnected our bodies from our emotional selves you know so we don't even realize when we're ovulating mm -hmm. we don't realize when we're hormonal until we get our menstruation right mm -hmm. and then we're like mm -hmm. oh that's why i was acting so uh -huh. here. you <laughs> know um, <laughs> but i think that, that that's also a western society thing and that that women when we're taught to be more in tune with their bodies, in tune with their rhythms, in tune with their own menstruational cycles, then we would have less, less accidental pregnancies. Um, and again, we it lives inside us for, for 10 days. So Dusty, don't go giving your week D to people ejaculating inside of them. Thanks. All right. Okay. Uh, that part. Uh, okay. I didn't even need to bring that up. Man. Mic drop. Not even his neck. He be dropping some good bars. <laughs> I cannot with you, Destiny. I mean, some people know, some people don't. I said, I know. I know. I know. I Women are fully in control of pregnancy. I feel like that is so not true. Yes, men are, not true. Technically, men no are fully in control of pregnancy by not ejaculating. Uh -huh. That cool. part. Then that that part. part. Yeah. Hmm. And then don't forget the pre -cast. And that's a that's whole that's other story as well. <laughs> That's a whole nother fucking topic. All right, so, uh, Dusty Jeez. with another super chat. Oh, oh Lord. God. Said that the yeah. apex fallacy is women projecting that the behaviors of the most sexually or physically attractive men behaviors is all men behavior not true. That's what yeah, that I brought up that. I was late. Argument okay. too. Yeah. Said, yeah. Okay. Not argument, discussion. The discussion. It wasn't an argument. We didn't, we didn't fight. No, we didn't fight. <laughs> discussion. We discussion. I was in here throwing balls. Yeah. What you talking about? Man? No, we didn't. We didn't. It was not a fight. It was, it was, it was, it was a discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a discussion. Yeah, it was a discussion. Yeah, I think the, a lot of times when uh, like women would have sex with a very attractive guy, and then uh, that guy would end up uh, treating her wrong or cheating on her. Mm -hmm. She thinks that every guy is like that guy, like that the yeah. very attractive guy. So the average mm -hmm. guy, the average Joe, you know, five foot six, uh, average looking, cashier at Walmart, you know, no. the average guy. He sure. sounds Why great. Him that? She <laughs> also sounds great. Short guys are great too. Walmart. You guys are yeah. cashier at Walmart. Short. No, no. Like, five six is cool. Cashier at Walmart. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. the Walmart part. I was like, that's where we do better. Like, yeah. Right. Do, do yeah. better. He that's said average. Right? He said average. Right. Is that Drive Uber on the side? I don't know. I've never been to someone that worked at Walmart. <laughs> 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 or Target, for that matter. Yeah, I'm sorry. No offense to any Walmart workers. I just don't work at Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, regular career. Yeah. I really go to Walmart. He was a produce guy. Me either. I'm going to go to Target. Something is so ratchet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We uh, we but here. I, we miss the twenty four hour Walmart. Yeah, yeah. We okay. here. Mm. The thing is, um, most women have a type that they that they uh, they they find very attractive. Mm -hmm. The thing is, but you live in your own perception, so in your lens. So the only men that you see is the men who fit your type. But you don't you don't tend to see the rest of the men who don't fit that type, mm -hmm. and the the rest of the men is the average guy. 
that's what he's talking about. So. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay, okay. So you all have a type. I know you all have a type of the one, the, the guy that you like and you're sexually attracted to, but most guys don't fit that type, and that's the average guy that he's talking mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So if your so if your type is <laughs> if your type is six foot melanin, ambitious, successful, and the thing is you're only gonna see men who fit those traits, mm-hmm. but most guys who don't have none of those traits. That's the average guy we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. But, t- but the thing is, if most of the guys that you, if you're having sex with guys that is your type and they cheat on you, a lot of times the women will say that represents all. Oh, yeah. 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 Put, yes. put them in, well, put them in that box. Well, pattern. And yeah, then yeah. That, yeah. that's the she problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's dating that pattern. And the average guy is like, I didn't cheat. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Right. That's yeah. not me. I'm, I'm, I'm a good guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Phil Jr. Uh, said with the uh, two law super chat, Personally, I wish I was a virgin when got married. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay. Sorry, you were. He needs a story time. I know. He needs to come on the show. Feels a good guy. All right. Uh, Dusty. Okay. uh, These are the comments, though. (laughs) Uh, The reason is female orgasms cause women to release a a bonding hormone called oxytocin, which is true. Mm -hmm. These form a bond lead to extreme mate guarding uh, behaviors. Okay, I see what you're saying. I, I yeah. got you. Saying, but not the, the, the earned it part. And salmon, yeah, <laughs> the earned it part didn't need to happen in that sentence structure. Well, they yeah. do say but, that women release yeah, yeah. oxytocin at orgasm, but, but men only really re- release oxytocin when they have feelings for a woman. So that's why we're all over here mm-hmm. having yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. unfulfilled relationships, exactly. right? Yeah, because yeah. mm-hmm. a man is like, oh, it's not until I'm loving you. And you know, oxytocin is that love hormone. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Boom! Right now, and a woman's like, oh my gosh, I think I'm in love. I'm with in him. love. Yeah. Right after the first night that mm-hmm. we sleep together, yeah. 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 Was that uh, there's a there's saying that uh, uh, women need to feel loved to have sex, men mm-hmm. need to have sex to feel, to feel, feel love. love. To feel love. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. All right, uh, Dusty uh, Simpin, uh with another super chat. Shout out to you. Uh, you're wrong. Most uh, more women are uh, NC- asymptomatic. <laughs> asymptomatic. Mm-hmm. I hope I said that right. SCI yeah. uh, yeah. carriers, their sexual organs are inside and can't be easily examined. It's why there's a spike in young women spreading disease. HPV is on the rise. Oh, we can get into that. There's a lot of science and in there. HPV. Yeah. Lord. We can go in on that. There's a lot of science that we can go If you're into. open to that kind of conversation, that's a different conversation. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm not and most people are not about to say Yeah, me either. Like, so. about vaccines and HPV and STDs. I got a lot to say about that. Yeah. That's a whole We will leave that. We'll leave that. Okay. Put a pen in that one. <laughs> I know a lot about this. Yeah. All right. So, and then Dusty, uh, the last super chat for tonight, uh, Dusty Jack, uh, you're also right because women are on birth control 365 days out of the year. <laughs> what, that does, <laughs> what that does to the female body has yet to be has yet to be seen since women aren't involved to be pregnant for more than nine months. Most of them. Uh, go off of it for at least. Uh, this is why I can't. Something like that. Right. Every month. Something like that. We can't talk to the. But why? Why do you keep talking about stuff there you don't have no business talking about? On, That's what I don't understand. Like, like you don't have a uterus. You can't Google. Like, girl, like, Google is like, like, a baby. Like, bro, like that ain't even your business. Like in that I'm like, okay, Donald Trump. I don't know why you're for your stupidity. Like, oh, I don't want to get rude. I don't want to get rude, but I'm like, wow. Dusty, no, Dusty. I'll just say, I don't feel that's the last part of a person, but it's like somebody's, I'm like, yeah. For just for a misconception, no matter if a woman is on birth control, she still has to have a menstruation. Yes. So whether she's taking Depra Provera shot, whether she has the implant, whether she is taking pills, she will have a cycle that has her bleed. And so those are the important factors for a woman's gynecological health. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that, Dusty, right now. But catch me on the next podcast. Ah, we're talking about okay. Okay. sexual and yeah. diseases. Right. Okay, we're gonna be talking about I'm, vaccines, I'm, STDs. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to like, just share like, some health education on that. I'm gonna need you to be live. I'm trying to see something. Let me see your face. I'm gonna put your face to the words. I'm only here to say things that are true. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's just like it's just a bunch of spelling. Like, but at least you're paying this nice man some money yeah, to, to spout yeah. your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was 
<laughs> and it's uh Phil just dropped the super chat. Uh, oh, happy versus discipline responsibly. Lots of children grow up with the same toxic behavior when become an adult. Yes. Uh, become sex bros, ladies. Let's do better. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, Bro. that's true. You know, mm -hmm. children definitely repeat the cycles that they've seen. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why it's so important to have healthy, loving relationships, whether the, whether those are mom and dad, mom and mom, dad and dad, mom and mom's boyfriends, dad and dad's mm -hmm. girlfriends, whoever these people are in your children's life, make sure that they are healthy and loving examples of relationships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I just want to say one, uh, one right? thing. Right? Yeah. How about that? Right? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Big ups, man. Shout out to you. <laughs> no, no, that, that's really? the most important part. Yeah. It yeah, just, important. you know, children need to see people loving on their parents. They do. Yeah. That's absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they no, do. That's true. Authentic. Most people yeah. don't grow up seeing their parents hug a lot. We've been kissed. Yep, um, that was me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Or even yeah. being hugged as a kid. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Especially, uh, <laughs> especially with the young girls, you know, when girls don't get the love from their dad, then they'll seek it outside the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Strangers, yeah. Uh, uh, men who are strangers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But uh, thank you so much. But uh, ladies, we have come uh, to the end of the podcast. Shout out to you, ladies. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, so uh, and Dusty just uh, dropped the last super chat. I'm out going on vacay. Dusty, where are you going on vacation? Where are you going? Have a good vacation, Dusty. Bye, Dusty. Bye, Let us know. Bye, Phil. <laughs> Hope we get them cheeks on vacation. Yeah, <laughs> but not the weekly. No cheeks, she ain't gonna cut like <laughs> orgasm or nothing. So. All right, you'll get a little bit on vacation. Maybe she's the one, Maybe she's the one. Maybe she's gonna fall in love and give him a He makes it too easy for the jump. So I was like, the name. All right. Uh, but uh, thank you so much, uh, all the way that we've come to the end of the podcast. Thank you so much for everybody watching the entire stream. Uh, shout out to the ladies and the live chat one more time. Hey, <laughs> all right, uh, thank you so much. And shout out to everybody who super chatted the Dusty. Uh, appreciate your super chats tonight, Phil. Uh, everybody, Manic. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember everybody that was on the super chats, but uh, yeah, I've Jane. been on the super chats today. Thank you so much for your donations. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, don't forget, uh, uh, don't forget to if you see value in the content, don't forget to smash a like and subscribe button. That's the best way to support me. Uh, don't forget, there's a uh, if you do want to jump on virtually on Saturday, there's a way to do it. Become a supporting member of my locals. The link is in the description below, and you'll be able to jump on virtually on the last hour of the podcast. Oh, thank um, you, Phil. Everybody out there, nice. okay? So thank you so much. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Very entertaining show. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Course, great panel. Um, and of course, all the fellas out there, and a lot of you guys reach out to me. If you're having a hard, a hard, a hard time talking to women, communicating with women, uh, meeting women, uh, definitely sign up, become a supporter member of locals. I can set you up to come virtually. You can talk to women, be part of future shows, uh, or if you're in the Bay Area, we can figure out for you to come down and just be part of the podcast and meet these women. So a lot of you guys definitely need help with that. So definitely support that if you do need those services. But I appreciate you guys. You guys uh, watched the PL17. Good to see you guys, Jerk. The real podcast. Appreciate you guys watching this, this entire stream. I appreciate you guys and, every, and everybody that watched the entire show from the other platforms. Uh, thank you so much. But uh, I'll pass it back to you, uh, ladies. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. Man, we had a great show today. Yeah, it was so fun. Yeah. I'm so excited. It was great. Yes. It was yes. great. You know, awesome. You know, I told you we definitely agreed on a lot of things, but yes. we definitely disagreed on a lot of things. Yes. Thank you for the open conversation, the open discourse. And like I said, if everybody watched my content, uh, you guys already know the objective of this show uh, is not to disrespect both men and women. It's to come together and have conversations to figure out solutions for a lot of the things mm -hmm. that we have problems with uh, when it comes to dating and relationships. So I don't blame, uh, believe in blaming all men, all the women out there blaming all men, men blaming all women out there. Right, I don't right. believe in that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to figure out solutions. And the only way we can do that is having an open discussion, mm -hmm. uh, even if we disagree. Okay, yes. so shout out to you, ladies. Thank you yes. so much, uh, ladies, for having us. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, but what's your final thoughts from tonight's conversation? Any takeaways, and how can people find you, support you on your platforms? Okay, so I'll start with you, Sneak. Uh, final thoughts, takeaways from tonight's conversation, and how can people find you, support you? Yeah, I really um, enjoyed the conversation and working with all these ladies tonight. It was dope. 
um, experience. I appreciate you. Um, I really feel like um, something I took away or something that is still on my mind is making sure that you're respecting your partner and communicating with your partner and, um, you know, loving them the way they want to be loved. And the way you figure that out is by communicating. That's what I'm taking from, from today. Um, and then also, um, how you find me on all my platforms. Um, you can uh, Google me, Lady um, Dash S N three A K, Lady Sneak. You could uh, follow me on Instagram at official Lady Sneak L A D Y S N three A K. Um, yeah, check me out. I'm kind of cool. <laughs> hey hey hey! Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, anyway, don't say it. Uh, Let's see if he gets it this time, you guys. Let's see. <laughs> don't you gave it away. Oh, yeah, there you go. Finally, good job. Right, thank you. Finally, right, so, <laughs> um, thoughts, takeaways. How can they? Find yes, you? um, it was amazing, amazing being here with all you lovely ladies, um, and men, um, just to get everybody's different opinions. It was just, it was a great show. Um, my takeaway here, the biggest thing overall was just about communication as lady sneak said communicating your your needs um your wants um you're constantly if you're constantly growing and in ah and evolving your needs may be different so make sure that you are communicating those things constantly it's yeah um and you can find me on instagram uh the official kari b so yeah y'all follow me all right thank you so much all right <laughs> We'll keep it moving, Chantal. Yes. Um, so I had a great time with all of you guys. I had a great time talking to you, Will, because it's always so good to be able to hear other perspectives, but to be able to, to really talk about it. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I loved it. Yeah. So thank you so much um, for everything you brought to the table, yeah. for what we all brought to the table. Mm -hmm. I think we're a freaking dope ass group. Yeah. Um, so um, I, I really enjoy it. Um, I like that I stand by what I say and that you stand by what you say and that we all stand by what we mm -hmm. say um and that to me i think that's that's good this was really a beautiful panel to be on because it was so genuine mm -hmm. on every aspect yes. so mm -hmm. i had a great time yeah. i loved it so much um the way that you can find me um is at um on instagram it's sean tizzlers um c-h-a-n-t-i-z-z-l-e-r-s <laughs> Um, you can also email me at winewhiskeyhappiness.com. Um, and I, so I do my own private wine and whiskey tastings as well. So if you guys ever need that, you let me know. Cause I'm sure also, do. I am, Why I am, come by? Yeah, exactly. right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a model, but also a businesswoman. You can do both. You can, um, embrace your, your body and all parts of you and also be a respected business person in whatever industry you're in. Okay. So yes, that is yes. Go ahead, right. girl. Yes. yes. <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> Definitely appreciate the energy, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. love, love, love it. Very contagious. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. For right. sure. I'll pass it to you. Uh, final thoughts, takeaways. How can they find you? Um, so final thoughts, I think that this was so important, you know, when you, uh, when Will contacted me on Instagram, he was like, Hey, looking at your page, I would love for you to come down. And so, you know, for me, it was important to be here and just be my authentic self and represent yes. myself yes. and just share, you know, as I said, um, you know, as a divorced mother of two daughters, um, I think it's so important just to con continue to show up as yourself. So thank you for giving this, yeah. the platform yes. and the space, yes. the safe space to go on and to do this and yeah. so first of all i want to say any other women or people that will might hit up on instagram to come be part of the podcast it's real it's fun he do is it. Yeah. do it he's super professional <laughs> he, he makes yes. it very easy for you to join so that's first and foremost um, so thank you for that. I yeah. think that these conversations are so important to hear the different opinions from people. Yeah. You know, people's opinions are so, so powerful yeah. for them and, and how they move forward in the life. And if you want to continue to connect with me, my friend Liza and I have a new business. It is called Bay Love Soul. So again, on Instagram, mm -hmm. that is Bay Love Soul. And what we are doing is conscious connection gatherings. Mm -hmm. So we have sound healing. We 
have meditation, we have affirmations. We also talk about botanicals and other um, apocryphies that you can use at home to help help elevate your mind, your body, and your soul so that you can be full, whole, and complete as you're moving forward in this world and as you are consciously connecting to other people in this dating world. So again, that is Bay Love Soul on Instagram. And if you want to follow me, I am La Meta Meta XOXO. If you follow Will, you can follow me. Right. Thank you so hey, much. Hey. hey. Definitely. We were following. talking jumps tonight, too. Yeah, no, thank sure has. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of All right. So thank you so much. Me. And uh, Ray, thank you for coming the third time. <laughs> hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. That's the veteran. That's the veteran. <laughs> Saw me the second time, and no, you didn't. That time was a fluke. Uh, <laughs> um, but no, thank you so much for having me back. It's been an amazing experience. Hey. I didn't think I was going to be this entertained. So I had the conversation. Are we your tonight. favorite panel so far? Yeah. Yes. 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 But yeah, like you, you my favorite. A lot of, um, honestly, a lot of intelligence. A lot of like well-spoken women at this table. Um, I respect all of you so much. And yes. you too, of course, will bring yes. us all together. Yes. I don't know how yeah. you keep doing this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, so if you want to find me, um, I am on Instagram, Ray understar, sorry, underscore star shine. So let's Ray with an R-A-E underscore star shine. Right. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. So, oh, I think she has a super chat from Damien. Uh, said, tell Liza Damien said hello. Oh, I will. I love that you know my friend Liza as well. Damien, make sure that you're following us also on Bay Love Soul hey, so you can hey, take out our, our, our hey, next hey, gatherings. Hey, hey. Awesome. All right. Damn, Damien. <laughs> and thank you for the kava. Oh, of course. Yes. Thank you. That was, that was amazing. Most, that was beautiful. Thank you. I like to share my culture with everybody. Yes. Thank, thank you. you for sharing that. that. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, Damien, you know everyone. Right. <laughs> God damn it, Damien. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Damien. Thank you so much. Everybody, we had, we had a great show. A lot of you guys watched the entire show for the, all the way to the end. Uh, like I said, uh, support all these ladies and their platforms. Thank you so much. And don't, and don't forget, uh, if you see value in the content, if you're watching from other platforms, please come up to YouTube. Uh, the best way to su support me is to smash that like and subscribe button uh, real quick. And I want to give a shout out to all the moderators on the live chat. Uh, always get everybody active, everybody engaged in the live chats. Uh, thank you so much, all the moderators, uh, moderators out there. And one more time, shout out to all the super chatters. Uh, appreciate you guys always super chatting on the show. Thank you so much. But we'll do this every single Wednesday. Next week, we have a new show, new panel, new topic. Uh, make sure you get smash that button so that way you get notified when we do go live next time. Until then, peace, y'all. Hey, hey. Good night. Thank you.